Mike the Ref Maloney, Big Bad Boris on the call here tonight. It's oh, super kick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Third. Let's go. Super kick party. Yeah, pay the money for that. No one. And of course, you got to get the coffins. <laughs> Hey, yo, 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 and away we go. We are on our way here. Oh, it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be a crazy all-in day. And Andre just resubscribed for three freaking months. Let's, uh, I think Andre wants to pile in here. So let's bring it over to the group chat. Got a brand new uh, chat screen going on here. So I just, yeah. It's going to be a bit of a seat of our pants thing going on here today. So forgive me if things are a little off. Let's get the vir virtual cameras going. We got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that. Andre, you there, bud? Uh, can you hear me? There we go. Now we can hear you. Nobody can see either one of us here, so I'm working on something right now. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm selecting things to let me use my camera instead right now. That's all good. Burn. There we go. Now everybody can see me. You can see me. Life can see me. Life is going good. Welcome, everybody, to the AEW All In Sidecast. This is going to be a ton of fun here. We got a whole bunch of people coming all over the place here. Uh, ground rules. People are going to be coming in and out all day today, so just bear with. Yeah. Things are going crazy. First guest of the day. First guy popping in today. The infamous OG man of Backbreaker Media. My buddy in arms, Andre C. Andre, how the hell are you doing today? I'm doing well, dude. I've been up since about 7 a.m. our time, Mountain, and I uh, jumped on a stream with A-plus Productions at seven at 7.30 this morning Jeez. Uh, to, uh, to preview uh, All In, and it was a wonderful time hanging out with Boris and Matt and just uh, talking uh, All In and preview about, of all of it. It's just been a fun morning where I've been watching the pre-show. Uh, that crew on the desk looking phenomenal in their in their gear. Uh that jacket that Jeff Jarrett's been wearing. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. Did, did you hear the big news? And yeah, Jay Quick just popped it into the chat here. We got a 16 man tag. Tommy Billington. Tommy Billington. Yes, we got Tommy Billington in here as well. And it, it's, yeah, it's going to be a ton of fun here. Uh, I'm so, kid, I, I've been watching the, this kid wrestle for the last year here in Alberta and to see him on a stage like this is amazing. We'll see him get the opportunity to actually work in, uh, in Wembley too, right? Yeah. It's insane. Dude, there, I think it's coming up. It, they're showing the graphic right now. So yeah, I'm just, a, what time do you have on your clock right now? Uh, where I'm watching on my TV. So. Yeah, I know, but it says what, how much, how, how much time to all in. Oh, that, uh, the main show doesn't start till 11. No, but you got it on your. It says the out all in t countdown clock. There's the graph. I just got the graphic now. Oh, so. I'm, I'm, oh, okay. They're showing the graphics for zero hour on mine. I'm probably a, a slightly behind you, I guess. Oh, I think we're just basically on time. They're just showing the Ishii and Statlander. Oh, okay. I, I see one hour, nineteen minutes and fifty seven seconds now. Okay, so you're about 30, 30 seconds ahead of me, I think. Yeah, probably. This is how we end up. <laughs> oh, this is just going to be bonkers. I, I can say that. Oh, private party's out. And then, Ishii, wake up. Ishii, wake up. <laughs> Did you watch Collision last night? No. Uh, actually, last night I was out at my buddy's place, and then I went, came home. I actually watched Rev Pro last night. I watched one match. It was Mina Shirakawa winning the undisputed British Women's Championship. Baby. At least we know she's out there. Yeah, she, I, I, I'm excited. I, I really hope we get to see her in the women's title match. Yeah, absolutely. And um, 
it, it's going to be interesting to see how she gets involved with the match with uh, Tony Storm and uh, or Tony Storm and uh, Mariah May. I think she helps yeah. Mariah May, May win it. I I really do too. Like I don't see her turning on Mariah because while Mariah is a heel and Mina is a good guy, they've had heel tendencies when they were in Stardom together. At certain points, they were kind of mean girling for a little bit, but then Cosmic Angels mean girled them, and just it, but then they were generally faces. But Mariah always had a heelness to her, and Mina can have a heelness to her when she wants to, and I think that'll be fun to see her help Mariah win this title. Um, Andre, do you have a chance? Can are you able to turn up your mic a little bit? Give me a second. Give me a second, bro. Actually, that was even, oh yeah. I guess you were talking closer to it, but I think I'm just I, I, I just I'm a little too far away from the mic. So okay, there there you go. You're you're a little bit more normal there. Not oh, that it, not. Th- <laughs> well, yeah. I was they, like, who the fuck is that guy? Well, yeah, they got to get Ari Davari out here because you know he he got to get eaten Why? by Jeff Jarrett last night. Yeah. Well, yeah. Jeff Jarrett is a, is a, is a god of professional wrestling. He should be winning everything. Do yourself a favor. Go b- go back and check out the pop for uh, for Jeff Jarrett and for Big Bill last night. Were they good? I think in I think insane would be the politest way of putting it. Like Big Bill got the RVD and ECW two thousand and five pop. Oh, that's that's good. And that also includes. The fact that uh, you know Hook got the John Cena response during that match, mm. so I don't know how this. I, after last night, I, I thought it would be a foregone conclusion that uh, Hook would be winning that FTW title. After that pop last night, I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. Because there is a way that you could get Bill that championship off Jericho, and it would make total sense. Yeah, 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 I agree with that. Jay Quick in the chat here. So can we rename the Zero Hour Tag Team Hour? <laughs> Anthony at Go-Go, shit, you barely see him anymore. <laughs> oh, I know he's with Shane Taylor. He, he works a little bit with Shane Taylor, but they're just trying to get all the local guys on the show, right? Oh, a hundred percent. I totally think that's why uh, you end up having. Uh, that's why Pac got into the ladder match. To be perfectly honest, I think they probably would have preferred having Dante and Darius be the guy to take all the bumps in that match. Well, then they should have teamed Pac up with Top Flight. A hundred percent is what they should have done. Yeah, but th- but that- you want Wheeler and Claudia one so. Yeah, well, Wheeler and Claudio, absolutely. That's also... It's like having Mox without having Mox. Yeah, no Mox on this show. Oh, Mox taking time... Dude, that's the cool thing. Is uh, they're, they're so good right now, they don't need Mox. Oh, it's Kyle Fletcher! I love his entrance gear. It looks so fire. Yeah. I, I find it inter I find it interesting that Kyle Fletcher is supposed to be with Callus, but he's on the face side. Well, he he's playing a weird tweener because he still has his allegiances to Will Ospreay, but he's part of the family, so it's it's an odd placement for where he's at right now. Yeah, eventually they're going to set it up so where Fletcher has to go against uh, go against Osprey somewhere in here. And it's just that's where it's going to lead to the breakup. And I think Mark, it's whenever Mark Davis is ready to come back, right? That'd probably be the most sense. Oh, oh, probably. I feel like because he's been out almost a year because it'll be a year at Wrestle Dream. Wrestle yeah. Dream's where he got hurt. So, so, uh, just quickly getting back to Jay Quick here in the chat. This, I will warn everybody in the chat tonight. I might be lost a little bit on the chat for a little bit. I'll make sure I get back to it, but there's a potential of us having five guests on this show. 
I, I it might get a little hairy here as we move along. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm I'm here for Kayla J. That's what it is. I'm here for Kayla J. Yeah, for, <laughs> and Mike. And Mike. Well, <laughs> nice to see. By the way, nice to see Kip Sabian get the hometown pop too, right? Oh, heck yeah, man. Oh, oh, dude. He's coming up on my screen right now. Uh, I got one. Link to baby. I got 114 on my screen right now. 114 even. Yep. I got one thirteen thirty six. So you're about thirty seconds ahead of me here. So about there, yeah. It, it's fine. We've done this all the time. <laughs> Rocky went for a fist bump with Tommy, and Tommy went for a handshake. So Rocky switched to the handshake. <laughs> Damn right. That's the way it should be. You're in England. What's this? What's this oh, fist so bump crap? Oh, that was hilarious. What the fuck are they wearing? <laughs> you can tell Tommy's a little nervous. Oh, hundred percent. But wait for top flight, man. Like, or do they I actually think, have? I, do they actually have their real gear? Yes, they do. That's they their real their, gear. That's so stupid. No, but I hate he, that. Here's the other part of it, and they're missing the four, the fifth member of the group. Layla Gray. Layla Gray actually dresses up as a flight attendant. I actually like no, this. And no, I, I don't mind a little bit of cheese when it applies. Because if you're a casual, like we're hardcore fans, we know what's going on. If you're a casual fan and you see them in pilots' outfits, you can instantly yeah. think, okay, they're just here to fly. But you know what I think when I see that? I think of Fandango <laughs> for some weird reason. Fair enough. I I don't know where you get that, but. You know what? All the power to you. That's all I could think was Fandango when he used to wear like the vest zipped up with his long ass pants and shit. I don't know. Or no, it was from when he was teaming with Tyler Breeze and they were the police group. They were oh, the, the fashion police. The fashion police. That's what it, it, it it's it's that's what it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So sorry. Got to pop back to the chat here. Uh, Jay quick booed or uh, and hook up booed out of Wales, which was apropos last night i still want taz to choke someone out i'd love to see taz come out just one spot i don't even care if he taps or he uh chokes out tat or uh jericho even if he does it the big bill and just let takes him out that way brian keith would be the ultimate one because that would make the most sense and then they need a mock stand in like one of those standees like they have for jay white that would be hilarious yeah. Have have Jay White uh, have a Jay White standing and a mock standy at ringside, just staring at each other the whole time, and then uh, Mox could be there to celebrate if Danielson wins. Maybe I think he's probably sitting at home at the campfire with a kid, probably looking yeah. at his looking at his burnt cell phone, knowing that he doesn't have to listen to any, any of the BS online with it. I, I I would be doing the same thing, hundred percent. Just chill, enjoy the show. Yeah, like, and that, and that's what I hope everybody else gets an opportunity to to do today because we got, uh, we got nine matches on the main card plus three on the pre-show today, which actually for AEW is actually a lot less than normal. Well, they usually do fourteen to fifteen normally, right? Well, yeah, there's usually like 11 on the main show, but they've actually cut it back quite a bit, which sort of tells me that they're probably going to give Swerve and Danielson a lot of time, and the Casino Gauntlet's probably going to take a lot of time. And the ladder match is probably going to be stupid, but... The ladder match is going to be insanity, man. Oh, some of the things that are going to pull off there are just... Ugh. I, I feel... Like, I'm looking at Ari Davari, and I feel like he's doing a bad Ricochet co cosplay. Well, let's hope we get the good cosplay later uh, on. Me, me too. Me too. Uh, Casino, Casino Gauntlet, baby. Yeah. Um, Jay Quick in the chat. Could Hangman win the Casino Gauntlet and wait till all out? It was announced this morning officially that it is a Money in the Bank stipulation on that contract. Uh, I... So many people are saying, yeah, he's going to cash in tonight. I feel like he's going to walk out at the end, whether it's Brian or Swerve, and be like, and just pick up the mic, yell all out, and then walk back away. 
Um, well, SRS is uh, is a pretty much uh, guaranteed us that uh, the plan right now is Hangman Swerve it all out, which makes sense in Chicago, right? But is it for the title? That that's the question. My th- my theory, and I was booking this on uh, on Wednesday. F- Leo what- Rush, I love this guy. <laughs> uh, I I think he should go with your. <laughs> he ought to go with the Orange Cassidy treatment for this, because you know. Hey, but you real you realize you need to put respect on Satnam Singh's name. He is an official AAA tag team champion. Oh, I had, I had, I, yeah, with uh, Raj Desi, right? Yep. Lo- local boy Raj Desi, um, <laughs> former, formerly of the Pra- Prairie Wrestling Alliance. Back in the yep. Day. I to watch him regularly. Um, but yeah, uh, oh, I have, I think that Sadnam has really gotten better. Like, he's still not, he's still a giant lumbering dude, but I feel like he's better than he used to be. I gotta love the explosion spot from uh, Singh, right? Yep. <laughs> just a little Pah! the only thing that would have been better is if he would start spitting water as he came out <laughs> <laughs> I'm Triple H I, bur- I bury everybody else <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Jay Quick's got a good point they don't need to hear the title and um, my theory my theory is Hangman wins it and says that he wants his very first opportunity to block Swerve from getting that title inserts himself into the main event tonight and Danielson beats Hangman for the title. And then Swerve turns around and says, well, I'll never get back to the title unless I get rid of you. And then it, next it, week it they could, go to... Could. And then he, another work. another question from Jay Quick in the chat here. Do we hear all about the boom tonight? Uh, I Okay, I hope not. Now, you hope not. Do you think it'll happen? Sadly, yes. The only reason I say that is because, and and actually it's thanks to Discord. I'm on the Chugs' Discord. He was on. That's Adam Adam Cole's uh, gimmick. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he uh, actually had to cancel his Friday stream and he's not available till Monday now. Monday or Tuesday. Well, that means he's in London. Yeah. And I don't think they're going to fly Adam Cole over to London just for shits and giggles, right? Yeah, because not to speak on his personal life, but he might not be, might not be there for personal reasons. I don't know. Well, I, I don't think you'd, uh, you'd bring him out there when there's already enough controversy and... Um, Cole's ex-girlfriend's in one of the main events. Yeah. I, again, there's no confirmation on there, but I know he moved back to PA, but yeah. he moved, he moved back to PA. She's, uh, she's staying in Florida with her, pro, with her promotion or, her, uh, her, uh, practice there. Yeah. Again, no confirmation, but it's, you can see the writing on the wall, right? <laughs> yeah. Just basically put everything all together there. I love Leo Rush so goddamn much. Yeah, J- <laughs> I can't wait to watch him next Friday. Next, I'll have to watch the show on Saturday, but I can't wait to watch him on, on uh, Capital uh, Collision. Yeah, well that that'll be a lot of fun. But um, you have uh, yeah, and Jay Quick's bringing this up. The reason we were talking about Cole yesterday was originally Sammy and Dustin announced the five man a uh, challenge for Zero Hour, but they didn't mm-hmm. say who. So we thought it would be maybe the five man Undisputed Kingdom with Wardlow coming back and uh, Cole being there. Like that yeah, would that, so, that sort of yeah. make sense. But at the same time, why do you waste that on a pre-show? Yeah, I wouldn't waste uh, Adam Cole and Wardlow return on the pre-show. Yeah. I just don't think Wardlow has much of a return going anyway. So, Dude, I love Kip Sabian's cannonball in the corner yeah oh, so good it's a reverse cannonball and it, he lands on his feet it, yeah, it's well, it's it different just... than everybody else because everybody else does the backflip into the corner so they end up getting all smushed in the corner 
Sabian yeah, just, just looks so uh, much smooth. Sorry. Yeah, it looks so good. He's 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 so smooth in it. And then now you get, I'm watching Kyle Fletcher in the ring, and the guy's just fire. This match here just proves to me that if everything can get settled out business wise, which let's just say it's pretty much a possibility, if not a probability. AEW is going to be in great shape for years to come. A hundred percent. Like, look at look at some of the guys that are on the apron for this. Like Kyle Fletcher, Tommy Billington, Anthony Agogo, like top flights. Like, there's just some some freaking stars here, man. And then you got stars like Rocky Romero, who aren't exactly the in ring. They're not exactly over the top, but at the same time, they're still able to groom these guys, teach these guys how to go. And they're, they also have the mm-hmm. connections around the world. Cause let's face it. Rocky Romero is Mr. Communication here in wrestling these days. Yeah. But between CMLL, between, uh, new Japan, I think he even had a little bit of triple a involved in that. Oh dude. Like all the flying spots that are going on right now is great. Oh, yeah. it's just nuts. Yeah, dude, it's great. Uh, I and uh, I'm just, I'm just it, this match hits me in this place. Like, just I'm just so happy for Tommy getting to be here because again, I've had multiple conversations with this man mm-hmm. after shows at at RCW and stuff, and uh, after top talent shows. He's so good. You can understand the passion this kid has. I'm just so happy that he's finding success. Well. It was actually funny. Uh, he was talking um, on the Undisputed podcast, the AEW one, just after all the total rumors of him being signed were pretty much confirmed. And he was yeah. talking about how his brother wanted to go back to uh, England when their their tour was up and all, all the visa stuff was running out. And Tommy's like, no, no, we have to stay for the next three months. They need us here. Yeah, and he stayed and he killed it, man. I watched him evolve from a super bland. Like, I I'll still say he doesn't have the the greatest charisma yet, but he's he has really. I watched him develop and and build charisma here in Alberta. But really, did the original Dynamite Kid have all that charisma either? He was just out no, there as a badass. I, I know, and and I think Tommy has it, but he's building charisma, which is good, which I'm 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 happy to see. Yeah. Oh, and there's the head butt. So yeah, we 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 have to know that Sabian and uh, Billington are gonna win this. Like a gogo might, a gogo might, but it's possible. But I just I feel with Tommy and Jesus. Sabian in there. Yeah. This is no, crazy, good match. That that right hand from a gogo, like. Oh, and a go-go bucked up. He uh, th- he thought he was going for a backbreaker, and he was going for the the tombstone. Yeah, the, the tombstone there. Yeah, or, yeah. The R, the R. I think it's the Aussie arrow for him. My God, do I love this double team by the Dark Order when they oh, can hit so it? So good, just so freaking smooth. Mm-hmm. You could tell those guys have been around forever, right? Yep. That trapped arm clothesline by Davari. Okay, Dante, don't hurt yourself here. My God, I, I love the show off in that. In that, yeah. in that splash. Oh, just it's just so much like flair to it too. Well, you know what he's doing, right? He's doing the Michael Jordan in between the legs for the dunk as he's doing yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. There's a guy in the crowd doing the uh, UE symbol to Kyle Fletcher. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you'll never forget that. That's for damn sure. The UE. Oh, dude, I have a, I have the banner sitting on. I uh, or the towel sitting on my uh, hooked up on my wall right now up in my station where I'm going to be doing a post show after this over on our local establishment, which is Twitch and YouTube. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably be. Uh, Depending on how long it takes for you guys to set up, we'll probably send the raid over there after we're done. But 
I, I told I told Lauren I'd give her half like as I need about half an hour like once we're done just to give myself a bathroom break and time. Well, we're we're gonna go when we're both ready. But I said about half an hour is what I told her. So me and Lauren, I, good night. So I love uh, I love RJ City at the beginning of the show. He's like, folks, urinate now, urinate now. Don't wait till late. Urinate Whoa. now. Wow, uh, that's an announcement. Uh, uh, Hey, Jay, quick. Remember we were talking about if we're going to get big announcements coming up? We just got number one. Number Grand one slam. is in the books. Grand Slam Australia. Well, I know the first stadium show. Yep. One of their three big stadiums down in uh, Australia. All right. Well, the Internet's about to break here and we're not even... Uh, we're an hour away from the pay-per-view. Oh, what the hell? Okay, you're 30 seconds ahead of me, so this is going to be... Uh. <laughs> you're going to know what you're talking about. Oh, you know my goodness. About. Let's go. He looks like such a douche. <laughs> Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Oh, oh, 100%. But look at his... You just wait for him to get off the bed and look at his oh, ear. Oh, trust me. He looked like Farouk last night. When he was uh, wrestling Nina Samuels and Kid Lycos on uh, Collision mm. last night. He actually was wearing Ron Simmons gear. Well... They're going with Cleopatra and uh, the Pharaoh, right? I don't think so. <laughs> he just looks like a douche. That's all I'm going to say. Well, we'll go. We'll, well, that's just normal. <laughs> At least, and this is what I'm hoping here in this case. Hopefully the two teams have actually talked about the uh, color scheme that they're doing because last night we had two teams in purple here in this match. So it's like, if, <laughs> if, you, if you're in the back, nobody's seeing who's woo here. Cause Nina Samuel and Chris Statlander are based are fairly similar in physique wise. Mm, they are. I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get, uh, get the Hathaway chasing a chicken or something like that. But we did get the one training session. I I just can't wait for Ishii to take Stokely's head off. <laughs> oh, just one move. Yeah. We're just, yeah. But the one thing they showed last night, and I know that uh Jay quick was actually a little, uh, Looks like we might be getting a third guest here. As long as all the mics are set up here. By the way, Andre, oh. I, do, I have to ask you, who, uh, how easy was it for you to uh, log in here for today? I pressed a button and I just uh, accepted that my mic, uh, I just had to accept the mics and the cameras. So yeah, Pretty so th this uh, stream together is absolutely, <laughs> I, I love okay, it. Okay, look, Jay. K L J K L J. <laughs> the strong silent type right now. Hold on, okay. Okay, we can hear you. Good. I'm just willing yeah, to check the mic. Okay. <laughs> K L J K L J K L J. For some reason, I knew you'd have to get in here right now because this is right time for the mixed tag match. Kayla, how you doing? Oh, great. How are you guys? I'm great. Oh, we're, we're doing fantastic. We're one match in and we oh. got a. Did you see the huge announcement we already had tonight? We're like an hour. We're an hour uh, before the show starts. They have announced all in Australia, February 15th. No, 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 Grand, Grand Slam. Grand, Grand, Grand Slam, Slam Australia. Grand Slam Australia. Sorry. Oh. Gazunta Stadium. <laughs> really? Yeah, so that and actually, actually, I think that's actually where the uh, 
the open uh the Australian Open's at. That's why they call it Grand Slam. Probably. <laughs> so You notice how Stokely's taking about ten minutes to get his gear off right now? He's pulling a Nido. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but what we were talking about last night, uh they actually showed last night that as even though Ishii's tagging out and all that, they actually did have intergender wrestling on there for the mixed tag match. It wasn't just men facing the men, women facing the women. So That's cool. Yeah. So, do you guys think this is the only announcement tonight? Hell no. Well, we're getting a I think we're getting a debut. So, Kayla, your thoughts? A debut. Oh yeah, we're we're what pretty much getting debut? we're pretty much thing get, that bounces around a ricochet. We're gonna get Ricky Che in here. <laughs> Ricky Che. Oh man, that that's the gimmick. Oh, I'll be so excited. Uh, I still remember like from years ago when Ricochet first was coming to WWE, and people were like, "They're gonna give him an Irish gimmick. He's gonna be Rick O'Shea." <laughs> well. I, I'm glad it was clarified that Ricochet actually is able to use his real name, is use his uh, his ring name on the Indies again because he used it before he got to WWE. So yeah, well he always he owned the trademark and he he like anybody that, that WWE brings in under their own their old names they essentially rent the trademark while yeah, they they're get, in the company. They basically get an NID, nil deal for the time they're there. Yeah, and then once they leave, the trademark's theirs again. Yeah. Yeah. So you knew in this match you get ninety percent of it being uh, Statlander and uh, Willow, right? Oh, 100 so, percent. So by the way, who do, you, who do you guys got in this match? Is Kay- Kayla's being silent, just getting ready to <laughs> get things Smiling going? Smiling pitbulls. Here. Sorry, I'm just Smiling trying to figure pitbulls. out my technology. Ah, technology being great to you again. So yeah, just yeah, uh, always. Just I as a re- sorry, feel good. like it's got to be Willow, right? Yeah. So the the key to this here for me is the fact that the winner of this match gets to pick a stipulation for the uh the all out match between Statlander and Willow for the CMLL title because they had the elimination or the eliminator match that Statlander won. They're cashing mm. that in at all out in two weeks. So, uh. They're probably doing. I'm gonna guess if Willow wins, we're gonna get Stokely in a cage, or maybe just you know, do you, did you see that article that uh, Dominic said that originally they were supposed to put uh, Dominic uh, by a belt up on on top of a pole instead of uh, that custody ladder match? <laughs> Stokely on a pole match. <laughs> put Stokely on a pole, oh, have Lord. a little harness holding no. him there. Stokely on a forklift match. Go back to WCW. Let's not. Jeez, Jay Quick's yeah, right with you on Jay that Quick. one. Yeah, Jay, love you, Jay Quick. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just it, it, it's gonna be in it. it oh, goes in tight. Uh, Jay Quick wants Stokely in the ring. I, I don't think Stokely's getting in anywhere except for the pinfall. Yeah. What's uh what's Stokely's gear? He, or sorry, not Stokely Statlander. Did she say? I think because it looks would, good. They were going with the Egyptian Pharaoh uh Egyptian Pharaoh gimmick. I think she's trying to Did go with the Cleopatra. <laughs> nope. I just I just love that Willow's go- went black and white like Ishii. The two teams actually wore gear that match up with them and look different from everybody else. Like yeah. people in the back could actually see who's who up there, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, that was a pet peeve of mine yesterday. That uh, Nina Samuels and Kid Lycos. Oh, when everybody wears the same gear? Yeah. Like literally, if it wasn't for the fact that If it wasn't Kirby. for the fact that Nina wore a singlet and uh, Chris wears her gear her way, we wouldn't have been able to tell who is who there. 
last night in that match. But uh, Kirby Jordan, first time chatter. If Mariah May doesn't win, we riot. I got. I'll, 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 I'll be get, I'll be doing a wardrobe change in a little bit to get my Mariah May shirt on. So I I think she I has to. You are uh, the Mercedes Oh, your Monet shirt. shirt. Nice. I love it. I love the Sailor Moon. Like, look, I love that. And for me right now, I'm just going cheap pop for myself here with the. Uh... I got to put I'm over wearing, the. I'm wearing Penta, but he's not AEW anymore, really. I think he's leaving. You think, I'm pretty sure he's leaving, right? Yeah, Kirby. We were, we were talking about the uh, Ricochet debut th- coming up here, or the Ricky Che debut, whichever way we put it here. I honestly feel he's number two in the uh, gauntlet. I think that's how you get that extra pop for him. You put him as number two in the gauntlet. Orange Cassidy comes out, get his pop, and then Ricochet comes out for the next one. For me, that would be absolutely insane. Camera's not being nice to you, Kayla? No. I think it was slowing down my streaming thing. I don't know. So, gave up. Yeah. Uh, we'll get her fixed up here and optimized and all that stuff. So, so hey, wonder this, this 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 chat's working out better for me than last time. I literally had to turn my video. I had to turn. I couldn't see Mike the entire time we were doing the stream in in April because I had to like turn his video off so mine wouldn't chop out. <laughs> well, the uh, yeah, mine was pretty choppy there until I changed it. So they actually have revamped uh, a guest star now. So. Well, for example, like like I was mentioning, how easy it is for you guys just to to pop in the way you did, right? <laughs> oh, geez. Jesus yeah. Freaking Stoke. Whoa! Is she oh, getting wow. a hit? Oh my God! Still clear the spine buster <laughs> issue with the note, Sal. Here we go. Yeah. I love this Stokely fire up there, like. Ah! Well, no, he's doing the Roman Reigns. I know. I love. I love. I love he, that. He's about to go to the corner and do the. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> so Stokely does have some match experience. If anybody doesn't know, he actually did wrestle a few times in Evolve. You have to. Uh, I would of, expect that he's wrestled in his life. I I can't see him not he, at that match. You have you have to be able to defend yourself when you're a manager of Matt Riddle. That makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get the drum roll in there. A uh, couple quick comments in the chat. Kirby is Stokely a wrestler? Yes and no. He's formerly a manager, but he has wrestled some. And all good managers do have a little bit of wrestling training. They don't have to be over the top, but they do have to have some. Oh my God! It's a pound. A pound. Period. Sorry. There you go. uh, <laughs> going back to Marcus Carvad. <laughs> or fucking what was his name oh in, my. Uh, in TNA? Uh, Ishii takes one offensive move. He gives one offensive move and wins the match. Oh. Dude, post, I'm watching. Oh, dude! After the match, he just he just hucked Stokely out of the ring. He literally th- like hucked him out of the ring. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> oh Jesus! I feel uh, so bad for Stoke on that one. That looked and rough Cur- as hell. <laughs> and Kirby, we didn't uh, we didn't miss out on your comment about the 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 London ladder match. We'll get to that in a little bit here, but uh, yeah, that. So it, I honestly feel that we're going to get Stokely Hathaway in a cage. A shark cage. In a shark cage on a forklift. That'll work. <laughs> so yeah, now now Willow gets to pick the stipulation. We'll probably hear about it on Wednesday. Because that's usually, uh, they'll usually wait to announce the stipulation then. We got enough stuff going on already. Like, Seriously, we got uh, uh, we got. Wow, Renee looks so good. Look at that shirt. Oh, the the whole crew did. Like Jeff looked amazing earlier in the that show. Sparkly jacket that Jeff Jarrett had was so nice. Taz even coming out with the nice orange shirt to go with his uh, little t- little tux outfit. 
No, they, everybody's been dressed in like um, Ar Arcady. The two interviewers, Lexi Nair and Arcane Arcady, they absolutely got yeah. like the summer formal or the uh, winter formals going on there. No, everybody's treating this like a big deal, and that's what they should here for this because this is essentially their their WrestleMania. I, I would say Tony Schiavone. Schiavone. I was uh, listening to a podcast, and they were talking about like a mystery team. Who do you guys think is a mystery team? Oh. They already got the mystery team figured for the ladder match. It was figured yeah. out. Last yeah, did they announce it? Last night on Collision, it was Top Flight and Leo Rush versus Claudio, Wheeler, and Pac for the last spot. They had to fight for it, and uh, Pac oh ended up gosh. getting the... I totally missed that then. Yeah, Pac got well, in. Pac okay. Got They're bringing oh, up Martha Hart right happening? now. And the least charismatic person in professional wrestling. Martha Hart? But is he, though? No, Tony Khan. <laughs> Tony's got a little bit of fire to him, a little bit. He's got, he is at zero, he's the, the zero charisma man. Come on. He's the ultimate nerd. He's just so cute. He, he like, tries I just... to go so bassy when he talks. Uh... But that's the good gimmick. I think this is where they announced the other deal. Like streaming? My one thing is, why is he yelling like that? Because that's Don't what he does. Know. That's what he so much. She's so cute. I love every time that Martha tries to talk like she's being like the sweetest person ever. And she sounds like a total heel. I coming from the great state of Canada, we're great friends with the USA and the crowd's just booing the shit out of it. They're also, you know, this is where they cash in the uh, Owen Hart title shots, right? So it sort of makes yeah, sense. It, it makes sense for her to be there in this, in that sense, yeah. Hey, Jupe. Yeah, it is still the pre-show here. We got about 40 minutes. The countdown con timer's on top here. Welcome. Good to see you uh, once again. Glad to see My you. My boy, Anthony. Woo. It was great seeing you streaming <laughs> last night. Uh, and no, Todd. Uh, I think it was it was a little late stream there about ten o'clock, but yeah, I saw you popped on there. Great to see you back on here after a, you know, the world gets to you after a while, and glad to get you back at it. But yeah, the actual show starts at eleven o'clock today. Wasn't it ten a.m. last year? No, it was the same thing, because the bar okay. o the bar opened at ten. They already had the Grado match done before we even got in the bar, remember? I was uh, no, I watched last year at Andreas's place. Oh, that's right. I I had the bar. Never mind. Yeah, we, yeah. we did the uh we um, so you had Mel Cat and Deb all in like one in these like onesies, like different animal onesies at her show. <laughs> that show was funny as that luck. <laughs> we uh We actually were uh we I had a deal going on with the pint to show it there, right? But the first yeah. match was at 9.30. They opened at 10. So we actually missed the first first match out of it. It, it, it happens. It happens. Well, it's sort of one, one of the other, one of the reasons why we're, one of the reasons why I do this now instead. The other half is just, I, I just enjoy hanging out with you guys a lot. Like, yay, Mike likes us. Woo. Uh, hello. I had no idea. Whoa, 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 whoa. Announcement number two. August twenty fourth, two thousand twenty five. Forbidden Door, London. Oh, it's gonna be in August. Okay. 
So they're replacing All In with a Forbidden Door show. No, because All In's moving to early June next yeah, year. Yeah, but I mean, they're, they're, they said they were doing a big show in England. This year. Oh, so dude. that's what it's going to be. Oh, I ho, love ho, Cage's ho, ho. gear. The Swolverine. Pretty sick. Oh, so good. The Swolverine has his full gear on today, folks. I, I just I just love the fact that you're wearing pants today instead of shorts. Because he's usually got the blue shorts. With like the little Matt Chaven, baby. Woo. And Mike God. Bennett. God, bl <laughs> God bless Matt Taven. He is the man amongst men. I'm a huge Matt. I'm a huge Matt Taven fan. I've got again when I got to meet him in person years ago when he was still the ROH champion. I, he was such a cool dude. Yeah, he the was actually pretty nice. I was. Yeah. He was very personable. I will. I will say this: the thing I was most enjoyed, enjoyable with with Matt Taven, the fact that he chewed out our favorite. Calgary commentator in the middle of the ring after a match and a post-match promo. You remember. You I remember. I was sitting on the audio booth, man, watching all this happen. <laughs> so I do not remember. What's his this. name again? What's his name again? That dipwit. Oh shit! Uh, which one are we talking about? Yeah, 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 Andre, 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 yeah, it was Andre. The other, the other Andre. <laughs> Yeah. The other the other Andre C sadly. <laughs> yeah. So he's doing he's doing commentary as he's filming around ringside oh, which is triply was... pissing me off, right? Cuz I'm trying to film this cuz I'm doing commentary after. Mm -hmm. Next thing I know Oh my. He he's Here calling we go. same color gear. <laughs> oh fuck. Why did well, he at least go it's, Deadpool? It's Sammy. Like come on. Sammy's an idiot the best of times. Even, but any even the same colored vest. Like, are you joking me? The wrestler, oh. baby. So, uh, he ends up calling oh! it. Oh, okay. They just showed a lady in the crowd wearing a chaos shirt from New Japan. It, it's it's the worst. It's that baby blue. It just says chaos on a hate The new look for chaos is shit. Ah. So Andre's about 30 seconds oh, ahead of where I am. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Well, they got to show the four women in the front row that actually are there, right? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. So, so one of the Von Eriks doesn't wear boots? Nope, he doesn't. That's just the oh way he God, wrestles. Mel, Mel, Mel would hate him. This I is love, downgrade. I love that they're shoes on. <laughs> I love that they're giving Dustin the final final entrance. Oh yeah. Like that Sorry. big final yeah. pop, right? Oh. Oh, that's why he's that's why Sammy came out with Wolverine gear on. I could just imagine. You'll see when Dustin comes out. Ah uh, yes. So in other words. They're both gimmick infringing on Brian Cage. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Jupiter here. I accidentally step on my own feet. I couldn't imagine going without. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. I, oh I think uh, I the think bottom of his feet are black. Oh my god, so gross. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is gross. You're right. That is very gross. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not boots and wrestling. I'm sorry. I'm not checking out feet right now. There's some other people it's on the really internet that can do that. <laughs> There's Look other oh people on the gosh. internet that could do that. Oh. Uh oh, here we go. And Cage is pissed, so he's going right after Guevara. Why is Wolverine Square going at it? Because Cage is pissed. That's Cage's gimmick. At least Cage has the blue tights to go with it. Sammy's are a little more yellow. Yeah. And like now it makes them apart. Now it makes sense why Cage wore pants. Because Guevara's oh, wearing yeah. shorts. Yeah, makes sense. 
Makes sense. Well, at least we get a little bit of difference here. Sorry, it's one of those little nitpicks I always have when it comes to this stuff. Yeah, you never be... Jupiter, I'm not saying it. Let's get... I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to, Jupe. I get it. From the balcony of Wembley Stadium, it might be a little hard to tech out two ants in the middle of the ring. Oh, my God. I think we're getting... I think the globes are going to appear here. The globes? Dustin Rhodes? Gold dust? Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah, but it's Rick Knox. He doesn't see anything in the best of times. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'll never forget the time that uh, Rhodes was doing this to a train or to the Blue Meanie. He was talking about this story about he was doing the Shattered Dreams to a Blue Meanie. But unfortunately, when he set him up on the ropes, his gear, his gear was so loose that certain parts came out the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> So you know what Dustin did, right? Well, at least I have a target now. <laughs> that blue mini got beaten up in so many ways. Between Dustin doing that and JBL doing what he did to him. Dude, did you did you hear about Did you hear about JBL last night? He went to Should Mexico. I have? JBL showed up at GCW last night. Helped Mance Warner win the world title and attacked Effie. That happened at last night's GCW show. So JBL essentially it might be making a comeback. But if he's Mance not... was already champion. Yeah, but he's going after Effie now. <sighs> I love I love Effie. I've I've gotten to interact with that man multiple times. He is amazing human and wrestler oh we're doing this want to see him work with spider-man pose <laughs> sorry i saw the spider-man pose there for a second between sammy and uh cage there yeah <laughs> uh so jay quick asking so a grand slam in february do you think that's part of the max streaming deal maybe having monthly pay-per-views who knows let Let's not put the cart before the horse. Let's make sure we got a deal first before we worry about that. Yeah. I, I, I think more, more, more than likely if they do get a deal, that'll what, what will happen. Cause nobody's going to pay $50 a month for a pay-per-view anymore. I only paid 65 for two yeah. pay-per-views. Yeah. We paid what it was 64 99 or something for the two. Yeah. I love Roku giving us the American prices in can in Canadian. I love it. <laughs> That's what I told people. If you're going to get this, if you have a Roku streaming device, go on to your twi uh, trailer app on the Roku and it'll... Pff. This match is confusing visually. Not only is Sammy similar to Cage, but his boots are the same color as Bishop and Toa. Well, one of them's not even wearing boots, man. Come on. You got two men in this match that don't wear boots. And Mel hates them both. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Well, no, she, I don't think she knows them really, but she she does it like every time she see we go to an indie show and somebody's not wearing boots, she's just like, ew, no. <laughs> That's when I walk up and put my foot on the barricade just for the hell of it. <laughs> it uh... at, at least I could sell some feet pics. True. Maybe. <laughs> so, so what should I do in Edmonton next Friday at midnight? Uh, drive What's out to midnight? Waterville and come see me. Oh no! Uh, find me at, at downtown watching RCW. Well, I'll be after RCW, but I'll find you. I'll find you. <laughs> well, we're already arranging people together. Fanboy Brian, welcome joining up here, ready hey. for a big day. It is an absolutely yep. a big day. Good to see you here. Good to see everybody here. We're just getting started here. We got five hours of wrestling here today. We're just about to finish hour one. 
Well, dude. Well, this started the 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 pre show started at nine thirty, dude. We've already well, been the pre- here an hour watching this. The pre show actually started at nine. I yeah, but the match just started at nine thirty. Yeah, pretty much. I, I think I pick, I picked a pretty good time to start the show here today. So, and then you did you did. And uh, fanboy Brian says, "Give me Grado. I'd love to see Grado in the Gauntlet Battle Royal, just for the cheap no. pop." No Grado. Let's see how long that goes, though. You know what? Put Grado in the Roderick Roderick Strong spot from the last Gauntlet Bat Gauntlet match. Do you remember that? He's the next guy out after Osprey got the pin, so he technically didn't make it out. Yeah, <laughs> that was actually pretty goddamn funny. <laughs> hey, it got Roderick Strong a uh, world title shot, though. True. Are they going to do that again tonight where it ends before everybody gets out? They're not telling us who's all in it, so whatever. So who's winning? Uh, now that they put the stipulation in that it's a money in the bank contract, basically, I think it's going to be Hangman. Oh. They announced say, why? Ricky Shea. why would they do that? Because they're next week in two weeks' time, we're looking at probably getting Swerve and Hangman. So Swerve's Well, that I, could happen with or without the title, right? My prediction. My prediction right now is Hangman wins it, says, screw this, I'm getting into the main event tonight. And Danielson pins Hangman to win the world title. And then next week, in two weeks' time, you get Swerve versus Hangman, and that is supposed to be the way we finish the rivalry. Oh my God, I love Dustin Rhodes so much right now. Dustin, talk about wanting a dot. Yeah, he ain't diving. Mike, did you see Jupiter's comment? I'm dropping my mom and my uncle off of Via Rail, and it's midnight. No, no, yeah. no, the last one. Oh, Kayla, the most recent one. Most one. Well, Kayla, I miss miss watching super kick people. Oh, that's the only thing I miss is that. <laughs> well, Dustin flew. Oh no, I reacted to something else. And now we got the Terminator clap going. Oof! You saw that, Kayla? God. Oh, oh God! That looked brutal. Oh, God. As hell. oh God! Everybody turned into Steven Styles all of a sudden. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> that pain went up my own back <laughs> wow um but anyways thank you jupiter i also miss it but if i had to try and do that now i would probably hurt myself <laughs> uh, so let me ca- catch up in the chat do you think that's all the announcements today with tony no i think he's gonna milk this show for all it's worth That was a tough Canadian destroyer there. Mm. Uh, no one caught Cage. Yeah, nobody caught Cage. Uh, <laughs> you d- he crashed. He <laughs> crashed. And that was just thump. Oh, uh, Jupiter, the announcements that have come so far. And I say this so far. February 15th, they announced Grand Slam Australia which is going to be uh, another big show down there, which I got to check that is. Uh, let me check the calendar here. Cause something weird about that. What exactly does a grand slam entail? Uh, the reason they called it grand slam initially is because it was in Arthur Ashe stadium, the home of the U uh, S open. In, and in if it- you win all four of the main, the major Tournament, tight, uh, tennis tournaments, you you are a Grand Slam champion. Yeah, in tennis. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, this is actually a <laughs> Saturday like, show. Why is it? I think it's because they're getting rid of Arthur Ashe next year in terms of their run. Just because they got three shows, like, that close together. Uh, the second yeah. announcement is in lieu of... In lieu of uh, All In being out here this weekend, coming up next year, they're doing uh, a Forbidden Door London, August 25th. 
So basically, we're going to get a Forbidden Door and All Out two weeks apart. So yeah, AEW is just loading up this year. Oh, this is the part of the match where everybody spams their finishers. Classic. And I expect the third announcement will be the streaming deal. I don't know if they do it here. That sucked. Shibata. Oh, the one on Shibata? Yeah, oh, Shibata. Shibata one looked like shit. Shibata looked like a receipt for not catching Cage on the outside. Yeah, very much so. I also don't know if they. I don't think people here give a shit enough about the streaming deal. In terms of. Yeah, we, we also got to remember the streaming deal means nothing outside of the USA if it's on Max because that only exists there. Because the thing is, uh, the, the only reason we're bringing it up here is because you're going to get the most number of eyeballs on it, right? This match, so, mess, or sorry, this match is a hot mess. <laughs> oh, did you expect anything different from a 10 man tag? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the, the, the 16 man tag was cleaner. Yeah, because they, mo they kept most of it to the outside and they actually only used two people at a time. A Stokely like power and <laughs> spine buster there. Oh, I love me some Shibata. Jesus. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that that's Shibata that's Shibata. I love that hesitation drop kick. Just because you're sitting here and just waiting, ooh, 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 oh. Does Nigel interfere tonight in something? Hmm. Didn't he kind of allude to it? He had an interview at the beginning, right? Well, he tried to do an interview on Wednesday, sort of, with Swerve and uh, Danielson. But he basically no-sold having Danielson come out, period. So he never actually got face-to-face. Oh, there's a curtain call. Dude, Sammy killed him. Oh. Good lord. <laughs> he just dropped all weight on him. That looked so brutal. I think, honestly, I think he's taking notes from Jeff Hardy and how what? to protect himself. Because remember, huh? Jeff used to hit his swanton, but landing mostly on the ground, and he his back up doing it. Or Sammy's like, I'm just going to land on you. Well, then we got, well... Jupiter's asking what's more organized than this, an RCW card book 2018. That was more organized than this. And 2018 I think, though, Mike? Yeah, I know. I'm yeah. Before it turned into something decent. And then... Uh, okay, so who's coming out here? Grado? No. Oh no, this is where Kevin gets his uh gets the claw on everybody. Oh yeah. did he lose oh, it? And the fa funny fact, Kevin's not wearing any shoes either. Ew. Yeah, but he's an old man not wearing shoes. It's pretty much all Oh my god, Taven Cell is so good. Oh my god. Get to us, Tommy Young Von Eric. <laughs> Taven just like He's all the way back already, like, like completely that. Completely winded, anyways. Yeah, he's got no shoes. There's like three people in this match that have, don't have shoes on. That poor man. Ew. <laughs> See, you got Taven in that prone pose. I'd be going for shattered dreams if I was Dustin. You're leaning back like that. You're gonna get up in a hurry if you do that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go make breakfast. I'll be back in a little while. All right. Let me just uh, clear that off there. There we go. I don't know how this is going to work, so we'll see how things go here. So I Yeah, I was confused, but then I figured it out. <laughs> well, no, if you're watching the stream here. Oh, yeah, it still works out this way. So, uh Yay, RJ. Well, RJ has been very important this morning. He actually turned around and said, 
you know, make sure you go urinate before everything starts here. But, uh, no, oh, if, 20 if, minutes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we still got 20 minutes till the show starts. We got lots of time here and we got through all our pre-show matches. Everybody's settling in, getting ready. Uh, yeah, so we've had two big announcements already with, uh, with the announce of Grand Slam Australia, which is going to be a Saturday PLE instead of a, or a PPV. Sorry, let me, that's a swear word over here, PLE. <laughs> but, uh, uh, what? Oh, I'm like, what's happening? Okay. Oh, why does she look really pissed? Because she didn't get on the card. Like, she looks like she's about to end someone. There was a lot of talking on Wednesday that uh, we were actually going to get the... F we were not getting another match with uh, Saray ever again here in AEW. Like, her contract was running out. So, wait, what's actually happening here? I think we're getting a surprise match. I think this could I'm be... Like, this could be I'm the gonna... return... To be honest, this could be the return of Jamie Hayter. Because if Soraya comes out and demands to have a match in front of her people in Wembley. I don't think she brought enough family members, personally. <laughs> there, there's there been a lot of stuff. Go well, with Soraya, there's been nothing but controversy all over the place. Oh, my God. Could you imagine, Jay Quick? I just, that came to my Not mind. Not on the pre-show. Not on the pre-show. Come on. No. Honestly, with but yes, AEW, I could imagine. I wouldn't put it past Tony Khan one bit to just randomly throw it on the pre-show because hell, if you're gonna see this on the pre-show, what are you gonna see on the PLE? PPV. So it. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey. Oh, hold on here. Oh, we got more. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I have to get my doorbell fixed. It's a new doorbell, <laughs> and I guess I'll have to uh, get that fixed up. Alarming. Here <laughs> that was terrifying, Mike. Unproblematic. <laughs> she, she got a lot of things going on here, but this is this is something. Which has to lead to something decent happening here. And if Becky shows up, Triple H would faint. Yeah, probably. What's with the Statue of Liberty? Because she's a queen. Zodiac. How the Chris? How the hell are you doing? I'm doing great. What's going on? I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on with my stream here. It's like yours. I know is like mine took a while to mine. set. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Oh, we're we're having a blast here. Two big announcements. Oh. Now we got a surprise Saray in the ring. It's got to be Jamie Hader, then, right? It has to be. Oh. Oh my God! It is. Thanks for the spoilers, guys. Jeez. I was going to say, I think we're five seconds ahead of you, Mike. <laughs> so, oh, we're ahead of you? I didn't know we were ahead of you. Just a You're few seconds, I think. Thir 30 seconds, I think it is. But Jamie's back. Oh, this God, is awesome. Oh, God, she looks good. Did you expect anything different? Dang, she looks good. She looks good. She looks ready. And this looks like it's going to be a five-minute match, and that'll be it. But like I said, this is one of those, hey... We got, we're getting this on the pre-show. So you got to come see what's going to happen on the, on the PLE here. Girl is destroying the entire family. Get him. Get him. The night, <laughs> all the knights turning into court jesters here tonight. Jesus. <laughs> that steel step bump. Oh God. Apparently, it's saying that my Shivani's yelled, "Let's get a referee!" Change. I love it.
It'd be funny if the Becky whole... came out right after her. Uh oh, old lady Soraya's here. What a shot. Saray, young Saray gives a shot and yeah, yeah, nothing. Oh, please, get, give me Harley and and Jamie. That will be a lot more fun, I think. Oh, oh. I love that trapped arm clothesline. But yeah, once again, if you're going to do something like this, this is a great way to do it. Uh, I, I guess that says that Soraya's sticking around at least for a little bit. Not even would... a match? Not even two minutes? Come on. I, I don't Injustice. think it's... Well, I think they're going to save the match for maybe all out. Because we still got a pay-per-view in two weeks, right? Or it was, or that was the last time Soraya will be on TV? Mm. I don't think that's the last time we'll see Soraya on TV one way or the other. Mm. But yeah, uh, Jay Quick, in your regards to Brit, apparently the bad blood stuff that Brit's been having with backstage sort of extends to Jamie as well. So Wait, what happened? I should, she's oh, been gone for like ever. No, apparently Brit's a bit of a diva. That's about, that's the best way to sum it up. Not Not in terms of the bad thing, but you know. I know diva can be a bad term, but she just has very high standards on different things and her own opinions. Which seems to be more apparent now. But no, Zodiac, now we got Chance. Chris, how the hell are you doing today? I know you're having a crazy day today. Oh, it's just around, uh, you know, lunchtime here. And so you got to run around, make sure people get fed and just wake up properly and stuff like that. But. Other than that, I'm happy to be settled in now and ready to watch some wrestling on this big streamathon day. Ready to watch them all in from London, especially with some fantastic people here on your channel, Mike. And as always, I'm very happy to be a part of this. Uh, well, thank you for being here. And yeah, if you weren't around earlier, did you hear about the two big announcements that already have come down today? I have Besides not Tater. heard anything. I have just settled in. All right. So for those that are just popping in here and just getting ready, first of all, welcome. Good to see everybody here. Um, we're going to be having a plethora of guests here. We've had Andre Sehan here already. He's gone. He'll be back later. Uh, we're going to have people popping in and out of here all the whole time here. But um, we had two major announcements from Tony Khan already tonight. We had the announcement of Grand Slam Australia, February 15th, Saturday, February 15th, uh, from the Sutton Arena, which I do believe is the host of the uh, Australian Open down there. And then the second big announcement they had, because All In is not going to be at Wembley next year, they have announced Forbidden Door London, August 24, August 24 2025 from here in London. So we are going to get two P PPVs essentially two weeks apart, but now it's going to be a forbidden door and all out versus a all in and all out. So the fact that they're spreading out the new Japan crossover show evenly with the one that's coming up in, in Japan, February 5th or January 5th. Cause Kayla, you know about that one, right? The yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so they're replacing New Year's Dash at New Japan with a crossover show. And the Grand Slam is a new PPV. Yeah, like, it, it is essentially like another like a Grand Slam concept, right? So whether they take it out of Arthur Ashe after this year, I don't know. Having three in a month is a little tight for booking, but... Also, the fact Grand Slam is sort of a... Oh, what are they doing now? What's happening? These entrances are going to take 10 minutes. This is an intro. What Wait a sec. The heck? I got it. We're starting with the ladder match, guys. Oh. Oh, no. We're starting with a coffin match. Nope. Ladder match. My bad. I thought that was Jack Perry there for a second. No, that's the 
That's the Kings of the Dark Throne. There, there we go. That House of Black. Wow. He looks like the rabbit so from sick. Donnie Darko. <laughs> No, they're going to use, they're going to literally start the PPV with the match. Like the bell's going to ring and we're going to go. Which actually. So everybody some, gets a big entrance. Yeah. And it, they do this quite often on uh, Frank Great Ref. Hey, there you go, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Frank Jukes all over that reference for you. Whatever the hell it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, they do this all the time for Rampage. They'll put the entrances for Rampage up on YouTube. So then when the bell rings for Rampage, they go right into their first match because they only have an hour, right? So for me, it just... This is actually a really cool concept so people can actually see what they're going to be looking forward to. But yeah, the fact that we're going to get... I'll give this to AEW. Oh. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Well, I'll give this to AEW is that when you have these overseas pay-per-views in WWE, I mean, they're good shows. They don't want to crap all over what they do when they go overseas, but it doesn't really feel like um, a show with any sort of tangible consequence. I think what they did most recently in that London show actually had it, but prior to it, it never really had that feeling. And this feels like a big show. This feels like things are going to happen today. And this every fe- single time AEW has gone overseas, it's felt like that. This feels like totally mania. agree. For lack of a better term, yeah. this feels like mania. Except this one literally does have a lot of... They screwed up on the camera cut. Attaboy. <laughs> it doesn't work as well without the spotlight on top, but... I can't really turn off that sunshine. No. It's funny how that works. Can't they call yeah, for exactly. rain? They should be able to call for rain instantly. Just for that one minute. I I love that, you know, Juice Robinson has a cross between Macho Man Randy Savage and Dude Love. Or Cactus Jack, sorry. That's what his gear looks like to me. It's a cross between the I two of them. It. All right, I'm going to pop out. Be back in like three minutes. All right. No worries. Like I said, we're going to have people going in and out of here all day, and it's going to be a blast. And I, lo- I love the fact that I have a new overlay where I can literally bring people out and back in at leisure here. So, yeah, I can literally just do that. And now with Twitch's new functionality cool. here, literally all you have to do is hit knock on your on your screen, and it'll automatically knock on my door, and, you know, the buzzer will go off, and I let you in. Yeah. yeah, it was super convenient. The only thing I have to worry about now is getting a new computer because it's killing my bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Well, the one thing about this for me, and I find it rather, like I have no drop frames out of this. And it's literally just because these are all browser sources. Let me try changing up my camera. Let me see if that uh, affects my bandwidth because it has in the past. Right now I'm using OBS virtual camera, so I'm just going to go straight to my actual camera. Give me one second. Sure, by all means. Well, but once again, everybody, thank you. Uh, thank you for popping in here today. Um, we're just getting started. The PPV starts in just under five minutes here, or just under six minutes. Is that working any better for you, Chris? Oh, a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, because you really don't need the virtual camera on unless you're, unless you're actually streaming yourself. Yeah. Well, even when I normally stream for us. Oh. Oh. I, I'm trying to take your cues and not talk when the wrestlers are coming in. <laughs> no, <laughs> my, my cue isn't for when the wrestlers come in. It's for when the ring announcer's talking. I'm up, uh, pick that from what you did on your your post streams on the WWE 2K24 My GM modes, which yeah, everyone that... should watch. Oh, of course. After Dynamite cheap. and uh, Collision. Yeah, cheap plug there. Uh, hey. Yeah, literally. Uh, as a as a commentator, you're always taught 
your role is to get everybody over. Well, the role of the ring announcer is to shine when he gets a chance to talk. So then we're always told, don't, don't ever talk over the ring announcer because that's their moment to shine. So that, that's why I've always done it that way. So everybody's got their role to look good. But yeah, I, I can Absolutely. imagine what kind of what kind of cra craziness we're going to get here. Which match are you looking forward to the most here, Chris? Was, you know, I just I want to see if Danielson gets the belt. I know there was a new report that came out from I don't know who was it from who it was from. I don't know if it's from Sean Ross Sapp or or some one of the wrestling outlets, you know, it wasn't. But the I saw the news report from Culture this morning that told he's not supposed to be wrestling that the next surgery that he's supposed to have at the end of this year is indeed real and you know that that brings into question what's going to happen today in that matchup i mean everyone wants to see him get gold one more time and you know him losing today under the stipulations and aw's pretty firm with their stipulations as we learned from cody rhodes that if he loses today that's that's his career so I'm looking forward to that match. I'm looking to the end of it. I'm looking forward to just the, the great product we're usually used to seeing from Danielson and and uh, and Swerve. Yeah, and that was a report from Sean Ross Sapp. I read that this morning as well, and I think there's not a I think there's a not much of a coincidence here that ever since it's been a foregone as soon as they put the career stipulation on the line, it seems like they've constantly put up that uh, all these stories about Danielson not, not supposed to be able to wrestle. I think it's trying to, as soon as you put somebody's career on a line versus a, versus a title, automatic brain goes towards, you know, it's the guy with the career on the line that's going to win. They're doing everything, mm -hmm. in their po everything in their power, absolutely everything in their power to try and sway that. And I don't think it's a coincidence that this report came out from SRS this morning just yep. to see if they can finally get that swerve out of there. No pun intended. Hey, but yeah, I'll, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do that for myself. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Jay quick throwing in some comments here. Wheeler, you does look or Jupiter's throwing in wheelers. You can looking a little yellow. Well, let's hope Wayne, uh, Nick Wayne there takes his jacket off. So they don't match arms. Uh, <laughs> Jay quick. He wasn't supposed to be in the anarchy in the arena, but he wasn't cleared. Makes sense. And then uh, I just think Nigel screws Danielson, but you could be wrong. There's a way you can get around that retirement stipulation. You get Swerve to win this match thanks to Nigel's interference. And then you have Nigel coming around gloating for the next three months until Danielson snaps. Or uh, Danielson wins by DQ. He doesn't lose, but he doesn't get the belt. And it's because of Nigel. That, that could be... Do you do a DQ on the main event to your biggest show of the year, though? I wouldn't. I don't think that's very smart, but it is a way you get around it. The only way you get around it, and this actually, to me, would make a lot of sense. Your biggest building feud of the year, you put as your main event. Would Tony Khan have the guts to put Mariah and Tony as the main? I doubt it. We're going to find out. I think that that should be the main event today. But it I think the ramifications of the results of Danielson loses is, is carrying a lot. Yeah, I it it honestly does feel as close to a crapshoot as you can actually get. As we're getting into our last thirty seconds here before the actual P. P P V starts. And yeah, Jay quick, you're throwing in uh, hangman wins it all out. I, I could totally get that with you here, but you know what? Since we got everything going on today and we got so many matches that are unpredictable, let's get the predictions up here. Let, let's get everybody's gambling habit into gear here. Uh, <laughs> By the way, I'm 300 points away from 100,000 points for your channel. Oh, God. We got a lot of sound alerts coming out then, in other words. 
I'm going to wait. That's going to be at 110K. That's when I'm going to start putting them out. I'm going to maintain a positive 100,000 point base. Oh, God. I, I love the fact that they're actually using Machine Head as a... Uh... <laughs> Oh God, here Let's we go. go. Everything's fired up here. Let's go. All right, let me keep typing here because I BCC and Pac. Gun Club. Patriarchy. Uh, let's throw 10 minutes on the timer. Feel free to feel free to get your degenerations in right now. Thank you, Jupiter, by the way. Well, that was one way to make hater, hater dominant. Yeah, well, you want a hater out there just to, you know. It, it's the feel good moment in front of the crowd. Gets them fired up. Get Gets the unpredictability fired up as well, right? Because it, it was something that nobody expected, right? Well, some people expected it, but they didn't expect it right there and then. I, I find it's a really cool moment, personally. Oh, here we go. Um, so I was going to ask you, Chris, what are you uh, streaming tonight on the, on the Retro Hangover stream? I'm probably going to be streaming a little bit of the Final Fantasy Renaissance is what I did two weeks. Welcome back, KJ, by the way. Glad to see you here. Thanks, guys. So uh, if you like your original Final Fantasy, I'm playing kind of, I wouldn't call it a ROM hack because it's built from the ground up in Unity. But it's, uh, yeah, it's the original Final Fantasy with all sorts of weirdness in it. So if you like that, that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. Let me get a... Uh... You want to check out Chris tonight? There's the uh, old uh, link. Just click the heart in the uh, chat there, and you'll uh, get tuned in. Chris is going to be on there. At, it's 9 p.m. Eastern, right? 9 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, normally we're doing our sports stream on uh, Sunday nights, but, yeah, Chris is always over there doing the Final Fantasies, all the retro stuff, and banking on the underdog and picking BCC and Mini Mox. Minimox's a good way to put it. Oh, my signal's fading here. Just give me one sec. Sorry if I can't hear you for two seconds. Got these new earbuds, and I'm trying to see whether they're, they're worth the purchase or not here. So, Oh. Why are they using such a short ladder to get those titles? That's the thing I'm wondering. Just got to get your tallest person up there. That's all you got to do. Makes the Blackpool Combat... No, not Blackpool Combat Club. The uh, the House of Black that much more dangerous with, with Brody King because he's so tall. He can use those shorter ladders. That's an advantage for the House of Black. So I didn't realize this, and I don't know if many people know, but you can actually order ladders with th double steps on them. You know how they're trying to get up ladders that uh, the one side is completely ratched? You can actually order ladders with double double steps on them. Hmm. It, I need I, to do it, that for some backyard fun. It, yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> uh, I could just imagine your backyard wrestling going on here. I, I, I thought about that once, and then I looked at it, and I'm like, yeah, no, we're good. Oh, by the way, shout out to Big Bill with my coffee mug today. The old... Uh, so what do we have here? A cup of haters? Oh my <laughs> goodness. It's one of my very few non-t-shirt WWE purchases I've ever made. And what are we all drinking today? I have a nice cold brisk. <laughs> I will be drinking Labatt Blue here soon in honor of my Canadian friends. So that's going to be happening here. But right now I'm just doing, in honor of London, I have some Gordon's gin and some seltzer. Now the seltzer's French. They're not going to like that. But you know what? You got to do what you got to do. Well, the English are always used to stealing all the good stuff from other countries. So the, the French gin actually <laughs> makes sense. There it is. 
Yes, I'm about to piss off a whole bunch of people in England. We actually had, um, who's our last, I'm just looking through here, scrolling. On uh, Wednesday night, we actually had a, a fellow, Sean G90, who's actually at Wembley here today. Got the tickets for the show. Oh, so no way. He said he might actually pop in during the, uh, during the show, so... We'll we'll see how the atmosphere. Yeah, he I said th- he's uh. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, he said he's by the ramp. Yeah, he said. Yeah, he said he's right by the entrance ramp, getting in. So. Oh no way. Oh, he's back. My God, do I love? <laughs> my God, do I love Brody and the this fact guy. that he'll just take a dive. That is a oh, big course. man doing small man things. So Christian's coming back. Yeah, of course. There's nobody in the ring. Of course he's coming back. Back, but still. Hey, you know what? It's cool. If you want to eat on stream, you know, that's a that's a thing, too. It's fine. No pressure at all, Andre. Like I said, we got. Like you can tell by the stream layout, we have room for five guests here. So there's no rush in either way. I know that there's a couple others that have said they're willing to come on. Willing to pop in here, but. I wanted to send a special invite to everybody who's been with me this year. I wonder if Big G's woken up yet. That's the other question I have. <laughs> Did the man party too hard at Fan Expo? He was or pretty what? shmammered last night. Yeah, he came in on stream oh and he was he was on the uh, on the train in Toronto and he said he had he was very inebriated, chatting with us. <laughs> so. Oh my God. You know what would make this match interesting is if they did what they uh, they did in WWE. I think it was Mania, where whoever got like a title was the champion, but they still had the other belts up there. What if they made the trios champion? Whoever got like a belt was a champion. So basically, it's a wild card. Three people get to pick, right? Oh, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, go figure. You know, you speak the man's name and he shows up. <laughs> Say his name and he appears. I believe in McGee. I believe in McGee. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> <I did. laughs> we were just talking about you. If you didn't hear, <laughs> we, we were wondering if you're actually physically awake yet after last night's exploits. And, Mike, uh, where'd you go? <laughs> I'm here, and I have a guess. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Juice is here. <laughs> we have a special guest here today. <laughs> we heard you had fun last night. I did. I did. <laughs> it was a blast. I'm a little slow this morning. Oh, I'm a little slow Lots- every day, so don't feel bad. <laughs> lots of uh, lots of walking. Lots of, Ugh, lots of footsteps on my uh, counter. How was the expo? Did oh, you see anything uh, really cool? I saw a lot of things really cool. There was a ton of stuff there. I went to, we did the Twisted Tunes, which is a bunch of voice actors given a script. And then they reacted as different characters rather than the actual characters for the <laughs> for the movie. So they did Breakfast Club. And it had uh, Maurice, can't pronounce his last name. He's the guy who does like Pinky in the Brain and all that stuff. Oh, that's had, sick. Uh, Paul Rodson. And then the other two I didn't know, but they're so good. So good. Yeah. Wow. Fan, fanboy Brian pulling in the deer goat. Deer goat. We got running. And then uh, Andre in the chat asking why the ladders are so Marsh. small. It's because it makes the wrestlers look that bigger. <laughs> Jupiter's on it. Maurice Lamarche. I've heard uh, certain certain descriptions of filming in other industries as well. How are you guys all watching on Triller? I'm watching on Triller, yeah. I'm just wondering what um, our uh, I'm on the zone. Our, our time delays are going to be. <laughs> well, I got Brody Lee going for splashes. He just finished them up, so I think. Um... I got Brody Lee Barker. Whatever, whatever I'm on. Yeah, I'm I think right it's like there. a few seconds ahead of everybody. McGee, yeah, I, I think, think you, zone... you, you and I are pretty much lined up. I think the yeah. other two are about 30 seconds ahead of us here. Vic, good to see you here, sir. HPC Bad Guys, Heels Pops and Chair Shots podcast. 
Can you guys see Mike, or is it just me that can't see him? I'm actually turned off the... Uh, I turned off my preview on the... Uh, I can actually probably turn that back on, actually. So let me... Uh, I actually did that on purpose. Uh, let's oh, see where I'm juice. at. Uh, juice is there to get beaten up. That's just normal. So how hyped were you all when Hater came out? Oh, it was nuts. Absolutely oh, so loved hyped. it. That was great. I I've been happy they, with all, everything tonight, so... Are they going to have all their surprises tonight, though, or are they going to save some for All Out? Well, they've already had three today, if you haven't, haven't heard. Did you hear about the two announcements that they had earlier today? I saw Swerve resign. Oh, that was I a resign. I, th I thought that was a... Uh, I thought that was a contract signing, but no, that's that. No, he re he re upped with uh, AW. There you go. More reason for him to win. Yeah, just hit knock whenever you're ready, there, uh, Vic. Yep. Great. Uh, sorry. And that's great security on AW's part because he his stock is definitely gone up, oh, and 100%. he is one of the biggest stars that a lot of people point to and say that, you know, this is WWE's biggest mistake in letting them go. So good to get on AEW for, for securing that contract and keeping him in the company. Big star, big potential. Oh, absolutely. Like, that was just one of the... Um, we also had uh, two, two show announcements. We had Grand Slam Australia announced for February 15th. It's a Saturday. Okay. They're posting it at the uh, venue for the uh, Australian Open. And then as well, in lieu of... All in since they're not doing Lond all in London next year, they're actually doing all in uh, or sorry, they're doing Forbidden Door London August 24th next year. So essentially the same weekend. Now, are they not doing all in because basically, well, they're doing all in Texas is going to be there all in Texas next year. That's what they're doing. They moved it to July and they're putting it in uh, Arlington Stadium where the Rangers play. And I'd assume they're doing it because. Wembley's it, it I think there's two factors for that one Wembley uh Wembley is actually uh, tough to get this many people in consecutive years like this like even this year they're like 30,000 less I know that's forced because of the T Swift concert they had to knock out 30,000 seats for that if, if you didn't know Taylor's playing there I think tomorrow and Tuesday and she's been playing there all week. And the gun club is dead. <laughs> but uh, the other thing is, yeah, WWE's pro I think they're probably going to end up with SummerSlam there. No, they got Minnesota for SummerSlam next year. They're going to have a big show there. Guaranteed. They're doing something there because that's all they've been talking about, right? Yeah, the biggest talk was the... Uh, the, the fact that uh, AEW, when they came in, they gave a big title belt to the guy in Texas, the mayor of Texas. And when WWE went to London, they gave him one of those watch-style ones. <laughs> Old Jay Quick, thank you for correcting me. That actually makes sense now. No, SummerSlam's in Minnesota in 26, so you could put SummerSlam in Wem Wembley in 95, or 2025. So that actually makes a lot of sense if we do it that way. Good. I'm surprised they haven't announced that yet, though. No, they'll wait till the. They'll wait. They'll wait. They'll. I'm surprised they last, don't do it today. Last minute big hype thing. Or else they'll do. Or else they announce it on Saturday. Why not announce it in Germany while you're uh, in the area where people can get tickets? Makes sense. Because, yeah, Germany's, what, three time zones away from, uh, oh. that sucked. He landed funny. I think he was supposed to land on his feet, but he slipped, and then they just held by his neck. They're probably still deciding if it's going to be two nights or not. That's a very good point. They can't Do they make everything two nights. They're looking to make all the big four all two nights. 
I I can barely I can't I can't even do WrestleMania. Tonight. Jesus. Like, Sorry. Oh, Andre's back up. Got to get the camera back up here. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> Andre C. Retain. Hello. Mick G and Zell. How you doing, boys? <laughs> Holy uh, cow. Good, that good. ladder is maybe here. too big. <laughs> so, Andre, you were asking for a bigger ladder. I think we found one. Yay, we finally got a normal ladder. That's not a normal <laughs> ladder. <laughs> it's, hitting the it's hitting the titles. Oh, poor Juice. <laughs> yeah, but Juice can't walk at the best of times. Fair. <laughs> if I had Tony Storm as my significant other, I probably wouldn't walk that much either. And you make another relative. Oh, that looks so no. painful. That, that Juice spot. Oh. You guys are 30 God seconds damn. ahead of me, so this is actually awesome. The cringe. Oh! 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 Good luck on having kids. <laughs> Jesus. Tony Storm's not having a good night tonight, no matter what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Here we go. I'm prettier on. Well, not the mace. Pox sold that one real well. Mm-hmm. I'm somehow ahead of you now, uh, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... Wheeler's just moving the ladder towards the uh, spot where he could use the big ladder right now. I just saw Cage attack Wheeler. Yeah, that's where I am, too. I'm about yeah. ten. Se I'm about five oh! seconds behind. Just attack Wheeler. Yeah. Oh! I just got the Damn. bear spray. And I say bear spray because... Well, it's cougar spray because it's coming from hey, old lady Wayne there. Pew, pew. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. My bad. I'm a little behind. <laughs> oh. Pat can't afford to get injured. He's got MJF. Yeah, that, that's true. He's got either MJF or Osprey at all out. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Right out, of, right out of view. You know, you have uh, Juice throwing <laughs> in a chair. Juice <laughs> needs to be on TV every day. <laughs> <laughs> juice is so good I love juice what are they going to do a titty shot that was oh <laughs> I love Oops. Nigel Nigel just no <laughs> god bless Nigel oh my god we're, get, we're getting packed in here now Oh, please, please. No, no. <laughs> Luchasaurus, you could be the face of the year if you let him go. Damn. Oh, and I am the table. <laughs> the table just will not break. I'm the table. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some odd looking tables, too. They're not your normal tables. It's like they forgot to bring them. And they just stopped up at the local hardware store. We need tables. Bring the tables. Well, no. It, in, in England, they don't use uh, an actual, you know, they don't have to worry about lumber stores and that. They literally just chop their trees down and cut them down into uh, tables like that. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's Buddy doing here? Oh, God. Doorbell's ringing again. Jesus. Jesus, H. Christ. We're... we're we have we finally hitting the max here. We've hit it. We're 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 hitting it. We saw we hit. Somebody rang and then they <laughs> ran off. What is this? Like They got scared. They looked at us and we're like, no, I'm out. <laughs> oh, there it is. I gotta hit that. There you go. Now everything's re Hey Vic! Hey Vic! Oh, 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 is Pac about to get his moment? Can y'all hear me? You got, oh, yeah. an, you got an echo, no, but yeah. Freaking... All right, cool, yeah. cool. My bad. I, have, I think I have you guys pulled up on several things. I'm sorry. That's all good. We got you from the top-down cam, the, the HPC studio there. Oh, Pac. Come on, oh, Pac. Wow, get okay. those titles. Oh, there goes Christian. Get him, you bastard! Oh, he's got one! That's there all he is. need is one! 
Yeah. Yeah. The Pockpool Combat Club. Oh. Pockpool Combat Club, yep. Kill Switch just told Christian he's done. Oh! The patriarchy is crumbling! <laughs> the other two have to climb for their belts. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. So is it officially the uh, Pack Pool Combat Club? I it's guess. <laughs> Mini mocks. That was a crazy way they opened, right? With the entrances? Yep. Yeah, they, that's the way they always do it on Rampage. They always, uh, oh, there we go. That's a sight right there. Oh, oh, that's surprising. What? Oh, House of Black. That's surprising. No, I, I, I think there's a level of respect with Pac with everything. Because they've been trying to recruit him forever, right? Yeah. And I guess you need a new member if one of yours is leaving. Are they, Is he leaving, though? Ooh. They're doing Tony next? I... All right, that was weird. Yeah, did Twitch freak out on you too? No, I had the entire thing crash on me. So we're not live anymore? <laughs> no, we're live now. Sort of. Hmm. So we all have to knock again? <laughs> there we go. I think we're back. I hope we're back. Five of the six of us are back, so we're okay here. Zodiac will be back up in one sec here. I think he left to get a drink anyways. Yeah, okay. We're yes. good. A quote-unquote Levat's blue. No, it's my computer literally said out of memory. So... Oh. Too many of us. I guess. <laughs> Is that her parents? Or her mom? I think, that's what it said. I think so. Might be her mom, yeah. Maybe her Okay, I'm hoping this fixes it. I'm just not doing any more predictions tonight. <laughs> <laughs> where are you guys up to? I'm up to the entrance part. Like, Tony's actually coming down the ramp right now. Yeah, that's, that's, where, where, I'm that's at. where I'm Tony's at. Tony's walking the okay, ramp cool, right cool. now. Okay, cool. Usually you guys are ahead of me. <laughs> there, there's three of us that I think are even with you, and then there's two that are ahead. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, Tony's, like, walking into the ring right now. Like, she's in the yeah. ring. That's All right, so you're a little ahead of me. Yeah, she's still on, on my ramp with her arms open. We should have... Uh... Synced up our times. Paused he it. Just got to the ring up. for me. <laughs> here here you go, Canadians. Now, the like... beer that all of you drink all the time. All, all of it. Dear Lord. As McG said. I will go fighting. grab my Caesars right away and that'll clear that up. So, I want a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the beer in Canada? I don't drink any of the big name Canadian ones. Whatever's cheap. I only drink. I only drink like craft beers now. Yeah, when I go, to I'm the same small way. Small brewery beers and stuff. Yeah. Anything that's like mass-produced brew is just not good. Yeah, I go to. I I usually what I've been drinking if I have a beer lately is uh, stuff from Sturgeon Brewing Company here in Warrenville. Oh. Okay. Ooh. The makeup on Mariah looks so good. You, you knew this was going to be good just for the fact that both of these, like, this is, ha this has to be the best produced story of the year. By far. Yeah, easily. Oh, 100%. Why it's going on second, I don't row? know why. 
Anybody else here in static right now? Yep. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. All right, let me... I'll turn off my mic, see if it's me. Nope. I'll turn off mine. Static. Vic, Vic, want to give a shot of yours? There we go. Hello? Who, who just... Who's muted right now? Not me. I don't think anybody. Oh. Do you want me to try, Mike? No, I, I think we're good anyways. now. I think it's gone now. Oh, okay. I didn't now? hear it, so I was like, maybe it's me. Is it me? <laughs> no, it seems like we're all good now. No? Okay, okay, cool. Well, you play you playing uh, Smash right now, Vic? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out. So I'm on restream. So I'm trying to. Ha I was there's a way that I could add like the picture oh, on the screen, the but not only as oh, an overlay Rachel. right now. Um, if you go into the settings of uh, the guest star, Mariah is in the crowd with Rachel. <laughs> Or Mina's in the crowd with Rachel. Sorry, not Mariah. Mina. Mina's in the crowd with Rachel. If if you go into the settings of Guest Star, there under browser, there is a setting where you can look up all the. Uh, well, of course Rachel's <clears throat> going to be around dealing with all the all the uh, international stars. Her and Chris are basically the tutors here. Uh, there is a thing there where you can click on each individual browser for this. So. Kirby God, Mariah wins. I don't see how I don't see how else the story should end. Oh, I want Mariah to win so badly. Well, if you actually oh. go through the uh if you go through the movie apparently that they're basing this off of, Mariah wins this, Tony wins later. I don't think Mar Mina interferes because she's in the upper balcony right now. Yeah, I Mina's was gonna say, how is ball. she gonna get down there? She ain't getting down there anytime soon. She also played, uh, she's playing the conflicted part, right? Cause yeah. They, they all got back together and she doesn't know what to do. Wait, what movie is this based off of? It's like a thirties time, time Warner classic movie. I can't remember the exact name of it. Mina might jump off the uh, balcony. I don't think so. I'll be honest. I don't think so at this point. Dang, that power bomb was good. That was a thud. Oof. Got all of that one. Yep. Oh, God. Luther's going to get... Wanted this to be a first blood match? I don't think it needed it. This is one of those matches that didn't need a stipulation because the story's so damn good. Yeah, let me quickly take a look here for you, Vic. Yeah, if you go under browser sources, if you hit settings, there's a list of each. Uh, you can pick each source, and uh, it gives you an individual uh, overlay for it. I wound up just um, adding it as a as a logo, and they have it real small there. Tony's chest is brutalized. Oof. Yeah. Rough. It's just blood red already. Yeah, but I thought it was actually blood at first. Yeah, me pretty, too. Uh, she's pretty pasty white, though, regularly, so it'll come out a little bit more. It's the Seamus Just like effect. with, like, Seamus? Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. You get the you need to get the, like, most uh, pale wrestlers and just have one of those chop matches like you had with uh, Jericho and, uh, God, I can't Z remember his Suzuki. name. Suzuki. Like, when they just did chops for, th yeah, Suzuki. Just like with two oh, pale so ass, good. yeah. When you have three moves Just in the so match like... and one of them is a chop, <laughs> yep. yeah. Pin, chop, punch. <laughs> oh god, that! I always hate seeing that chop—the two-handed one right in the chest. Right, does it so good. Oh, I, I know, this, but still, it's just brutal. So this was probably the one I wanted to see the most, or the most hype I was for Me on too. the card. 
Well, before you popped in, we we almost thought this might have been the main event in some cases. If right. you, I honestly thought it was going to get into the top five matches for sure, the other than the last five, but no. Well, the other thing about this, Andre, there's only nine matches on this card. It's not yeah. it's not your usual AEW. Let's throw fifteen and hope for the best kind of deal. True. So at least we're getting a little bit of breathing action with most of these. And the and the crowd, if you go this early, you're going to get a lot better. Like you're, the crowd's not going to be as tired too. So. Yeah, absolutely. Here, you you don't need to worry about a piss break match quite yet. I think that's a good point. Is now well, the crowd's fired up. <laughs> yeah, that that's we're gonna get it. <laughs> well, unless Bill shows up, he's the now uh, hottest act in AW. Yeah, what is that about? There's a big push for him online right now. For which story? Big Bill. Um, he's just that good of a wrestler. I'll just put it there. I about to jump on this game. Oof. Oh, oh my goodness. Ooh. Dang, that was good. The landing looked rough, but that was good. Sorry, guys. I've given up dealing with my ear, my uh, portable earbuds today. <laughs> Just decided to hell with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, lucky Nigel. <laughs> yeah, but that's what you expect out of a guy like Nigel. <laughs> oh, he's so lucky. <laughs> I just saw that. Oh, God. What? She reminds me a lot of Tiffany Stratton by her attire. Not like how she wrestles or anything, but like. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Well. Oh. Oh, it must what? be Tony's mom or something. No, it was her own mother. I'm <laughs> so mom? confused. Right her now. own mom? <laughs> that was uh, the thing about the Tony. Um, sorry, dealing. Oh, God. Slapped her own mother? Their own mother. <laughs> oh <laughs> that is so weird <sighs> somewhat to be expected oh. though oh and there oh jesus oh you know what's funny andre uh you make that sound and it, it's probably for this uh this storm zero on the stairs Yep. And it was, for me, it was when she hit the hip attack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it's like, it sort of makes sense, but it doesn't kind of thing. Now, uh. They're chanting Tony Storm. Man, Man she's <laughs> so over right now. <laughs> yep. This whole match is over. I don't want this match to be over. <laughs> In the other sense. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! I think that oh, makes it even more chance, strange. Is these are both Londoners, aren't they? Like, no, uh, no. Uh, Tony Storm is Tony's definitely Australian. the main event. Tony's but she, a, she, yeah, go ahead, Andre. She broke in. She, she broke in. Blood. She broke in in the UK, though. Like that's where she really got. We have blood in our first match. Uh, we're our second match here today, folks. The second? What was the first? Well, the house. The second tri- on the main. The trios card. match. Oh, right, oh, right, right, the trio. If you watch Mariah Mace, her uh, she's really good at locating that camera. Well, in stardom, they're very. Mariah Mace is like years ahead of where she should be. Yeah, well, yeah, that, too. that experience in stardom really will boost you up years. Oh hell yeah! Hey Andre, what about Aunt Anna J? Get fit- like she's in second place right now in the, the block. Dude, she's doing so well in the five star man. I I have been insanely impressed with Anna J. If you guys didn't hear, she got sent over for their. Go back. Oh, back. once. <laughs> oh Jesus! Have some sympathy. Her mother's at ringside. <laughs> God bless Nigel. Oh, 
once again, everybody, thank you for sticking around here today. Appreciate having each of you in the crowd. Appreciate having everybody here today. Like, this is the first time I'm working on something like this, and we do have a few bugs I got to work out. Mainly, I got to get some more RAM for my computer. But other I'm than also that, a bug. <laughs> well. <laughs> no, no, as long as you. I've, I've been doing streams since 7 30 this morning, so. <laughs> And this is a, this is technically the first day of my vacation here, my mini vacation. So. Ooh. European crowds are so much better than North American crowds. Yeah. Oh my God! Yes. Like they make us look so lame. <laughs> Well, you got to think, they also yeah, never get lame, things like but... this. Yeah. It's true. It's because we, we've been spoiled. We've gotten used to it. <laughs> Kayla, I think you're muted right now. Oh. Um, yep. oh. Damn that. Hip okay, I oh, see why dang. now. I see why now, but... Um, mm. do you have any, you have your phone plugged in near your, uh, near your mic? Yeah, Kayla. Yeah. Oh, plugged in. Do you have your phone plugged in at all? You. Cause no. I found that was my problem. It's, uh, it's over in the corner, but not okay. plugged in. No. Why? Am I fuzzy? Yeah. That the fuzz, the fuzzy's coming from your side. There it is. Am I oh, 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 wait a second. Oh. Call this a sucker riot? Come on, boys, let's take up the school. Oi, oi, oi. We're getting the crescendo of this match, and Chris Parrish is raiding in with two people. Welcome, raiders. Give a quick shout out here to Mr. Parrish. For those that uh, are new here, welcome. I'm Mike the Rev, variety streamer and host of one of our bigger streams here as we're watching all in together. <laughs> we're just in the middle of watching uh, Tony Storm and Mariah May oh. right now. <laughs> that sequence Christ. is great. <laughs> oh! There's the follow the going end on. of it, too. It was just perfection. Look at the crowd rise for that. I love it. I love it so much. Oh... Trading low blows. Nice. I love this. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is going crazy. <laughs> so now they're both knocked out. Parrish, I hope you had a great show today. The Chris Parrish podcast every week at 10 a.m. Mountain. Every Sunday, sorry. Sorry, I turn into a plug machine sometimes. I get a little too focused. My God, look at that face. I'm, I'm Mariah there with the blood in that. Yeah, the, va the violence really played a toll on the, on this hype, <laughs> on the story. That was perfect timing there. That was so good. <laughs> Luther's the best. So, and even Mina's like, oh my god. You notice that Mina moved down a seat <laughs> from Rachel now? <laughs> yeah. There's a seat gap now. It, it should probably instruct it to you for the shots or yeah. something, most likely. <laughs> God bless Luther. <laughs> this shit. Oh my God, bloody shoe! Do it, you keep your title. <laughs> I would. It's worth it. Why is, uh... Oh, no. I'm just looking at this. Why is Mariah May look, tr trying to get ready for NFL season with those shoulder pads like that? Damn. <laughs> the shoe is back! Oh. She don't want to do it, but Mariah will. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh! Dang. That's it. Whee. Knee in the back, knee in the face. Andre, are you going to cry over there? 
<laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Woo! Oh, God. It. I'm so happy right now. It's the st oh, it's the no. story that Tony wouldn't pull the trigger, but Marina uh, Mar Mariah would. Oh. Uh. Dude, I'm so happy. Mina won the Rev Pro title last night. Uh, Mariah wins the, the AW. Oh, title. look who's watching. Oh. Yeah. So does that mean uh, Osprey so will good. use the uh, Tiger Driver? <laughs> oh, I, 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 think I, think it's, so. I think it's guaranteed. Then we're going to get Osprey and Pac next in two weeks. Let's just salivate over that a little bit. Mm-hmm. Nah, I think we're going Ricochet. You're going Ricochet? What a match. Nah, nah, well, nah we, 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 we'll take some time to get there, probably. That's probably going to be Well, no, Pac match. is getting the shot pa at the pa uh, international. Oh, he's already, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Pac gets winner of MJF uh, Osprey in uh, Chicago, so. Yeah. Pac's going to be the champ champ. I forgot about that, yeah. Well, what do you think? He's, he's probably going to take Yuta's, Yuta's title anyway, so he'll be a champ champ champ. <laughs> He'll do it the same way uh, uh, Christian did. I think at best, Christian Cage is going to be a transitional champ most of the time for AEW. Yeah. Like, anytime you need to get that title to a heel that's dependable to move on to someone else. That crowd is so loud for her right now. Yeah. Yeah. No, the one thing I really enjoy about this right now is uh, the fact that we're getting these moments. Like, when you have that 11-12 match card like we did last year. <laughs> As she starts doing the dance. <laughs> well, she's insane. Wow. So it... <laughs> when we used to have these 11-12 match cards on the main show, you didn't get a chance to do these. They automatically had to flip to the next match, right? Or else they wouldn't have enough time. So do you think this is the beginning of a change to that for AW? I think so. I think he's going to slow things down. Also, the fact he has to book two cards in two weeks, right, for pay-per-views? Yeah, true. Oh, goody. Me 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 Sorry, got to throw this out immediately. What the hell is that? Because you know what's coming up next. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Now it's time for a piss break match. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I like Hook, so it's kind of... Now, I've said this on... <laughs> I said this on Saturday. I don't know how this goes now. After that response to Big Bill, I think this was a no-brainer that uh, Jericho loses to Hook here, but I don't know. With the Big Bill... The Big Bill pop and the... Like every time he gets out there, he gets a pop. I think I think they need another, I think they need another sample set to give, to know if Bill's really going to get that pop continuously. How many more? I do think you one need? night's not three, enough to three, convince it. It could have been an ironic already. cheer. You've had three already. Oh yeah. I didn't know about the other two. Oh, with uh, Billy Star. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Jericho is singing himself out to the ring again. Basically getting his band another payday. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, Mike. What the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? I can just run this on a loop right now. You can get a damn if you want. With all due respect, I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to grab some Caesars. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get a beer, too. After this, yeah. <laughs> Need one? No? Okay. I loved McG asking <laughs> his juice standy if he want a drink. Um, that, that, that's great. Uh, he's a rock star, baby. What the fuck is this? I cannot right now. <laughs> I love how he's wearing orange. 
right? Because of the <laughs> his pants are like falling so apart as he's top, walking yo. in. His pyro is orange. Is it? Oh, I didn't even peep that. Oh, Taz is getting in the middle of this. <laughs> Now that's a beer. Ooh, that, that looks what is tasty. it? Yeah, what was that? It's a brewery uh, out in the country by my place. The nice. Session Ale. Mm. Labatt Session. I like it. Definitely not Labatt Session. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, Labatt. Ugh. Now, ser Ugh. seriously, Jericho's wearing orange tonight. Anybody else pick up on that? The burnt orange? Oh, yeah. I just yep. got back. I All his pyro. <laughs> All of his pyro is orange as well. I, I swear, Taz... Oh, I the Taz Hi, Mike! Here. Welcome back, oh Mike! God. What the hell was that? Oh. Oh, damn. It just hit. The music just hit for me. <laughs> oh, it, 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 uh, it's not the whole thing, but it was just the... Uh, the beginning of it. He should have came down to yeah. Taz's music. That would have been great. Hair's not as really. They used the buzzer right away. They used that uh, siren for him there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have used that instead of my panic alarm for the. Uh... I never knew you could use kinesiology tape for that. <laughs> you can use it for anything. It's, it's magic tape, man. It's good for sore muscles, strained tendons, vacuuming. Vacuuming. You can put it in a good spaghetti. Spaghetti, huh? Pirating. <laughs> Pirating, there you go. Arr. 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 Pirate's favorite alphabet letter. Q. Q. <laughs> Do you think Hook is ever like, can this be over already? He probably was saying that Hook the day that he got involved in this feud. Ooh. I, Man, I want this Hook has been going on forever. Him. No, you know what you know what Hook's thinking? Can Twisted Metal 2 finish taping so he can get back to work? Joe can get back to work for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does Samoa Joe come back tonight? That's the question. No, the taping's still going right now. Yeah, but could he have got like a little bit of a leave? I don't think you do that just for one spot. It depends where they're filming, too. I'm surprised Shabbat is not out here. I'm not. He was on the pre-show. That was enough. Yeah, but he's Hook's boy. Like, with him and Joe. Yeah, but you never do know. You might. The rap, do we get the rapper, the rapper that does his music, come to show up? So, Twisted Metal season two was filming in Toronto. Ah, there we go. So, unfortunately, you have to yeah. go wake him up That's and send him over there. But it started eh, about a month ago. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get it all filmed up for an entire season. This isn't Street Fighter the movie. <laughs> He's getting a bump. Yes. <laughs> and then everybody's booing now. There's just a moderate cheer at this point. <laughs> I love Brian Keith, though. Like, out of all of this, I'm happy Brian Keith has gotten a bigger stage. I'm glad he's gotten a spot. I remember seeing him here. Was it for top talent? Yep. <laughs> it just panned to, like, a, a side shot of the audience, and you can see people just walking to go get whatever. <laughs> for, for the record, for this match, I have dedicated Mats Clamato Caesars to the uh, cause here, so. Mm. I'm waiting for the We Want Bill chance to start. 
Uh, I'm texting with Mel as she's watching it uh, at her place, and her, her, cause uh, you ever, you ever guys remember the movie Hoodwinked? Yeah, Hoodwinked. It, there, there's a spot where the little bunny's like, "Look out for keys!" Just every time she meets <laughs> that Keith, that Brian Keith comes on screen, she makes that joke at me now. <laughs> so Hoodwinked was basically the twisted version of Little Red Riding Hood. It was an yeah. animated movie. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Oh, so this time. Is that a mop? So he's gone from horseshoes to pucks to cricket Uh. balls. (laughs) What, crab apples? Oh, those are billiard balls. Those are billiard. Oh, that's a pool cue. Yeah, that's billiard balls. Yeah. The biggest balls Jericho gets to deal with in his life. Hey, oh. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, those are cricket balls. Those aren't even. Those aren't even billiard balls. Oh. No, they're billiard balls. No, no, they're cricket. You can tell by the the lettering on the... Yeah, they're too big to be billiard balls. Oh, yeah. Jericho, like we said, Jericho's you, not used to dealing with big balls. You guys just play billiard correctly. <laughs> are, they bo- are they botchy? No, no now that he's... Got oh, they're, they're like... Oh, they're snooker yeah, balls. Yeah, they're snooker. Oh, snooker. Okay, that makes sense. Is that snooker are red? They're all red balls and then the white one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see the cricket bat? <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Every like single that. time Bill gets hit, they boo. Ah! And you know, oh, yeah, because the cricket ball is made of. Oh like, my god! Rubber, right? <laughs> um, guys, this reminds me. <laughs> that reminded me of what happened with Dijak here in our last top talent match. I lost show. <laughs> he grabbed the money in the briefcase and punted it. Took out a fan at ringside. <laughs> <laughs> he hit when he hit feast your eyes on Gussie. Hit the, he, when he hit connected with his knee to his face, his glasses shot off into the crowd too. <laughs> yeah, but that was unintentional. The boot for the briefcase was yeah, and of course it has to hit an old lady out in the crowd, right? Ah, she was cool with it. He oh, went and apologized after. Well, of course. Put her over and all that, and I'm sure the promotion took care of her rather well, too. Oh, most likely. Probably free tickets to Angle. Who is the old lady in the crowd? Oh, at Top Talent. She got a, a briefcase kick into her. <laughs> was she, like, a regular, though? I'd never seen her before, but she was sitting. She was front row, and she got booted, uh, a briefcase booted right into her face. It's Apparently, fun. she was family with some of the regulars at uh, at top ta- at uh, most of the RCW and top talent shows. Um, from Stanley and Waldorf, those two, uh, the two critique guys that we always had at uh, RCW. I guess it was one of their relatives. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I think it's Statler and Waldorf, the two uh, Sesame Street characters. You mean Muppets? Yeah. No, no, yeah, Muppets, yeah. Uh oh, Bill's getting over again. I think they keep keeping They're saying with Big Ben. We want big hay bill. bales. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're not chanting, we want real one. <laughs> hay bales. Hay Maybe bales. Hay bales. Maybe it has something to do with Haystacks Calhoun? Like the classic wrestler? I don't know. They just want to be smart and not yell tables like every other crowd. Ooh. It's already got blood on it. Notice on the one side it's got blood or the glue. Somebody cut themselves. Setting it up. <laughs> but it, sure, that'd be fucking hilarious. That might actually been how uh, Mariah cut herself. That's the corner. True. Yeah. Probably not. 
No, Don't I should it. probably use a gig. Probably use a, a blade. <laughs> you know, Keats the one going they through gotta, that, right? They, they gotta Aww. get. They gotta get Bill out of this match. They gotta send him to the back somehow. He's the only one who's getting any sort of fan reaction. As he should be the only one to get any fan reaction here. Brian Keith's good. Yeah, Brian I'll, I'll good, give Brian man. Keith a little bit there. Remember to look out for Keith. You know how hard it must be to actually wrestle with your eye taped up like that? We got one wrestler oh, got in Alberta some. who... He played up a gimmick for what? He's been going on now five years with an eye patch. Yeah, but he could never wrestle in that entire five years. He's never been able to wrestle well. Come on. Well, that's true. <laughs> we got a guy that said that oh, he got his eye pulled out and it's a gift from Odin, the Viking, Viking Lord. <laughs> uh, fuck that crazy old bastard. <laughs> you never had to drive with him three hours from Calgary before. Oh, oh, I ha oh I've, I've, drive I've driven with him multiple times. By yourself? No, with Steven Stiles. No, by yourself. That's even yeah. scarier. Makes you feel like you might be get stuck in a ditch somewhere. And nobody would know the difference. Oh my god. I can it's see fine. He says. <laughs> He's like, fuck this. I need to I need both my eyes. <laughs> Fuck it, this K tape isn't for everything. Did you say K tape? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it looked like. It looked like those thin pieces of K tape. Oh, That's all oh. <laughs> I thought you meant like K fabe tape. Like K tape. Well, half the time, that's what it is anyway. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh! And he doesn't even flinch, he just hits it and stays there. <laughs> and this crowd is just over like Rover with that. <laughs> that is a sell. Oh, here we go. Hook forgot to kick out. <laughs> it's happening. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. Here he comes. Yes. <laughs> oh, we don't even have it in all the way. Oh, okay. Now we're getting, now we're getting it. He can't even hook it on all the way. Yeah, it's good if we get his arm all the way around him. There it is. You notice how Taz just calmly just fixes his jack and goes back to the desk? <laughs> just, it's it, it, the professionalism. It's the video game in him. <laughs> the video game in him just puts him, uh, literally into, uh, just the referee comes over, shakes his finger, and he goes back to his corner. I called it. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did call before. It's so easy to figure out on this one. Like, Taz gets his moment. And yeah, if he doesn't choke out Jericho, he chokes out somebody else to help him. It just makes sense. But this, oh, I legit, I legit think Taz was trying not to cry there. Tag team matches next. You probably yeah, want. To, well, you're probably putting the gauntlet late then. That way, you can try and keep Hangman off the uh, show, right? Off the rest of the show. Hmm. All right, guys, who wins this? It'll be the Bucks. It'll be the Bucks. It'll be the Bucks. Bucks. Yeah, I got a feeling it's going to be the Bucks. Omega's not... Omega's not ready to come back. Omega's uh, coming back soon, I think. So it's going to be Bucks. 
Kayla, your pick? Be, uh, oh, Omega sorry. and uh, Ricochet against the Bucks. Oh, that'd be... No, no, you get... No, a... I, think... Good. I think Ibushi comes back for that. Yeah, that's exactly it. It'll be Omega and Ibushi. They'll, they'll set up a little faction going for it because I got a feeling like Ricky Chase got his own little faction about to come out, so... If you ever heard of the Hurt Syndicate before. Or maybe he becomes maybe the United Empire. He maybe becomes a member of the Empire. It's Osprey. You can see the part on the stage where the Bucks are going to come up from. FTR should just stand on that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. At least the crowd's pretty alive again. Like, Jericho didn't kill the crowd. Well, no, that's because well, Bill, Bill saved it. Kill. Yeah, <laughs> Bill. Well, let them just kill. They didn't have to do anything. They, just, they sat back and just were like, let's play on our phones for, for this match. Got, gotta love the uh, the tricolor German gear, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Bash in Berlin on Saturday. Oh. Kayla booked. I think she oh, was having mic wearing, issues, so. He's having his, uh, he's wearing his Brett, his Brett inspired tights. They've been wearing that a lot lately. Yeah. It's, it's nice gear. My bad. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah you need not an audio. It's, I'm having this. You were muted talking, for a while there, so. I think it was Kayla's mic actually that was acting up, so. It was that guys. Well, if the puck bucks are coming out second, does that mean uh, the acclaim are gonna rap? Get some rapping going. Let me just throw that in there <laughs> <Hey>. for that. <laughs> well, they've got a new uh, backdrop there, I see, eh? You know, I would love to see uh, Caster join the learning tree. I think if you make it a complete joke, it could be fun. <laughs> yeah. And instead of being rap, it's like antiquated, uh, you know, Damien Sandow type soliloquies every time he comes out. Oh, I get this whole thing. It, Sergeant Peppers. Sergeant Peppers. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. I see it now. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Yeah. Well, the, the Bucks are, or sorry, the Elite are the Beatles, right? Because you got Jack Perry, you got uh, Okada. You got Okada. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm seeing this which outfit coming Ringo? out. Of... But which one's Ringo? <laughs> I don't know. With those glasses, I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that the Bucks just come out wearing pajamas every day. <laughs> I wish I could go to work in my pajamas every day. You mean you don't? I'd get in a lot of trouble. Uh, <laughs> well, if yeah, I sleep, I, I could work in my pajamas. Well, I sleep commando, so I guess that would be a problem. <laughs> I'm wearing pajamas right now. No, 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 I'm wearing no, turtle no, pajamas. No, 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 Unless you work at a nude beach, you gotta have life goals, you know. <laughs> a lifeguard at a nude beach. Mike, the nude beach lifeguard. Yeah, there you go. I work in an automotive factory. I'm sure they would frown on that. Hey, guys, I'm just going to jump on the forklift. Can you wipe that off? Hey, know. look. I don't know if as good. long as you're wearing, as long as you maintain your steel-toed boots and a helmet, you'll be okay. Oh, and gloves. Can't forget gloves. <laughs> no, we, have, we have to have earplugs and glasses, too, in Canada. Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, that's what the helmet's for. <laughs> Which you can have a little visor. Which helmet would you need in that case? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad oh one. Oh my god, this crowd is going nuts for the acclaim. Well, have you listened to British music? Like seriously, the acclaimed is like golden compared to them. <laughs> I think they're more over for uh, Bill, uh, Billy Gunn than they are for anybody else, right? I'm 
I, I got a feeling this rap is going to be absolutely horrible. Oh, probably, but they're going to love it. Let's see what he got to say. He has already made three masturbation jokes. <laughs> Okay, Kayla just popped into the chat saying that her tech's acting up. <laughs> Holy shit. Why do I think this is Caster's last match for some reason after this? Anthony Bowens needs just a singles run. Just give him a belt. Get him away from all of them. He's his own hype machine. Just let him go. Or give him a different partner. He said FTR looked like members of the EDL. <laughs> Holy shit. I like the claim too. They said they gave me scissors. Still think new Still champs? Still think new champs? Who do you think's going to win the belt, KJ? FTR. I would love to see FTR just to piss FTR feels off. too safe. I, I wouldn't piss me off if it was FTR. It just, it feels too... Like, I FTR doesn't need it, but... <laughs> he's big, he scissors, and he's daddy ass. <laughs> 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 Honestly, I'd love that any are, but anyone but the Bucks, maybe. Um, I think the Bucks keep it. I think it's intentional that they only wrestle X number of times a year. That's uh, basically they got the Reigns contract, the Lesnar contract, the Reigns contract. I wonder if Swerve got that contract. I wonder if that's a work. Well, realistically, I wonder, I wonder if that, like, them saying that is a work. What's that? I, I also know that Omega. I also know that Omega. Omega has that as well, so maybe that's the case. All depends on the amount of work that they're doing, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just wondering how long until this devolves into chaos. Both FTR and Acclaimed donning pink tonight. At least it's primary pink for one and primary black for the other. Hopefully, well, yeah. never mind the white. <laughs> yeah, because Caster's black and pink too. Unless there's a turn. We could all hope. Could be. We've been hoping for months now. I don't know if it's going to happen. True. Hey, Vic, sorry. Oh. I, I quickly muted you there for a second there just because I get the feedback from the, we're getting an echo from the stream. I'm not good at these private messages while we're chatting here, so I just... Nobody's ever accused me of being overly yeah, professional. Yeah, I'm going to keep that up. <laughs> Mike, professional? No way. It's one thing I'm working most... with you for 10 years. I know you're not professional. Come on. <laughs> I, I, do, I do know that... It, it's funny at work, I'm like... Everybody's talking about decorum and procedure, and they're like... Everybody's like... Yeah, you know if you piss off Mike, you're legit. It's legit because he will never hide anything. We got staff; they're all worried about it. Oh my God, I don't know if I'm gonna get fired. Honestly, bitch, if I was gonna fire you, I'd fire you already. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what I say to him. Like, what, it, what? I think of it this way: if you. 
if you make a comment like that, they're going to remember it. If you give them some PC stuff, they're never going to remember. By the way, I am over 100,000 points on your Twitch channel. I apologize that I can't get the predictions up, but we were having some computer issues, so... Basically, apparently, I ran out of memory while we were trying to uh, stream with five people and three free screens, and yeah. It's okay. I never have any memory. I can't remember last week. <laughs> hey, who are you guys? <laughs> Wait, what? why am I here? Where's the Denny's? Oh, I'll go for some Denny's. I can imagine oh, you I have Now we're... <laughs> I hop in my neck of the woods are five dollar all you can eat pancakes right now. I was lucky I woke up the breakfast already being ready for me today. Mm. Yeah, it's funny. It's first first day of holidays, right? So I turned my alarm off on my phone. Then all of a sudden I uh, turn it on and uh, it's uh so I, so I'm sort of wake half wake it up and I'm like Oh shit, it's eight o'clock. I gotta get to work here. <laughs> Vic's gonna pop out here for a bit. Oh, here he comes again. That's what I love about these streams. You can literally have people just pop in and out randomly and I am gonna pop out for a bit. I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, have fun. No, you're not allowed. Bye guys. I have spy. Bye guys. <laughs> Gotta just remember. Oh, there it is. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Vic. All right, boy. Just get to see your lovely logo. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened there. There it is. Okay. I can't seem to get the output audio of the show and you guys to my IG stream. I'm gonna get off IG. Sorry, yeah, IG. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I haven't streamed IG because you know I, not that. It's so hard to stream to. I don't understand. I always have issues with it. Honestly, I just find it a pain in the ass to do it unless you're doing just a camera off the phone stream, right? But there is a new, uh, for OBS, there is a new multi-stream feature. Yeah. That's supposed to take away a lot of the resources that you have to use. So, of course, as I start talk, talking, I get hiccups, right? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't get all that one. That seems to be a common thing with Caster. <laughs> <laughs> that that or that's what the women say to him when they're with them. Oh no, my bad, Pink. <laughs> Even aliens think so. Oy. <laughs> what are our feelings with all the pink and black gear in this match? That everybody wants to be Brad Hart? Good, bad, or otherwise, everybody wants to be Brad Hart? I mean, is he is the best light? there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Unless you run into Goldberg's foot, then it's all his fault. Goldberg's foot is really good at ending careers. His foot, <laughs> his mouth... Hey, buried an entire push for uh, the fiend, and that only took three minutes. Yep. <laughs> I mean, to be to be fair, someone has to, someone higher than him needs to sign off on that. To yeah, be fair. but but when you're by your, when when you're Goldberg, you basically have that free ability to say f that to anything that's presented to you at all. 
Yeah, sure. And you also don't need to have that motherfucker on your show. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, they pretty much. Don't need you. <laughs> Bye, Bill. <laughs> Bye, Bill. <laughs> Bye, Oh, he's trying to use Dax's move there. The uh, fake out into the DDT. Don't Whoa. ever try to steal somebody's move. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice. All right, that, wor yes. that worked. Saw that coming. As much as we hate the Bucks in many ways, and the lack of their working and whatnot, when they go, they are one of the best. That's Jesus. Be honest, they don't, at this point in their career, they don't need to be there all the time. They've no. put in the time. They've had a long career. They don't need to be at every event. It's the yep. perks of being somebody who's been around so long. Yeah. No. Give the spotlight to younger they're guys. They're can... established. Yeah. You put them on Everybody... the bill. You put them on the bill, and people know who they are already. Exactly. I was just gonna, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Everybody knows who they are. Their name's going to sell things alone. <laughs> and unfortunately, Jay Quick brings up the name Shane McMahon for tonight. There is no way in hell McMahon shows up today. No <laughs> chance guys. in hell. I, I hope he does. Really? No if chance! Is his, his money or if his song hits... This crowd will lose their minds, whether he should be there or not. And then we oh, can, great. Then, then we won't have to worry about streaming to Twitter anymore because that won't exist. Because that'll <laughs> burn down. That'll be the end of that. Vic will be able to a scissor trigger. <laughs> scissor trigger. So what do we call that? The uh, scissor machine. If it's half and half. And once again, Rick Knox doesn't know where he's going, which, you know, sometimes you got to get a, a senior's cane over to where the cover is. I appreciate Knox, but sometimes he just doesn't get it. Like, he's the only referee that's been suspended in AEW under the concussion protocol. And you know in AEW, that's going to take a lot to do that. <laughs> yeah. He was the one who let Jeff Hardy wrestle out, continue wrestling after his neck and his concussion. I so need a pair of those pumps. I like money, so I prefer not to get them. Apparently I don't. <laughs> How do you not see that? Who cares? It's a triple threat. <laughs> That's not really, because they still got to tag in and out, don't they? Yeah, but what are you going to do? If they don't. If it follows, falls under triple threat rules, then there's no DQ, right? Yeah. Hey, I don't see any blizzards here. There's no DQs happening. This is almost as <laughs> bad. Not get your chicken basket. That was almost as bad as... Uh, we're, I was doing an indie show here in uh, Edmonton. It's actually the last indie show I did for this one company. We we're doing it at a bar. And... Uh, the final match was a fatal four-way match uh, for a champion championship they did. It ended on a count-out. <laughs> they literally ended it on a count-out. Yeah, Pink, I'll be hating them, them big maps, so. Oh, the crowd wanted that one. And Billy just got his spot and took the title with him. I love that they still made the tag. Like, no, I'm, I guarantee you Knox doesn't know who's tagging in and out. <laughs> he has no clue. <laughs> does have no idea who the legal man is. He probably doesn't even know where he is right now. 
Wait, is this, this isn't the London, Nando's. Ontario? I'm pretty sure this is London, Ontario. Wait, I came for the Nando's. <laughs> <laughs> Osprey said there'd be Nando's here. <laughs> Did you see that picture of uh, the English breakfast that all the heels are putting up on the on the socials? <clears throat> no. It was like one no. egg, a hash brown, and a piece of ham. And said that was a full breakfast at one of their one of their finest establishments here in England. To I it, know that's not true. I, oh, I've God. been to England. You can eat like a pig in their hotels. It's great. Is there a way we can take out those big masks? I think I got sick because I got too much bacon. <laughs> so, sorry, Vic? Mold. You can't have those, right? No, I don't know about this. That ended kind of anticlimactically. That doesn't surprise oh, me. Oh, oh, Sorry. oh. Da -da 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 Motor City. No, Vic, you were saying take out which? Oh, no, my bad. I was, I was talking to um somebody in my chat. Oh, okay. Talking about a map on Smash Bros. Oh, here we go. I guess that trial did work out a little bit. Who, who, oh, that's um Grizzle Young Vets. Yeah, the Grizzle Young Vets. They from um, they used to be in NXT. They used to be in NXT. So they're they're Rev Pro they're Stars. Oh. I love how Excalibur's like, where did they come from? They're from England, you moron. Yeah. This is a great way to put them on the map. And now they're gonna go after FTR. Yeah. Make them work with these guys right away. And of course, Cash is gonna eat it because you know he doesn't have anything in the chamber right now. <laughs> I love the jerseys, by the way. Well, at least he's he's. At least he's nowhere near his glove compartment. Fair enough. Depends what you leave. There's a lot of strange things that are left in, mm. uh, in oh. glove compartments these days. Here we go. Casino Gauntlet <laughs> match next. So there's a... Do, I guess we can count this as a debut. They did show up for a couple tag matches back in, in the States, but... Looks like we got a new signees here. But that really did feel like a bit of a thud. Yeah, the ending just kind of it just kind of ended. I just wanted to um, mess with the audio levels. I don't know. If everybody jumps into my stream, but the audio sucks. <laughs> I never get it right. Yeah, I know. When I'm watching, when it comes to the audio, I know that you you might be having some issues, but. I know when everybody chops in, I always, uh, I got the meter level set up right on my OBS here. So as soon as anybody starts talking, the first thing I'm doing is going through and playing with it. Yapper, yapper. So yeah, if you didn't hear during the pre-show, they made two big announcements for uh, coming up. For This is the second one they did with Forbidden Door replacing yeah. All In here in London. So we are getting two PPVs here in two weeks, but the other one's going to be Forbidden Door, so it might take a little bit of stress off the booking. Was not expecting oh. GYV? I mean, it makes sense. Fancy. Is this Mr. Bean? <laughs> or Oh my god, this is the greatest Orange Cassidy entrance ever. Yeah, so we know Orange Cassidy's getting number one. I, I almost... I think Ricochet gets number two just for the pop. <laughs> Ricochet, you think? I think Ricochet I comes this. number two. I love everything about that. What the hell? It's Mr. Bean. <laughs> yeah, I know, Mr. but... <laughs> Mr. Bean. I used to watch that when I was younger. When you were younger, wow. <laughs> Yeah, but if Ricochet's going to be the last one, he might not get in the match. 
so I can't call he's number one, number five, whatever, but I know he's involved. I think he's going to be involved at least. Also, let's look out for Lashley, right? Let's that's the other guy. For, um, that's the other guy I mentioned during the pre-show. You, oh, he is boxing, right? He's boxing. Um, you leave it, somebody else. You leave MVP out of it oh, because he wants blood oh, sports. Danny Garcia, first. yo. Danny, I think, shows up during the MJF uh, okay, yeah, Osprey match right, instead. Right. Yeah, MJF in it. Yeah. That sets um, up the. Uh, that sets up MJF and Garcia going forward instead. Yeah, I see that. If not, if not, if not in this match, also for Ricochet, I see him in that match too somehow. But this is the this is the official match where we lose our minds, right? Throughout the whole I'm thing. So. <laughs> I'm hoping so. I already lost it with the Mr. Bean thing. <laughs> hey S2S, how you doing? Hope you're hope you're having a great day. I know oh, it, you're just popping number in two here. Is huge. I uh, I hate that the fact that they are three. I hate that they're like thirty seconds ahead of me here, guys. Like they're really far ahead. Yeah. It's only about thirty seconds, but still. Wow, he's got a pop. Oh, they put Okada in too. I'm jumping out of window. Well, hopefully you're on the first floor. Or maybe a basement. Can I imagine? The crowd is That'd be interesting. Right jump up. We're going to jump out and up. That's like, a little extra effort. He's bleeding. He's gushing. And then like, what? Yeah. <laughs> we were gushing talking about it on Wednesday about, you know, the Continental Classic title being defended on Wednesday. Did it mean that Okada was not going to be on this show? This sort of makes sense to have him in here because, you know, you do want to get Okada on the biggest stage, right? Definitely. And this is a way where he doesn't have to win to uh, get over here, right? She said 30 minutes. I'm not ready. Actually, you know what? Let me go do. Let me go on a smoke break. You can chill. Kick it over here with Mike and the boys. Wait a second. watching from my phone. I actually don't think Okada is going to be AEW champion. Announcer people. No, they're completely. But here's the thing: you got to have the Continental Classic going. Uh... Continental Classic's what? Two months away. Start in November. Hmm. I'll be right back, boys. All right, have fun. Don't get lost. I'll take this place. We, 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 we know the real the real star of the stream is popping in here right now. That's <laughs> right. For for those that are not familiar, this is the man affectionately known as Little Villain. There you go. He's a star hey. right right behind the camera all times here. Oh, what a heartfelt moment. <laughs> <laughs> no the best would have been if he grabbed the back of his hand ripped him around him with the rainmaker pin one two three we're all done <laughs> just piss everybody <laughs> off no debuts i i guarantee you would have that that would have happened like five years ago that would have happened when Vin, when uh if russo was around the contract would have been on a pole yeah well, no, you have to pin to get eligible <laughs> to climb the pole to get the title. <laughs> Need to get Mama Bagwell, Judy Bagwell, on a forklift up to the top of the pole to get the contract. Rest in peace, by the way, Judy Bagwell. Oh, oh she passed? Yeah, she passed. I don't know this. Yeah, they made a big It was something last year. I think it was last year, actually. Judy Bagwell's will on the pole. There you go. There you go. Yeah, but Buffs already probably sold. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> For a flapjack? Oh my god! <laughs> I love the fact that they're doing four seconds for the counter. Just, just wait. 
this is this is the moment right here for all of AEW. <laughs> oh, Nigel McGuinness. There we go. Holy crap. I was wondering where Nigel McGuinness was. No way. You yeah. know what? For Number three is actually the greatest spot for this. Does he? Okay, hear me out. <laughs> he wins this. Brian, Daniel Bryanson wins. Cashes in right away. I think it's Brian. Daniel. You got to do it. <laughs> you have to do that. Had a boy. Uh, no, what you do? You set it up for World's End. Tacoma, Washington. So Danielson's going to yeah. have his career ended in his hometown by his arch rival. And he would so let that happen too. Oh, absolutely. I yeah. You know, I have a, I have a top Nigel McGuinness card for like when he was working in NXT. It was like I didn't even know he was off commentary. I didn't notice. Well, he Did, came off commentary when Taz went on, right? You got a card from from NXT? Yeah, of Nigel McGuinness. Man, I, I collect I collect wrestling cards like my dad. He he got me hooked up. He got like years ago when back when we were living in a very old town. He got me hooked onto them, so I collect cards now. I collect. WWE cards and baseball cards. Hey, nice. I I used to collect hockey cards all the time. Oh, yeah. oh and Jay Quick's correcting me here. Tacoma's Wrestle Dream. So either way, we'll have a Wrestle Dream is you know McGinnis versus uh, Danielson. Yeah, I love McGinnis. How much do you want to bet him and Danielson have been training? Oh, probably. Just to get him ready. Oh. He looks a little slow, but like that's to be understood. There goes the Will Smith. <laughs> the Will Smith, out of boy, that's a call. <laughs> <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> oh, the pop in this play, like you got to think that this match here is just going to have debut after debut. You know, you're going to get some regulars here, like the other. Members of the conglomeration and the. I don't know if the Undisputed Kingdom are going to be a part of this. I was reading, I was like on YouTube earlier and I saw a post and it said it's already been nine years since NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Yeah, it has been. August. Today, nine years ago. Well, is it August 2015? Yeah, it would have been nine years. The match that changed things for so many different wrestlers or two different people. Yeah. yeah. Kyle O'Reilly. All right, conglomeration member number two. Do they give uh, Briscoe a mic on the way down to the ring? Because we need to hear the word of the day. <laughs> oh, that hard orange jersey, think, yeah. You guys think Brian Danielson comes out of Final Countdown tonight? Oh, guaranteed. They're they're pay Tony Khan's paying for that money here in Wembley. Yeah. Like if he's yeah, gonna. gonna be Sorry, go ahead. No. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Oh. <laughs> Attaboy, Andre. Nice, nice one there. Uh, we no, like, the people in London, like you're a lot. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, London's in Europe, so Yep. And the band's called Europe, so they're gonna have a big pop to that. Oh, they just they like to mock her anything they can out there too, so that works. Yeah. But uh No, when Tony Khan's using machine head for his pre show uh music, yeah, you know yeah. he's spending the money on everything today. They might have cut the bill oh, back yeah. on a bunch of stuff, but this is one of those shows where you do not. It's like when I'm playing on GM mode, which you should watch after every Dynamite and Collision. Thanks, Zodiac, for the uh, cheap plugs that I'm learning to do a little bit more. Um, <laughs> on the PLEs, that's where you blow your blow your money in terms of getting all the big matches and whatnot. And during the rest, you can yeah. conserve a little bit. I haven't played WWE 2K24 in like a minute. Yeah, we just play the GM oh, mode another, twice a week here. Another big name coming out. 
Oh, it's going to be all big names Here in this go. one. It's every big name that you haven't heard in a while. Because I don't expect I, this match to go 45 minutes. You may have heard this guy or something. Oh, Nigel Morgan. It is. Who's this? So if that, if that doesn't give you the spoiler for the night's main event, guys. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, Zach. Sabre Jr. Jr. Sabre 2. <laughs> By the time he gets to the ring, though, crikey, the match could be over. <laughs> Wait, he's not the Undertaker. So, yeah, we. I do like the fact that Sabre Jr. is going early for his championship shot. He's not waiting till Wrestle Kingdom. Just because if he does win the title at Wrestle Kingdom, it's going to be such. It's going to be a bit more of a diluted pop because the next day it's the. Uh, the crossover, right? But, uh, the... <laughs> Listen to this crowd now. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Mike the ref. What's up? What's Canelo like? Oh, it's chill. It's like, what, 9, 20 degrees? Well, about 80s right now. Really spaced out. Not super packed. Wrestling is. In the in the cities, it's good, but out of town, this crowd is going insane. Yeah. Our crowd isn't as good as this one. Uh, uh, the Maple Leafs. Can you imagine if you were there? Leafs, I hate the Maple Leafs, dude. Yeah. I I wish I was there right now, cause like. I I figured you hate the Maple Leafs because you're an Oilers fan. Nah, well I used to be an Oilers fan. Uh, I get. I, used... I hate the Maple Leafs. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a Maple Leafs fan either. No, uh, I, <laughs> there we go. There I was, it is. I, I was an Oilers Hats fan go. until they. Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't even pay attention to hockey like that. I don't blame you. But I do like the. But I do like the. <laughs> go Blackhawks. Okay, oh, get out of here with that crap. <laughs> well, my, um, my, one of my my uncles, he works at Barclays, and then. Oh, nice. He, it was the the Islanders used to be there, so. Yep. Um, you get so like sometimes um when they were like giveaways depending on what it was like sometimes it would be like a bobblehead he would give me one of them. Nice. Oh. Oh, dude, I'm loving seeing Okada and Saber lock up again so much. Oh, I love it. I'd like to see Okada and Saber lock up with the title there. I know, I know, mm. Saber will win, but. Ooh. Oh, that looks like it hurts. That looks like it hurts. Yep. That's what Sabre Jr. does, my friend. He just turned it into a shoulder breaker. He's like a damn octopus. I want Taz's music to pop as soon as <laughs> in this. Fuck, I love that. <laughs> we get Taz's music to pop or even, like you guys were talking about Samoa Joe. Maybe Samoa Joe pops in for this. Just oh, randomly. That would, that would be amazing. Uh, <laughs> only at AEW. Michael, so, so you play MLB, right? I try you to. Show, right? I try to. You have a favorite team? You play which? You have, you have a favorite team? Oh, I'm I'm a Blue Jays guy, even though we suck this year. Yes. Oh, they're horrible this year. Mets over here. We, same thing. At least you're not a White Sox fan. <laughs> Oh my god, he's gonna make it into the match! He's gonna make it into the match! <laughs> no no, the submission's gonna oh, happen Roddy's now. Not. Roddy's not gonna Roddy's not gonna make it down. Oh Roddy's sprinting! You know, Roddy still kinda looks like that one chill forty year old dad It's stu for room. being like <laughs> I'm not saying he's I'm not gonna say Roderick Strong is small, but for being like a smaller framed guy, he is so damn powerful. Oh yeah. I just find it amazing that Roddy Strong actually made it down to this match tonight. <laughs> that would have been a great gimmick to do that two years in a row. Or two times in a row. I don't... Oh, yeah. Things are getting you know, interesting. I used to... Uh, I don't have it anymore because I put it on my door in my old house, but 
instead of putting it on something I would think. But back in my old house, I actually had a red drag. Um, I got a wrestle crate, or one of the assistant teachers. She has a son who loves wrestling, and he got a wrestle. He gets wrestle crates, and he accidentally ordered two one time, so he gave one of them to me. Nice. And there was like a bunch of stuff in there. A T-shirt. I had an autograph of Fandango. Um, I still have it. But and then it was also a red dragon sticker from AEW. And I and I put it in my door, but another it's not big there pop. Anymore, but because I probably should have put it on like my dresser or something. Damn. But I still have. But I still had it. Cool. Oh, Mark Briscoe. Oh, I. I'd love to see Briscoe win it. Just you know. Could you imagine the champ champ that way? <laughs> Watching him and Sabre Jr. is like the ultimate opposite of each other. You know what I'd like to see them do for this Casino Gauntlet match, though? Just have all the names that are supposedly a part of it in the back, and they just keep kind of going back when their number doesn't get called. And you can see, like, the disappointment when they don't make it in and stuff like that. Yeah, but that would hide all the surprises then. Sorry, Lovin, what were you saying? Um, while Jay Briscoe was alive, I actually saw the Briscoes um, in person like twice. One night, one was like at a House of Glory event, and the other was at a GCW event. Oh, nice. Oh. Uh-oh. Are we actually going to see the see the flip spot here? Ooh. He actually got it. Nice. It was the story last Three, night. He couldn't get two, the spot whatsoever. One. The next guy's getting a pretty big pop, too. Who's this? Oh, Dustin. Oh, no. Oh, hang hang I would imagine so. Those eyes on Hangman, like, seriously. That needs to be on a shirt somewhere. Oh, yeah. Just the look on his face right now, that needs to be on his shirt. Any non-wrestling fan would not get it whatsoever and think you might be a little psychotic, but... I mean, if you're a wrestling fan, you're already a little psychotic. True. You're not wrong. <laughs> and the fun part is, with all this, nobody gets eliminated. Literally anybody yeah, that's come. Sorry. Wrestling just looks different in London. Wrestling's just a lot more emotional in London, I find. Yeah, yeah. They, it's really. It's. I feel like the fans are more energetic, and that's what makes it exciting. Yeah. For London. Well, they don't get this level that often, right? Yeah. But they they maybe not in wrestling, but the same with their their uh, soccer and everything. Yeah. Yeah, they, they had money in the bank. Um, they had money in the bank in London. They had all in. They have like all in there now. They're gonna, they're gonna have um, the forbidden door there. Well, I, I think it's also more about the uh, charisma that or the passion that they have for everything out there. Yeah. I think they read. Oh God. Oh. That had to hurt. That was brutal. Another. That was brutal. Massive pop for the next guy. Oh. Is there going to be a next guy? Oh, never mind. Briscoe's there for the save. Never mind. Oh, yeah. They had to bring Jared out. They had to. You want to talk about a recovering story? Jared, absolutely. The National Heroes are not from this country. Um, hold on. Between, between Jericho's jacket and Carrot Jared's dress... I think Big Bird might be naked somewhere. <laughs> like, holy crap. What is she uh, Big Bird's dead. He's in, he's in catering. He is catering. <laughs> that sucks to hear. I used to watch Those Big are some Bird big baby. chicken wings. <laughs> so did Nando's pick him up and just have him as the extra special for the week? Yeah, this is a long going story. Why are you giving up the guitar? It's no DQ. Yeah, it's no, D it's no DQ, exactly. Hangman's done so much Because he's the honorable Jeff Jarrett now. Oh, yeah. But 
Here, here's the now thing. About I've always wondered why don't you why don't you bring a gun to the ring? <laughs> it's no DQ. Everybody lie down. I'm about to pin you. Thank you. <laughs> Hold if on. That's what Art Anderson told Cody. Yeah. If I was in that match, I would be full ECW. I would have the barbed wire bat, a table, a candle stick. What is your chair, dad doing to you? Stop, son. <laughs> what is your dad stop, feeding you? Let it. He's letting. He's letting me watch wrestling. That's why. Oh my. Future generations of sadistic, evil, maniacal people coming up here, folks. Rick Flair. Oh. Yeah. That strut there, the, the Ric Flair you're talking about, you got to go back and watch like 20, year, 20 years older wrestling. Wrestler yeah. named Jackie oh. Fargo. That's where that came from. Half his match was strutting. Is it? It is! It is! Oh. Folks, we get a Someone's preview. coming. We get a preview of what we get to Someone's see in about coming. three seconds here. Music that nobody knows. Oh, Ricochet. Here we go! Here he is! Here he is! Ricochet! One and only! He is going to be able to do whatever the hell he wants, and it's going to be amazing. My God, if you want to debut, I got goosebumps right now. Literally. And he looks legit. One of the best, one of the best sellers ever. <laughs> this has got to be the most amazing weekend ever for him. Yeah. He proposed to his girlfriend on Friday. I thought he, he I thought he proposed proposed months ago. No. They they actually po they actually posted it like two days ago. Oh. But this is actually like they said they're probably gonna get married, but he actually got the knee down and everything. Oh. And now today he debuts in Wembley he, Stadium. He established his career in the UK, right? Yep. In one particular match. Will Os we we get a chance to get well, Osprey Ricochet two? I'm glad he's the name W now because he wasn't really doing much in Oof. WWE, and I really liked Ricochet. Well, what are you I talking? Wanted see him, I wanted to see him do a lot of stuff. I wanted to see him win the world title, and now he could probably do that in AEW now. What are you talking about? He was a speed champion. <laughs> 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 the one championship oh, no woman ever wants to see you have. Yeah. And you're supposed to be Besides too young to understand that. Besides the 24-7 Unless you're Charlotte. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. I can't watch because I don't have Twitter. Shooting star press over everything. They do post it later on on... Uh, YouTube, I do believe, after a couple days, so. I really don't care either. <laughs> I, I don't you're, you're, you and pretty oh, much everybody else. Never, this is I pretty never, I mean, it's a cool idea. It's a cool idea, but I was never really interested in it. No, the worst part about it is they just announced a women's tournament for speed. Now the women are going to start getting longer matches. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Who is this? Somebody oh, who didn't get a chance to get his keep his championship in the first match. And oh, didn't yeah. do a hell of a lot. How many people are in this match? Is it like 30 men? Oh wow. It's how many <laughs> It's an undetermined number of men. It basically, it basically, they could, they theoretically, they could. And basically, it's until there's a first pinfall or submission, then it's over. So they could go two men. Right 
How can you not love Okada? The guy is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh God. What a sell. No way. What a sell. <laughs> 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 and we've been teasing this match for a while Okada. now. You know what? Yeah, there's a lot of hate there. Okada right? was like, Okada was like, oh look, a pinfall. They have been teasing this match for a while, and I want to see it. Yes, do it. Yes. <laughs> Love the drop kick. You know what AEW stands for? Awesome every week. That and also all likes WWE. Ah, uh, when oh god, J Karen, what are you doing? Oh. Oh. That's hard. It's a great uh, stick. That was rough. Ah. Uh, he had momentum for a little bit. Oh god, is Okada gonna win this? Okada, you know, I, I like Okada. I watched, I watched his match with Kenny Omega, and I loved it. When it was, when it, when I watched that match a lot. That was a. Oh my God! Orange wins this. Now we're getting to the spot where everybody's gonna almost win, it and then somebody will. Ooh. Ah. Saber Jr. Oh God! Saber Jr. tries to come up and wait and just bang. Backbreaker. Oh. End of heartache. Nigel. Froggy. Oh God! Could you imagine? No way. <laughs> Oh, O'Reilly gives him a knee for his trouble. Ah, uh, oh, oh no! Tower of London, let's go! Oh, that's Nigel's One, finisher. Two. Oh. oh man. I don't really want to win the match. Oh, here we go. Here comes the turn. You know, I don't know who I want to win this match. There's just too many good people. There's just too many good we people. We have I don't know who kill I want switch to win. is no more. Oh, we got it. <laughs> here comes a countdown. <laughs> you notice that I love the random intervals part. Luchasaurus. He got his own name back. He got his own name back. That is awesome. Uh, Chris is like, that is not what I named you. The funniest part is half the fans won't know what the hell happened about the change because the, the, the word uh, done part was done so quickly. Oh, get yeah. out of here. Oh, uh, <laughs> wow. What the hell is that? <laughs> Can I just sum that up that way? <laughs> Better yet, here's another one. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> oh, this guy. I don't understand it. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. There you go, Mitchie. Oh, I'm ready for this match. I'm ready for Osprey and MJF. <laughs> like, the fuck? I don't get that. 
<laughs> Pardon my French, but the back, fuck? I gotta go stir some chili. Christian Cage won that, Jay Quick. You know what? I used to hate MJF. Now I, now I kind of like him. I, MJF is a guy that you have to respect, but you don't have to mm-hmm. like. But this match yeah. here, like... So are you trying to tell me that Danielson's going to... Danielson has to win because now Christian's going to cash in? No. I'm with you, Chris. The look on your face pretty much sums up exactly what I'm thinking. No. I have a feeling MJF was that person. and When he was like in the school or whatever, he was definitely that guy that nobody liked. Probably. What are we doing? He still is the guy that nobody liked. <laughs> so, sorry, let me just back, back this up. Sorry, little villain. Yeah, uh, Chris is about to go on a rant here. I can tell this here. I I don't know if I have words. I have to make a drink. I know that. I love MJF. Having a drink in front of me that contains alcohol because Jesus Christ, I need to get fucking drunk after that disaster of a result. What was that? <laughs> that was... What was that? <laughs> the only reason I did Ricochet think... get injured. Did, 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 did Hangman, like, did, did have a concussion and did they had to do medical stuff and they had to do an auto... What? That doesn't make sense. Here's, here's Not my, feel it? Here's my, here, here's my only thought about this. The moment he came out, I knew he was winning, guys. The moment he came out, that's it. Shut your dirty mouth, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, that was just horrible. But it I'll doesn't say, make sense. I will. Oh my God! Do you see the back of everybody's outfit? This is the. Uh, sorry, I'll get back to Christian Cage because I know we got a lot to say about that. But everybody's wearing the Assassin's Creed uh, emblems on the back of their shirts. This this is the Osprey entrance. He's getting the elevator. I'm gonna make my drink after T gets his pop. Then I'll make my drink, but. Who's this that shouldn't ju- have been the match to follow it up. This shouldn't have been the match. No, I am. No. You know, but, this is how you, you follow this up with the Jericho hook match because everyone's ex- going to be pissed. Exactly what I was no. thinking. You put that match there and yeah, just. So, oh my God! Okay, hear hear me hear me out, kids. Hold on, let me interject here for a second. Hear me out on this, and this is the only only reason I would do this. You put Christian as this spot, similarly the way that you would put Christian in a couple other title spots where he was at. Yeah. If you have to do an emergency switch, if Danielson gets hurt. He is the safest bet to put in that position. Because if he legitimately gets hurt, you want an asshole to catch cash in on Danielson. Yeah. You don't want an Austin, say, for example, if Ricochet won this, you do not want a Ricochet to come out and take advantage of somebody who is injured like that. But Hangman could have fit that spot perfectly. Yeah, Hang, <laughs> Hangman is like Mitch, he said, Hangman's way better. But here's the thing. He's focused on making sure Swerve doesn't get the title. He doesn't care if Danielson has it. He cares that Swerve doesn't. And so then that, that that's why there's your, there's your finish right there. But then if Danielson gets hurt during the match. Well no, you... what, what if he gets injured after the match? Yeah. That's that's the thing. I love that a, that uh, Ubisoft is paid to be a part of All In here. This is the one chance I might actually support them for something. Because they're actually doing advertisements for the new Assassin's Creed game coming out November 15th. Which I'm sure Kayla is over the moon about right now. At least the crowd's still freaking alive. Thank God, because that sucked the energy out of me. That's why you no, put Osprey next. Because... Sorry. I like MJF, but I also like Will Ospreay. I gotta make some motions because I like them both. I don't know who I want to win this match.
this is going to be an amazing match regardless. So, in other words, Tony's booking has now officially forced this card to not be in the uh, top five AEW cards of all time now. I'm still flabbergasted, man. I'm not going to get over it. There's been a lot of out of the blue finishes. I'm okay with out of the blue finishes. That was stupid. Yeah, that, 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 and that's what I was going to drag myself to there. The fact that you have, like, the Bucks winning pretty much out of nowhere. That's fine. It's not exactly the worst pick in the world, but... Yeah. It's not the best either, but this one with Christian... Like I said, I gave the only defense that Tony Khan could have for this. Which, I'll admit, is a very weak one. Um, so here... Go ahead. Okay, hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Hearing. Sorry, I just got to hear Osprey, Osprey. <laughs> um, Fair enough. Nope, it's good. I don't mind. It's so it's so insanely loud there. But uh, after after the Swerve Danielson match, Christian comes down to try to cash in, and Edge stops him. You could get that. I hope he's bad. I hope he's good. Because I don't think the injury was as bad as he initially thought it was. He had he had surgery and he said New Year. He but could, he had he, a he could super when Cena he first it. came out. He thought he broke his tibula, right? But yeah. then he ended up in a walking cast instead. That means he didn't break his tibula. You're not in a walking cast with a broken tibula. So then you have Danielson and. Copeland side by side to close your show? That'd be a good look. True. <laughs> MGF is the goddamn best. <laughs> I'm not like planning on holding on to this little ticket. You're going to have to drink time. another one of the beer of your people because I don't have time to make a drink. Possibly oh, the greatest a... heel in wrestling history. <laughs> what a twos bad. He knows how to make everybody upset. <laughs> what a twos bad. He's coming he... out like Apollo, like uh, not Apollo Creed. Apollo Creed? Apollo no, Creed, Apollo Rocky, Creed, exactly, right. yes. Um, a or, no, yeah, you know Apollo. what you know what he looks like? Consequences Creed. Yeah, Apollo Creed. AKA Xavier Woods when he hmm. had his gimmick. Surprised he doesn't have a sniper taking out his hat there at that point. <laughs> All right, time to make my drink. All right, you go make your drink. We're going to enjoy the entrances here. You're going to enjoy your food. Make sure you get that food in there because that's important right now. Did y'all see that sign? He's a star spangled scumbag. Yeah, it sounds about right. Oh, and Vic, just to let you know, while you were gone, he was telling us some of the dastardly things that you have let him watch for wrestling and some of the stuff that you that he thinks he should be able to do to certain people. My God, what are you teaching this kid? <laughs> he let me watch wrestling. That's what he's teaching me. The Attitude Era is, it has taken over. He made CZW seem tame and calm. <laughs> Uh, you know, I taught him well. <laughs> Man, the future is strong in wrestling here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, uh, he, he's, at the moment he's learned that I loved it, it's going on him. And, uh, I, uh, you know, going to shows here and there, working shows here, tagging him along. He, he's just grown a, a, his own love and respect for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, that flag. So... Zodiac did mention that technically that flag is illegal and should have him arrested. Because you desecrated the American flag with that, with those heads. With, 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 uh, with what heads? He replaces the stars with his face. Oh, oh, yeah. Technically, you're not allowed to let the American flag touch the ground either, and they just drag that sucker across the ground. Yeah, that's all technically. <laughs> it's in UK space, so whatever. Well, the American <laughs> So. 
So after this, we still have three more matches left. We got the coffin match. Three more, wow. We got the TBS yeah, title. And then we got uh, Swerve and Danielson. So they are definitely running, uh, letting these matches breathe here tonight. I wonder if t I wonder if Tony's seriously going to have a uh, big announcement coming up here during uh, in between the semi and the main, maybe. It's got to be soon because it's only been a couple hours, right? True, like they're well. They're, this one should go till about five o'clock. Timing wise. I do like the fact that Osprey got new gear. Because some of that other glittery gear that he had just didn't look good. This is definitely that uh, Assassin's Creed inspired. Yeah. See, I would look to get the new Assassin's Creed game, but honestly, Tears of the Kingdom is burning me out of these long, long ass games that take like 500 hours to finish. <clears throat> Assassin's Creed is not as good as it used to be, what? though. The fact that they've moved to Japan might be a little bit of a help, though. Yeah, it definitely needed a reboot. Even a retouch, more than anything That's else. True. I know Kayla's yeah. more of the Assassin's Creed expert, but... Does Adam Cole show up in this match? Yeah, Jake Quick and I were chatting about this beginning of the show. Does Do we hear about the boom? Well, there's been talks about him coming back soon, too, right? I can't really fully remember, but Kirby's the... Yeah, the only... Uh, uh, the best player to use attack was, right? The only uh, clue that I have is uh, his his Discord. Uh, the Chugs' is Discord, which is the gaming character of Adam Cole. He had to cancel Friday's stream, and he won't be back till Monday, Tuesday. So to me, that but indicates that... Quite possibly, he's, he's he, here. <laughs> he might be here, yeah. But he'll he he'll be here for Brit too, right? You got to think of that. Yes and no. If they've broken up already, is that the rumor? I haven't heard that one. Oh, uh, Brit stayed in Orlando, and and Cole's moved to uh, back to Pittsburgh. Wow. He actually had he actually had all his uh, most of his gaming gear got either damaged or a lot of his old stuff got destroyed in the move. He had to spend a couple days getting a new monitor and stuff. But yeah, some of his classic stuff got cracked in that, so he's a little pissed about the move. He said, take your time and do your research. I didn't have enough time to do research. So that should tell you something about that. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I can't confirm. And frankly, it's not my, none of my business to really confirm one way or the other anyway. Here, let me... While Zodiac's making his drink, I'll clean his screen off here, the, off the feed. Not a good look to Brito after... And as soon as he does that, he shows up. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Sorry, Vic, you were saying? Not a good look for Britt, though. Britt hasn't had a good look all week or all month. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of garbage bad coming out of the Yep. And now with Christian winning, you free up Swerve Hangman? Nah, you, you had Swerve Hangman available regardless. Whether he had that contract or not, that contract just could have been a backup. This very well could have been Tony Khan saying, "To hell with it! I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to deal with the common bat, common story. Of what's going on here? I want something different." Those streamers are going to be running all night, aren't they? It sucks that MJF and Osprey have to wrestle in confetti. Be great. <laughs> did you guys did you ever tell 
um, be good. We'll have to, well, when the Adam What's your drink there, Zodiac? What'd you make this time? I went back to my, uh, Gordon's London Dry Gin. And it's on Perry Ultimate's Sparkling Water. <laughs> So you're drinking gin with sparkling water. Yes. <laughs> beer. Atta boy. It's delicious. See, I would pull my beer out, but uh, <laughs> you guys don't need to see that I'm working on people skills. Because it's actually people skills beer here. Can I have a coffee? That's what it's yeah. called? <laughs> oh, you haven't seen it before. I'll be you know, I'll be right no. back. Coffee, be air. <laughs> so Zodiac, I ordered a converter for my Genesis to put in so you can play your Sega Master Systems uh, games on it. And they screwed up my order and sent me a make a modified Mega make Sega Master System cartridge with every Sega game in it. Yeah. All right, so this beer here, it's from Toolshed Brewing here. It's a provincial brewery here. It's called People what? Skills, literally. Nice. So when I tell people I need more people skills, that's usually what I'm talking about. It has <laughs> nothing to do with my communication here. Well, yeah. That... How long do you think this match goes tonight? They went an hour before. 30 minutes. Wow. Yeah, I think they get a good 30 as well. Two hours. 30 minutes would be good. It would also depend on if they have any surprises for the coffin match. I, I think we're going to get one. I'm thinking so. Yeah, too. It's, it sounds like that's been pretty much confirmed. Oh, he's at Wembley. Maybe they could lower the coffin from the Raptors to Raptors to make it even more obvious. Oh, I can't turn it off a little bit. I'm I'm already I'm watching this match and I'm already just imagining Osprey Ricochet. <laughs> yeah. You know what's a bad sign when you're picturing other matches instead? <laughs> No, we were talking about uh, we were talking about Britt Baker and her bad week. Like when it when it sounds like she was complaining about a match going an hour, that just seems like. Uh, oh, so that's the latest now. Well, you could sort of put two and three together that she was critiquing both guys, and just to. Alicia took a little bit of offense. That's where it all came down to. Is the fact that Alicia was... Uh, Alicia took offense to what Britt was saying about the match. Because really, what else could you say about that match? Is the fact that it took too long and it... And that it took time away from other people that could have used the time. But when she's uh, that does make sense. But when you're already causing a lot of heat, just shut up. Yeah, but <laughs> and I think uh, I think I've said this to you in, in chats, Mike. I think it's about the delivery. You know, how did she say it? Yeah, that that could be what it comes down to. She could have been like, you know what, MJF gets all this time. T Tony Tony was incredibly stupid for making them wrestle an hour. How dumb was that booking decision? Don't you agree? He doesn't need to be on our TV. I can't believe he got that from, from Tony. Yeah, that will get you suspended. Yeah. And the, and the fact that uh, MJF was allowed to come out and say what he said tells me that it's most likely Brits in the wrong. And that's, yeah. where, that's where I'm piecing all this together and figuring out that's probably what happened. Because if it was anything more serious than that, do you think Britt honestly would have been out here? There's enough people in line to face Mercedes at a show like this. 
that's one thing about AEW is there is not a shortage of talent available. What I, what I think it's it's a good sign in some sense that is like there's there's some disciplinarian in the room now. And I think that's been uh, <laughs> I think uh, that's something that AEW has been had been lacking for the past couple of years. It was more like the inmates running the asylum for better or for worse. And now TK is kind of putting his foot down and being like, hey, like we got to get some rules here. We got to get some discipline here. We got to establish some sort of cohesive vision um and and put his foot down so well i I think it's it's a positive sign i just hope it doesn't get too draconic but i mean signs point to that being a relatively good thing you gotta think with with what you're saying it's he could see viewership numbers declining a little bit the negative press online yeah and that's this is kind of how wcw started right you guys don't worry guys you just you just go do what you want to do and then it buried it yeah and jay jay quick's mentioning you think you saw the next contender on that was good wow think you saw the next contender in mercedes on the pre-show no i don't think you put jamie Mm. in uh i don't think you put jamie to mercedes right away the only way that it isn't somebody else on the roster that's a little more established would be if somebody showed up during after right after the match here. I believe we brought up her name earlier. We've, I believe the, I believe Rebecca Knox is the name that we're going by here on this one. Oh, that would be explosive. If you could, if Britt loses and then that, and then Rebecca shows up, I don't think it will, to be perfectly honest. I, I think she's too firmly ingrained in the uh, WWE atmosphere right now. But if you, if she came out, because nobody, I think seen, she's, I think she's too happy just being a mom. Yeah, it, it's one of the weird things that a lot of people don't realize, and I, it's something I've had to take a bit of a step back personally myself. Not everybody thinks wrestling's be all do all, even if you're in there. It isn't? Oh, I got to rethink my life. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you got slow pitch, remember? That summer's almost over, man. I got nothing soon. <laughs> Wait, you're a Habs fan. No, oh, never mind. <laughs> we have Patrick Line now. You wait. For a few months. You wait. <laughs> Until you can flip him for, some, for uh, three pieces of wood and a bottle of wine. <laughs> oh, my God. The spit off when uh, Osprey that. did that kick, it hit Rebsberg right in the face. It would not surprise oh, me if that was actually on purpose. <laughs> no, in MJF, probably. <laughs> Does Osprey I hit think, the. I th- Sorry, go ahead. I think he hesitates. I think. I know he did- you're about to answer that question too, yeah. so. I was just going to ask the question and then you guys feel free there. My opinion is he hits it because earlier in the night we had the same problem and it ended up costing a match. Because I remember saying those exact words and I just can't remember which match it was because we got nine matches here. Uh, Which one was it? It was the Tony Storm match. That's it. Bingo. She wouldn't use this shoe. Not the she, shoe. she wouldn't use the shoe. Now, you don't want to run that same Damadillo moment there. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Damadillo. Oh, my God. A lot of people That's get brutal. mad at me for who my favorite wrestler is. Are you Go guys... ask him. Sorry, Go, go... ask him. <laughs> we do not have Kyoto here. Calm down. Oh, my God. We got our first spot of the stream. I'm impressed. It looks like he actually hit is his, yeah, his head that's was what, not in the best position. That's where I was at the oh my god part. That was an Austin moment. It would like somebody's talking. It puts like the purple thing showing you're talking. The mic over there. Oh. Is it me? 
Hello? Oh, Jesus. They, they might be just trying to make sure that Osprey is actually okay. Villain, we can completely yeah. hear you back where you were. It's all good. You don't have to lean in. <laughs> so how long do we think this goes? I think, Zodiac, I think you're right. It was half an hour. I, I think half an hour makes a lot of sense here with these guys. Yeah. Because we still have three more, like we said, three more matches after this. Yeah, everybody always gets mad. That's one that's one true thing of life. Everybody always gets mad. No, like um no like not that um, even when I'm not mad, mad. I'm mad. Everybody gets mad about <laughs> my favorite superstar my favorite wrestler. If he even counts as a wrestler. Oh my god. Oh Ooh. two point nine. Two point nine 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 nine. Mike, have you finished your Caesar yet? Oh, I'm down one already. I went, I'm went. i going back and forth between Caesars and, and Pepsi here. So I just keep the blue cans going either way. Then nobody really knows which way I'm going on this. And Jay Quick says he's happy that Taz had his oh. moment tonight. I, I, I'm with you. I'm like to have that. You guys really want to You guys really want to know? I really want to know. <laughs> Are you sure? Os Osprey's looking like... Can I climb up there and get all these streamers down so everybody can see the match? <laughs> oh, God, this is going to suck. Hmm. Hmm. This is the you guys got winning this match. I think it's got to be Osprey. Oh, yeah, Osprey. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was a splat. Does anyone ever think MGF tries too far in his promos? That's my yeah, opinion. His there, promos. his promos. You learned from Jericho. Yeah, like his promos usually take an extra five minutes. Oh, God. A Panama Sunrise. Oh, my God. The big one? No, like, Panama Sunrise from the second rope. We're going to see Adam Cole. It's an itch for sure. <laughs> says, says every wrestling conspiracy theorist in the world. Could you imagine a count out? <laughs> Could you imagine a full count out here? Mike, this isn't my GM mode. <laughs> oh, fuck. I couldn't believe I actually get those now. <laughs> count outs in GM mode are just absolute garbage. But yet, it'll still get a four star match. Indeed, it will. And yet, I'll have a last man standing match between Becky Lynch and Dakota Kai, and it'll give me two stars. Ah. That was horseshit last night. It was. It's all right. I always know at Mania I'm going to get 25 stars out of five matches. Because, Lily, I use my book free card and book everything in a cage. And... <laughs> Osprey using the MJF tactic. So next is what? The women's or the casket? The casket goes next. You always put the women's title and the men's title as the last two matches. <laughs> Heat sick are reversed. 
Can't believe Casket is after Osprey. Well, they're gonna bury MGF's career and then they're gonna bury, uh... There's your Oz Cutter on the apron. That was interesting. I, lo <laughs> I, I love computers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think this week I might just pop out and pick up some more RAM for the computer here. I'm surprised it took this long to get a This Is Awesome chant. Usually we get that within three seconds. Oh, cameraman goes down. Poor cameraman. No, not in. And the cameraman has mismatching socks. <laughs> oh, God. I can respect the mismatching socks, so I do it all the time. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Cameraman's getting eaten with a hidden blade. Oh! Oh! That's what? a bump. He took a bump. <laughs> with all due respect, what's that underwear he's wearing? <laughs> it matches one of his socks. I think you might need a bigger pair of pants. What do you get, a cameraman? Yeah. Cameraman! You can tell because of the gear. He's not going to get rid of the hidden blade now, is he? Because he hurt the cameraman. <laughs> uh, he's not going to have a move by the time he's done. He's going to win with a headlock every match. <laughs> headlock takeover every match. That's how he wins it. It's the only move. Oh, and this goes right into the elbow. Nope, never mind. MGF's orange tan starting to wash off. Oh, and here it is. Oh, he didn't use the other one version. He usually does the he usually does the uh, brain buster on the knee. Bad little villain! I should switch it up. Oh. These streamers you know above the, the ring are out of control. It's it's be they're moving because of the air coming out of the fans' breaths there, because it's going back and forth so much. It's his tears for me. Oh my god. There's pandemonium happening in the ring. Everybody's down. So we, can we say again, MJF ruined another pay-per-view? <laughs> Just because of the, the uh, streamers? Oh, Remsburg's eating us. Remsburg's eating it now. What's up with that? Almost. Now he eats it. Ooh. Oversold that a bit. That was a Shawn Michaels sell. I've never seen one. <laughs> no, no, there was no bounce on it. Nah, that's the truth. No ref! No ref! No ref! Biting. <laughs> He's gonna hit it, but there's gonna be no ref. Thank you. My God, was that a low blow? <laughs> oh. You know, it's a low blow when he actually lifts up in the air. Hesitation, like the commentator said, it was just, yeah. They didn't let it breathe enough to let it be hesitation. Oh. No, because oh. he, he did oh. the thing. He said Tiger Driver, and then he got the low blow. Yeah, he did the same thing that uh, that MJF did. Oh yeah. Yep. Welcome back, sir. And it's not who you think. Well, <laughs> I, I think it's Garcia. Okay, so it might be who you think. <laughs> it just makes sense to be Garcia. Oh. He's the story in this. What? Where's that? I appreciate yep. the non spoiling heads up, though, by the way. Red rum. Oh, yes. by the way, spoilers. 
<laughs> All I hear is a steam in my head right now. <laughs> Garcia's the whole reason this story is here the way it is. They kept him because uh, he was his contract was up, right? They kept his uh, yep. resigning quiet then. Yep. The he best was... part about not being a publicly traded company is they can keep this shit quiet. And everybody can talk about whatever they want to talk about. Uh, that's it. Yeah, but there's one problem. Yeah, no, he's going to win. Yeah, but there's a problem here. You're, you're missing somebody in the ring right now. Yeah, it only makes sense to have MJF Garcia oh! next week. He's turning into Hangman. Oh my God, the referee's waking up. Wow. That's it. So now they're tied 1 1. Do we get a rubber match? Well, you're going to have to do the Garcia MJF first, right? I don't oh, think yeah. so. I, I think we I think we come back yep. to this, but I think it's with the world title. <laughs> you, won't, you won't even touch the belt. <laughs> nope. No, because he, he actually is the one that saved the international title, right? So the thing about this. We, <laughs> so now we got MJF Garcia probably, and we're getting... Watch it. He's got a British title coming. Uh-oh. We got a British title? Christopher Daniels? What's he oh, he's in him the old one? Yeah. Yeah. The international title? It's the international title again. Yep. I like how everybody just yeah, bought in the fact that, that MJ, MJF not, changed yeah, the title. Right? He's like, no, it's not this team. anymore. And everybody's like, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> <laughs> and and Osprey's getting this pyro in the third match from the main. Good on him. TK spending them. You know what they're doing right now, actually, right? They're hoping that the pyro is hot enough that it'll burn the streamers around the ring. <laughs> <laughs> what what WWE uh made. PLE pay per view, whatever it, it was, was, where it was the, like they started catching sign. on fire the banner. Uh, Raw Rumble, Rumble sign. was a WrestleMania yeah. sign. They had to evacuate all the money, all, all it, basically the entire section there. Oh, they're doing the uh, women's match next. Oh, I stand corrected. So the coffin match is semi main. I guess they might want to breathe her in between the two of them, right? As much as a oh coffin match oh, would yeah. be a Oh, yeah, Osprey Pack. Yeah, we got Osprey Pack next, next in two weeks. We're going to get Osprey Pack. That's going to be great. So, confirmed for All Out in two weeks, we have Osprey Pack. We got Statlander and uh, Nightingale. We'll probably have Christian versus somebody. Maybe Christian Danielson. I'm sure we're all looking forward to that. That'll be my bathroom break. Uh, <sighs> no, because Danielson's going to get it. He can wrestle. It's going to be a good match. It's just the circumstances behind it will suck, but it's going to be a good match. No, the, the thing is with those two, it's going to be your WWE style I, match. We don't be need a good it. Match because I didn't put up with Mercedes Monet's terrible promos. Yeah. No, we we sorry, we were talking about Danielson and uh, a mediocre match. We were talking about the potential of Danielson and Christian. Just because if Danielson wins, Christian's got the guaranteed contract. No, this this should be a good match, and if it isn't, Mercedes losing a lot of stock here. 
Like, I think Brit's got a little bit of, uh... The doctor will see you, man. On honestly, I think Brit's got some house money right now. Because she she's just coming back, right? So if she isn't 100%, I think she needs to, uh, I think Britt needs to put on a show too with all the controversies coming out. Yeah, and KJ... Like she, needs to, she needs to look good tonight or it's going to be bad. I think KJ's got her right on the ball there. It's She does look nervous. Because this is, you know, with all due respect to Sheeta and, uh, and Harley Cameron, this is... This is probably one of the bigger matches she's had since coming back. But then Mercedes, well, this is the put up or shut up match, right? First title match since last year's all in, yeah. I think it's more the fact that she's got so much pressure on her period. Because I think the TBS championship has developed into like the the women's championship right now. Don't get me wrong. The Mariah May and Tony Storm story was great. And it compelled a lot of people to watch AEW week in and week out. This title starts to feel like it's starting to be the title that's bringing in. Like the big names go for this title. While the best stories go for the women's title. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is Get like a goddamn corgi with her. <laughs> and you would understand that if you follow the queen. Yep. Yeah. I just, the, the, thing, the thing is lie, with though, Monet those, right those now, I think the, the, the thing happy. is correct. <laughs> I think, I think the thing with Monet is uh, something Jay Quick said, if Mercedes oh, loses she loses her stock something you said as well mike it's uh she's she's not in, incredibly over with the fans yet she's she's working there and that's what hpc down there was saying too is that her promos are not that good yeah, so <laughs> she's incredibly talented but something's something's not in my opinion something's not 100 percent right with mercedes right now and maybe they put the belt on her a little too quick i know they wanted to raise the profile and it makes sense but it's it's not 100% clicking yet. And I love seeing her. I love seeing her wrestle. I think she's great, but I, some's I'd not 100% rather, there quite yet. What I think I'd see the Corgis and Mercedes to be honest with you. Go ahead, Vic. Sorry, I'll wait. No, my my opinion is if you with Mercedes, if she had her gimmick, she's basically playing off the gimmick that she had before in WWE as she was she's playing off the boss gimmick with a little tweak here and there. And if that's not working with the fans, the one thing about AEW more than anything else, she knows how to pivot. Like the wrestlers in AEW know how to pivot based on what the fans are doing. Cause they know Tony Khan is going to be doing that. Not necessarily. I'm not talking about scripting mm -hmm. versus unscripted. That's a whole different ball of wax. We can get into another, but it's the fact that your overall character needs to adjust to what the fans are doing. Right. And yeah, I, th I think uh, KJ is uh, KJ's more on here. They should never have brought her in as a face. Yeah, that's 100% right. She should have see her as a face. She should have actually been introduced by the Bucks. In, in my opinion, she should have been the Bucks mm -hmm. with the Bucks as the hunter for like they have all the gold. Well, we we need to get somebody to get some ladies gold here. And the fact, yeah, she's not a face. KJ's like, first month she was a face and people weren't buying it. Exactly. Like, if she's not a face, then... I, I think this will be a good match. I'm just expecting a very cheesy ending. And honestly, I think that... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm afraid of, too. Yeah. I think it's going to be the cheesy ending of Camille interfering once, and that'll be it. Or Jamie Hayter comes down to stop it. 
Uh, we were talking about this top of the show. Apparently, and this, once again, this is another Sean Ross Sapp report, which nine times out of ten, I, I trust Sean Ross Sapp more than I trust most. But apparently the there was some, as things were breaking down, they there were some bad feelings between Britt and, Britt and Jamie. So we're, we're probably not going to see much of that anymore. Could be totally wrong. Who it wouldn't be the first time that a pundit was wrong about something. But yeah, the gears tonight are absolutely amazing. And I know that uh I, I'm pretty sure Mercedes wanted to try to go for the red, white, and blue, but coming right after MJF just it wouldn't work. I love Camille's gear too, by the way. Like everything working together like that. So how long till Camille turns on Monet then? I think that's going to be a minute. I think this will be like this for a while. Huh. You would like, never get probably a year, a year and a half, like Wardlow and MJF. Sorry, Vic. Go ahead. Oh, my bad. Um, no, no, I was just mocking what Mercedes was mouthing off to Brit about. Ah, uh, Merce Mercedes got some trash in her. She just... In AEW, it's more of a proving ground. Like, everybody can talk in AEW to a point. It's just you got to prove that you're able to do it in the ring, and especially if you're coming out of, coming out of WWE, right? And Mercedes is one of those that she walked out on on WWE. Like right. we all know it. So she's got to back back it up. And what she had three matches and she got injured, and she was out a year. Yeah. And yeah, Jay Quick brings up the perfect example yeah, here like with kinda, with Soraya. Kind of thinks she's still there, and it, that's that's kind of stuff. It's it's produced differently too. Well, Peppermint's been actually helping a lot with that, this right? Probably was fucking her up more than anything. The initial part, I think so. But uh, Jennifer Peppermint's been actually helping a lot with the promos and that, trying to set things up, figure it up. But oh god, I'll say that, that was pretty cool. think it's good having a woman write for a woman yeah like 100 percent absolutely having that experience and the thing about jennifer compared to anybody is she is into soap like she got her emmy awards for soap operas like it wasn't for wwe nobody gets a an emmy for writing for wwe you should get a razzie for some of the stuff vince book but i digress but um <laughs> No, yeah, it, can you imagine trying to write for the WWE, going to Vince and going, here's what I think, and then him right away going, well, I'm going to make some changes, and then it's just totally changed. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Who's Vince? Attaboy, Jay Quick. Uh, <laughs> didn't she write for Sasha Bailey? She basically wrote, wrote for the entire women's roster. <laughs> so... Sasha gives Jennifer credit for... Or, sorry... Mercedes gives uh, Jennifer credit for most of the work that she did during that time. I, I think the biggest difference for Mercedes right now, and she's she is adjusting, and I think she can come out of it. She was a big fish in a... I don't want to say small pond, because it is WWE, of course, but it I would say it's a moderate pond, because... The, the focus on the women at the time outside of anything big. We, uh, yeah, you almost did think. She, she just, she, she was a legend in her own mind, I think is the best way to put it. And now she gets over here where the women get a little bit more in ring action, a little more work toward it. 
and she's going to have to work to be better. And sometimes when you're gifted stuff rather than having to work for it, it just seems to be a little bit harder to achieve it. That's why I went from honor student to dropping out of college. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw a cheap one in there. I want to see if Tony announces anything for Di for Dynamite at the press conference. He'll announce three matches. I'll tell you that. He's going to have five matches booked. He's going to announce three of them on Dynamite in the press conference. Which I'm so thankful that the press conference is going to be at like 4.30. My time instead of like midnight. I was, I was like 4.30. It's almost there now. Forgot you're somewhere else. It's Right now it is currently 1.49 p.m. here. I honestly would be kind of shocked if Bailey doesn't do run in AEW. To be honest, like, what does she have left to do in WWE right considered. now? I know that's a random statement, but no, no, I, 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 I totally like get it. Don't have nothing. With Mercedes. Can you imagine if all the four horsewomen end up showing up in AEW? I don't think it'll ever happen. Well, Charlotte will never go. That's where I'm thinking of that period charlotte will never go i can only see her going if mercedes is there yeah i oh i think guaranteed that'll be the case but yeah but i i think if there's some chance that they could get bailey over within a, a decent amount of time here right now like for a couple years like if vince has time to ice her out or sorry if trips has a chance to ice her out it's not going to have that same effect, and I don't know if it'll go over as well. So do we get a surprise after this match? I'm hoping so. Because the only surprise on the women's side that we got so far is Jamie Hayter. Realistically... I would love to see one more for the women just because this is supposed to be such a big show. That was a pre-show too. Yeah, that was the last thing people saw as they and go what back are, to the pre-show. What other surprises? What other big surprises could we get? A big payoff that we could get other than Rebecca Knox or Rebecca Quinn? A Bobby Lashley sighting? On the women's side? For this match though? No, no, no. no. I, I mean, just left to see uh, on the women's side yeah that jay quick i think you're i think you're nailed it right on the head there that might be the only one that you could use think it right would now. work yeah because here's the thing when they went to go do the all-in texas uh preview they didn't send brit they didn't send uh tony storm they sent athena mercedes and swerve So for me, if you want to bring up Athena with that feud, oh my god. That was a hell of a cutter there. There's no other comp there has been competition for Athena for a while. So they're right now they're doing the second runaround with uh with Abaddon, so could there be a way that they get that going? They do have some good chemistry, so I'd love a crazy feud. Yeah, like If you're going to bring up Athena to take on Mercedes, then Mercedes should win this match. Because I don't know if... Right now with, I agree. with with Britt, maybe you get her in there with... Uh, maybe they have the Jamie Hayter-Baker feud? We've all been waiting for it. We were, we were thinking it was going to happen like a year earlier, like a year and a half earlier. Surprised they use an implant buster there. That is such a Russo name for that move, by the way. What's that? An implant buster. <laughs> when the women do yeah. that move. 
That is just such a Russo name for that move. Have Athena say I'm done with the title. I want yours. They'll never do that. Tony Tony's too much of an old school guy to do that. Although, although he did that with Samoa Joe. He just basically gave his TV title in and said, I don't want to deal with it. I want the world title. I don't think he would different do different circumstances though. I don't think he'd want a world title with that. I don't think he'd want to do a world title with that. Yeah, like the TV title, okay, I can understand it, maybe. All I can say is that one with Samoa Joe just looked ugly. It looked weird and nobody Everybody just shook their head at it. Oh, she's putting the glove on. <laughs> she Mercedes struggles putting that glove on every time. <laughs> that could well it's because it's three sizes too big for her. <laughs> you can see the fingertips don't fit all the way in the end. I think they're losing the crowd in this match. Maybe. <laughs> I think this crowd was starting to die right after Christian Cage got a three count. Well, yeah, I mean, they're also exhausted. I mean, they just poured all that emotion into the Osprey match. Fair. Fair. And Tony Khan's had zero faith in the women's matches keeping emotion, right? And they do like the drink in Britain, so. They do. They do. <laughs> I doubt you have three surprises in the next three matches. That's true. That's why I think Here Athena might be the best match. choice. Even if you don't get Athena here, you get Athena on Wednesday. Because Mercedes comes out and gloats I, about how she wins. I think the other issue is Britt's suspension. It's harder to build a storyline when the the challenger who's been out for a year can't be on TV. That makes things a lot more difficult. It gets it makes it harder to get emotionally invested. They tried to do that uh, that uh, over over satellite promo for uh, when she was on suspension for a second week. It doesn't work. No. People gotta relate. If you don't relate, you never mind. <laughs> I try to keep it somewhat PG here a little bit. <laughs> you ever have that? You ever come up with one of those comments and you're like, "Oh, wait, no, never mind." <laughs> I doubt you have some body in the casket. I think Sting's in there. I'll call right now. I think you. I think they play it all the way up. It's Sting. Tony wants to hear that. I mean, Tony Khan. Yo, do to, they put his body in the casket, or do look? they play his music? That's Sorry. Crazy. It, what dude. would be the bigger pop if he came out of the casket, or if they played his music? He looks, um, I don't think you do. Uh, like that was uh, interesting reverse. Yeah, Kayla. Look it up, yeah. That was a great reverse. Like, let, let's face it, these two can wrestle. Her foot was already under the rope. She didn't even need to move it. Nice. Yeah, but the ref was still counting. Yep, 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 yep. I don't think you do the music because the bucks cut him off, yeah. Brickhouse got to do better? Um... She did what she had to do. Oh, goody. We're doing this spot again. Damn it, D'Lo. <laughs> do you guys know where the damn it, D'Lo came from? If you ever watch the OSW podcast, they're doing the TNA reviews of all their pay-per-views. Every time that... Oh, God. Here we go. Eddie Guerrero spot. Here we go. So whenever TNA would do the same finish to multiple matches, it was because D'Lo was the head of booking there. 
or head of the agents. So he never communicates this to the wrestlers that the finish was X for one and Y for another and Z for the other one. So now they just call it a damn Adilo moment. <laughs> oh, Rebecca's playing good games. Oh, that he. Have Sting in the casket help Darby. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen, but I don't think Darby's going to win. I don't think Darby should win. Jesus! That looked rough. Stomp. How dare you use the Panama Sunrise? See, Shivani just said something there. I want you guys to know, or want want to ask: Does Mercedes look, or does uh, <laughs> Brit, does Britt look like she have ring rust? I think she's looked bit. pretty good in this match. She's got a little bit, yeah, but it's expected to have a little. I mean, bit. not she a lot. Looks better than I thought she would. Yeah, she looks better than Nigel McGuinness. Nigel didn't do. Mercedes intercepted the hand. <laughs> All right, there's an ugly spot. I. That's actually smart, helping herself get up. Oh, turning it into the moneymaker. Oh. I hate that finisher. The gory special? The moneymaker. Yeah. Though, yeah. It's, she's, I don't mean, like, I'm not saying this to be rude, but she's too small to do that move. It's not convincing and there's no whip behind it. Especially get somebody bigger, right? Wow. I, I tend to agree. It doesn't look vicious. I think, like, I hate to say it, she needs to go back to the bank statement and make her make her finishing move the submission. I think if you want to do the money maker into that, then there you go. She used to, and that's the thing. But yeah, I I think that she need she needs something that'll work a little better. Is it just me, or is this like the third match tonight where we've had a bit of a? Meh, meh. Yeah, I think that's the best way to put it. Meh. Very meh. Cause yeah, the tag titles, this this one, and the uh and the gauntlet. Like I don't mind this finish. I don't mind I don't mind the tag finish. The gauntlet one I, I'm sure that they're I, I'm sure that Zodiac's sitting there having a bit of a stew to the point where it's you know, we could have a half hour rant by the end of this. But we'll see. <laughs> uh, there's only one match that I was like, uh, like the, the finish, the the winners for both Mercedes and Brit and uh, egg match makes sense. They make sense. Yeah. And if, even if the ending isn't the best, at least like that's what we expected. So it's hard to complain. You provide because if we're like, hey. This team's gonna win. All right, the team won. It didn't. Was the win spectacular? No, but the the results the same. Uh, the match itself, both the matches were good up until the end. Was just kind of muffled, but it is what it is. Yeah, to casket's on. To me, this almost reminds me of anti ECW. Because ECW, if you if you remember a lot of the ECW matches. There was a lot of insanity throughout the match. That did, a lot of it didn't make sense. A lot of it was like, huh, what the hell are you doing? But then you'd finish with a technical pin. Charby so, Allen has thumbtacks glued to his face. <laughs> how does that not surprise me? <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't, like, have him pierced to put underneath his skin at this point. You, you know what he was doing? He was making out with Soraya backstage. 
with that gear shield ah. on. Yeah. Ah. Trying to get a little bit of Brit in him. I, I don't know. Her her boyfriend's kind of into that alternate lifestyle kind of thing, I've heard. So that, that may not have happened. It's something special. Uh-oh. That's all I got to <laughs> say about that. <laughs> Just, so how good has Jack Perry's career been, though, since he's become the scapegoat? I hate to say this, uh, right? I hate to say this right now. But how many people has CM Punk made based off this? <laughs> Whether intentionally or not. He's basically put the EVPs up at a new level that they were already high up before. Jack Perry's been put into this this role that he's past jungle boy finally and he's got a character I thought he was good as jungle boy i like jungle i like the lucha express i didn't mind him but it was almost like where do you go it's, it's a, very it's, limited it, and you can't take it serious after a while yeah and it, true basically they ran out of story with it right like jungle boy has to become jungle man eventually <laughs> You guys are saying when the Bucks lose, what if they lose to the unlikely duo of Omega and Kingston? Strange bedfellows? I think they lose it to Omega and Ibushi. Or in the case of... What the hell is that? They bring back the Golden Jets. Omega Jericho. No, I'm out. Omega Bill. <laughs> Omega Bill. That Hey, that sounds like an awesome team name too. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think this match is going to last very long. Not Jericho Mega. No, I think it's going to be incredibly violent, though. Right. Mike's favorite type of match. That's why I bring you guys on here, so I don't have to watch this crap. Jericho <laughs> Mega. I like Jericho. I like that name, Jericho Mega. Don't give TK ideas. I know he watches the show. Stop <laughs> putting that in the universe. See... TK has two monitors backstage. One is to the, <laughs> to the product, and one is to us. The rec feed. He's right now Jericho. Going, what the hell was that? <laughs> Jericho Megalomania. Megalovania. You could tie in like an Undertale theme on top of it, which Kenny Omega would be all about. <laughs> you know what? I used it. I used this for. Uh, I used this for something else today, but there's no other guest coming on, so I could reuse it for something else. <laughs> Any thought of Jericho and Omega getting back together? Let's just use that. What if Omega wants it? Omega the doesn't want it. Didn't want it so bad that they gave <laughs> Omega diverticulitis. Okay, so karma. <laughs> You know what we should have realistically, right? It uh, should be Kenny Omega, Brock Lesnar. Woof, they both, they both, they both came back from diverticulitis, right? Yeah, they, they, that's that's a story to tell right there. Can, can Surgery, you bros. They're, they're the colon kids. <laughs> the colon kids. <laughs> the colon kids. <laughs> Anytime Lesnar gets called the kid. Secretly, the tag chats will be Omega and Tony Khan. No, the I finishing move would be called "Shit and Consequences." <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, realistically, and I'd love to do one of these nights where we could talk about this, but um, an, a faction to beat out the elite right now, I would think it'd be Omega and Ibushi for the tag titles. You'd have Kingston come back and take the. I would almost say he'd have to take the Continental back from from uh, Okada. But who would you have as that fourth person to take out uh, Jack Perry? And don't say Dar <laughs> and don't say Darby. <laughs> say it. Say it. <laughs> Daniels. Maybe. Oh, God. Oh, please. Yes. I pop. see it now. I what see it pop. now. Cry me a river. <laughs> oh, 
That's glass. It's real glass. Are they getting glass, the chance? It's real glass. The crowd. Cry me a river. The crowd. Cry me a river. Oh, cry me a river. <laughs> oh, cry me. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. God bless you, England. <laughs> like I said, this could be a way to get... How many people did CM Punk get over? And here's there's your example. And they're now chanting, fuck CM Punk. <laughs> Don't worry, most of us are doing that right now. Oh, this is bru Oh, this is going to get bad. This is going to get bad. And just think, Daniel Sin and Swerve have to wrestle in this ring after this. I wonder if they'll put a new uh, canvas over. Oh, guaranteed. There's like five canvases there. There's one at home named Starks. Could Starks be that fourth guy? I thought I'm positive he's going to WWE. He's he gone. I, I would assume so, but he's gone. Tony Tony's playing the card that he's still with us. You got he's to, because he is. Still technically under contract, right? So Yeah. All day with the rage quits here on Smash Bros. I tell you. That sounds about right. Yeah. What do you say? Oh, Vic was just talking about how the uh, Smash Bros. just yeah. having nothing but rage quits today. All day. Hmm. Man, I what was it? Tuesday night, I was throwing up a little uh, Tekken Eight, and nobody would last longer than one round. And I'm not even that good. They, they need to fix that problem. It's in every game, the rage quitting. Well, people just, they need the gratification of winning all the time. Yeah. So in your opinion, guys, does Christian Cash hit tonight or wait for all? I think Christian Cage, as dumb as this, oh my God, we got blood in the camera. <laughs> uh, I think they wait. Christian Cage is set up there. He's the emergency blanket in case Danielson doesn't, you know, Danielson gets a legit hurt to the point where he's not going to be able to continue. Oh, you don't do it immediately with him. He's going to make, he's going to draw it out. Are you going to put Christian in three matches tonight, Jay Quick? That's the biggest question. Christian would put Christian in three matches tonight. Christian would, would put Christian in 11 matches tonight, if you guys wait. <laughs> He cut his own balls off to get in the women's match. That's sorry. I know it's 2024 and everybody's sensitive. But. <laughs> now, when it came to that Christian winning that, were they uh, testing the waters to see how the crowd would react when Luchador or Luchasaurus finally turns? Uh, that's why you got to draw it out. It's because you're seeing like this change with Luchasaurus now, so you got to get the explanation. Does he go back to Luchasaurus or does he go back to Kill Switch? This has to be a conversation. I think this I is. Think a, that, I think this was just intentional. I, I think that I changed his Titan Tron or his video to say, um, it still says Luchasaurus. Yeah, it said yeah, Kill that's, Switch. That's, that's, Kill Switch in the first round, like before. But that's what I'm wondering if it's kind of like oh, he did? it's not oh. happening yet. No, I think but... what happened is they played this as a ruse as soon as. As soon as the match ended, Christian told Luchasaurus, hey, you're going to fake out, be in here, and we're going to, and you're going to come out, and we're going to play this whole thing up as the gauntlet shows up. I think he's going to play. That, Sorry, go ahead. Well, I'm just saying, that's that's why you need to have at least one segment on a dynamite or a collision before he does anything. Oh, I agree. Yeah, he it's not going to happen tonight. He has to explain that this hat done, right? So. So now he's tied in the hands and tied in the feet. 
<laughs> Secretly, Mama Wayne won. <laughs> Mama Wayne's always a winner in our hearts. She wins every single uh, oh. cougar oh. hunting contest because, nice. you know, those outfits that she wears, there's got to be at least two pelts out of them. I love how the heights of these uh, stages just keep going higher and higher. Apparently, that's a 50-foot drop, guys. Well, it's, uh, that's their form of uh, WWE inflating their attendance numbers. <laughs> Has it been confirmed that they've been caught doing that? Oh, yeah. Every time. Oh, yeah. Every time. Just go to, rec go to Twitter and look up wrestle tickets. They use the sales numbers directly from like Ticketmaster and that, and they're, they're always off by a couple thousand. And when it oh, says wow. a couple thousand, it means like a lot. Like, cause I think on Friday they announced 17,000. And when you look at the sold tickets through uh, wrestle ticks, it was 13,000. They gave 4,000 away maybe? That's a lot to give away. Or WWE purchased those tickets and covered them up with accessories. That's possible, too. Because I think AEW runs things a little differently than, sure the, than WWE does. Yeah. AEW will open up a certain section, like the very small section they think they'll sell. When that sells out, then they'll start opening up sections. So technically, they will get a sellout but it's only for the sections that they sell. <laughs> watch this be watch this be sting inside now. They magically changed him. No, sting wow. the game that makes sense. Oh no, it's still him. <laughs> so he's white on one side and bleeding on the other. That's crazy. That was a statement right there. Yep. Oh. That Very was nice. fast. I expected it to be fast. Very nice. No stand. Honestly, it was a good quick match. Did it need to go long? No. Did it get its point across? I think so. Did it oh, establish? Shit. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it's not done yet. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna light it on fire. I know that already. Like somebody get a gas can. Eddie Kingston available? Don't need Eddie. <laughs> oh, the box. It... The Again, like this is this is the only result that made sense. Yeah. But here's the question I have for, as they bring the Bucks down here. The, and as I'm looking at the custom title and just saying, wow, that looks great. Oh, here we go. It does. Here we go. Do, does every wrestler get a custom custom title like that? I think so. Yeah, I think at this point, right? I think I'd love to see it. And wow. the loudest pop of the night just happened. And watch he doesn't show up. They actually got Seek and Destroy for it again? It's I said it. You play that music, you'll get the bigger pop than him coming out of the uh, casket. Yeah, you're right, Mitchie. I'll give you full credit on that. Watch Stig go to the casket and beat the casket up. <laughs> I'm not here his, for you guys. Uh, I'm here to take care stop, of Darby. Stop, stop teasing me, Mike. <laughs> Puts on his uh, stop teasing. NWO Wolfpack shirt. <laughs> Secretly, it's Omega under the paint. <laughs> Maybe they bird sting out of this. Throw him in another coffin. Uh, 
Uh, Jack. I, I love this. The, the chat would be very simple for me. You dumb fuck. You dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> then Scott Steiner pops up doing Steiner math. 71.76% of the time. Scott. Okay. <laughs> okay. Real, real talk, though. What's the point of him showing up? Is he back? You did this whole thing about a retirement. Is he back? No. Nah, it's got to be a one-off. No, he's doing a pop. They just don't want to... Saving his best friend. Wembley Stadium told them... It's WrestleMania, so... Wembley Stadium told them they cannot light anything on fire. So this is how... Probably. I'm assuming. Like, hell, remember remember the uh, controversy when Darby brought the flamethrower in? Everybody forgot the fact that Darby actually had a flamethrower license. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, I remember... It's all good with him. There was a joke that came up uh, way back, like, four or five years ago. This guy in Minnesota got arrested for having a flamethrower in his yard because he was using the flamethrower to get rid of all the snow. And the, head, and the subtitle on the headline just simply said... Because... Uh, Accused says, look at all this fluffy white. <laughs> or said that Sting back at backstage. At te- Probably SRS said that. Yeah, like you got to remember Sting lives in California. That's like a hop, skip, a jump and a two farts away from Texas. <laughs> so. All right, pee break before this starts. Anybody need the big pre breaks right now? <laughs> Might be the chance. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab the nectar of Canadian nourishment, which is Labatt Blue. I need I'll more right hydration. Back. All right. Well, everybody's doing their plugs or go, going to plug their fluids. I'm gonna plug some <laughs> shows. So, once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. This has been our first six way or six way contribution here. Okay. I want to thank Andre C and Kayla J for popping Mom, in earlier. We've had to fix some technology yeah, issues. That was, that was pretty good too. But uh, just a reminder, after we're, like, we're, we're done here, we're going to raid out to another great channel, uh, see how things are going there. Next time I'm going to be on is tomorrow, probably in the afternoon, with a little uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're going to go big game hunting tomorrow. We're going to get some frogs, going to get some lionels, and basically just get everything set up because this Thursday... We're taking out Ganon Dork and we're finishing it. We're finishing that game off. Tuesday, probably be here with the Backbreaker Fight Club once again. Whether we're going to do a little Tekken, whether we do a little Street Fighter, maybe a little Guilty Gear, maybe Smash, who knows. And then uh, Wednesday, we'll be back here once again. I'll be here solo with our AEW Dynamite sidecast. Follow up with the all WWE 2K24 My GM Mode follow up to our fast late ple that we had on saturday here so once again everybody thank you for being here i truly appreciate you and i appreciate all my guests here i thank little villain for stopping in uh just as a you know special treat i thank everybody else but you know we got some empty empty chairs here so So what do you think of the show so far tonight? Little Bill, what do you think of the show tonight so far? I like it. I liked it. What's your favorite part so far? AEW. I don't really watch AEW too much, but I liked the show here tonight. What's your favorite part of the show so far? Um, I really liked um I really liked Ricochet returning. Um what else? I'm excited for this match. I really like MJF and Osprey. Cool. Big G, after I was putting you over, even though you know you just you know you're gone, so what I don't, I do? yeah, I, I don't know something. Uh, <laughs> how have you liked the show so far? Oh, fantastic! There's a couple slip ups. Don't get me wrong. What's your but... favorite? What's your favorite spot of the night so far? Ricochet was great to see. 
right now, Brian Danielson coming down to the final countdown is amazing. As we all expected. Yeah. There it is. But yeah, it's good to see like it's good to see Jamie Hader come back because she is next level good. Vic, what do you thought of the show so far? It was it's been great. I mean, we've got a bunch of surprises from literally the buy-in up until now. What happened to the buy-in? Um JB Hater like, so much excitement. Every match has been a title match too. I don't know if you peep, but um the only one match that wasn't a title match was the still was here. still yeah, and it still had like like a saying? swerve and stuff. Like they swerved us with the whole Christian shit. That shit was dope. Uh, what what's your favorite part of the show so far? Uh, I guess I guess Ricochet's uh, involvement and his his uh, his pop, his reception. Well, Bree's front row with the kids, so they're going to be involved somehow. Oh, well, she said he was going to be there. Ah. Uh... Chris, your favorite part of the show tonight so far? Well, I know that lady. <laughs> she's that. She's that. She's that old, the girl from WWE that had a chicken in her theme song. Okay. It's the final countdown. It's the final countdown. I have that in Fortnite, actually. Atta boy. Um. Chris, you're muted. <laughs> Zodiac, you're muted. <laughs> uh, there sorry. We go. Yes, yes not chat me. is insane. Favorite part of the night. Favorite part of the night so far. Mariah May winning the title. There you go. That's a nice one. The fact his kids are there is it's, so cute. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. I mean, I that that got a genuine emotion out of me. Like that victory, everything else like Osprey winning that was a good that was a good moment too. But like a payoff to a storyline like that that had been building for a year, and the only logical conclusion you could get best moment. Yeah, for me, almost on the business side, I like what Jay Quick mentioned the the announcement of two brand new shows. Mm. Um. Does this gentleman have the wrong... Does this guy not know how to spell? Whose house does... Uh, who have two O's? <laughs> Are we dealing with... Uh, we dealing with the Grinch here and Cindy Lou Who and whatnot? It's not even Christmas. Yeah. Well, it's Christmas at AEW. That is a eh? sick uh, shirt Swerve is wearing. Is he wearing the Black Panther outfit tonight? Uh, no. Yes and no. He's wearing the T'Challa. But the the heads on the stick behind him on the yep. uh, throne is awesome. Yeah, because he's the eighth world champion. Oh, he's going for James Brown. I'm the greatest. <laughs> Swear. Tony's like, I got two weeks that I got another one. All right. I've I haven't got anything yeah, planned. I still it. I had two weeks to plan this. I still didn't book anything. Alright. Anybody feel free to join in if you want. <laughs> no okay well, I'm not stealing your I thunder swear Mike when I drive and I swear when I drive and I'm gonna <laughs> run around and gonna make a lot of sounds cause we got the biggest show of the year I got no fear cause Danielson's winning this and anybody that hates that can find my ass to kiss <laughs> I 
Yeah, that was about a three. I, I didn't bring my best for this show. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I'm just trying to hear. No, we'll get a good solid 25 minutes out of this match. I'm assuming he's going to want to be off the air by three or five your time. Perfect. Does Hangman interfere? I don't think so. I don't think we're going to have him. I think this is just going to be a straight up finish. I don't think there's going to be any shenanigans. Uh, yeah, I don't think they want to like do that, that to this. Danielson. I don't think they're going to overbook it. Respectable for the main event. Yeah. I think if you're going to have shenanigans, you'd have a little bit more in the women's title. I think however this is booked, it's exactly how Danielson wants it to be. Yeah, 100%. That, that's the easiest <laughs> answer in the world. The only exception I'll give to that might be the finish. Because I'll guarantee if Danielson wins, he didn't want to do that. Yeah, I think I think if he wins, TK said, we'll do this however you want to, but you're getting that fucking belt. Yeah. Sort of like the way he did it with Sting. If he wins, does BCC come out to celebrate? I think he's I think he gets the confetti and that's it. Maybe the, maybe the family come in the ring. I think if he wins, everybody goes to the ring. Possibly. I think I think TK needs to put him on his shoulders with another wrestler and hoist him in the middle with the belt and just all these other wrestlers clapping for him as they say, he's on the shoulder. <laughs> yeah. And parade him around the ring. That's how, that's how you get new. Here's, era, here, so. here's another thought for you that I'm just thinking of this. How about he TK announces a TV deal and the face of your company is Brian Danielson, a.k.a. Daniel Bryan. For the Can't do that he, because we know it's not. That's wishful thinking. Well, no. He I, just, hear, I feel you. He announces the streaming deal, and the guy who's the champion or promotion that people are going to look to is Daniel Bryan from WWE, one of the most respected wrestlers from that company. It's sort of the, It's the same thing that happened with Jericho. Jericho became yeah. champ because they got the TV deal because of the fact they had that such established name. I think you could give it back to Swerve right away. Like, I would love, like, as much as we were talking about Nigel versus Danielson in uh, Washington, you put Swerve and Danielson in their hometown, Tacoma, Washington, at Wrestle Dream, that will be like a Tokyo Dome show. That's how you have him really retire, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be his last one, or one of his last ones. Look at that picture right now, though. Darby gets a shot, too? Darby gets Grand Slam. Darby won that Battle Royal on Rampage to get a shot at Grand Slam. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it was the, uh, where was that? Oh, it was the Blood and Guts Battle Royal. That's what it was. The the uh, same taping as the Blood and Guts Night in Nashville. They had a uh, double ring Battle Royal. Royal Rampage. There you go. Thanks, Jay Quick. And I forgot about that. He ended up uh, beating Brody King in the final, like the last two, to get the uh, title shot at Grand Slam, so... So yeah, Darby was running on house money tonight, so that even puts Jack Perry on a higher level. Then why wouldn't Jack Perry say that maybe he deserves the title shot more? Who says he's not going to? Yeah, right. But the thing is, Jack Perry was going to work Saturdays now. Because I'd assume the TNT title is going to be on TNT. That's why I almost think that Mariah May might be moving to Saturdays going forward with Mercedes staying on the Wednesdays because it TBS, right? Right. I, I 
do truly think that once this deal comes down, they're going to want to have these titles separated. And I think the rosters are going to have like a soft, soft split coming forward. We are sort of having that right now anyway. A lot of people could come out Wednesday and say they want a title shot. Well, if you're not in this business to want to get a title shot, then you really shouldn't be in it in many ways. Mm. Unless you've been in it for 35 years and have done it all, seen it all. By the way, guys, a very interesting number came out during the pre-show today if you didn't get a chance to see it. 1972. This is match 1972 of Brian Danielson's career. Holy cow. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett brought that up to open up the pre-show today. I thought you were going to say that was the last time these two faced off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Swerve was an embryo at that point yet. No, 1972 for Canadians means a whole lot different. <laughs> Was that? Um, was that the last time you won a Stanley Cup? Game. That was uh, nope. one of the last times. I know, I know. My, Montreal, <laughs> 1993. I watched it. <laughs> no, no, we're talking about a real. Was Canadian. that the last time Toronto won anything? No, no, no we're talking about a real Canadian team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're not talking about the half half Canadian team. No, 1972 was infamously uh, for hockey fans. The year that Paul Henderson scored an amazing goal that everybody always remembers in a series against Russia for Team Canada. Mm. That was all initially known as the Soviet series. It was the first time that the Russians and Canadians faced off in a best of eight series. That's which, right. Which the Canadians We're so ridiculous that we made it a best of eight so you could end in a tie. Yeah. <laughs> Well, see, back then, ties were actually a part of the game, too. True. Which, if you watch the movie Miracle, means a lot when dealing with Russia. Because the Russians were behind, but they were never used to it, so they forgot that they could pull their goalie. And it brought us out to hockey, and everybody decides to leave. <laughs> 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 hey one thing you'll notice going forward is the zamboni is gone now from my streams going forward oh. i I've, re I've retired it for now i i have sort of a temporary stream temporary setup going on for my sports streams i literally just wanted to get rid of my oilers logo or my oilers colors on there <laughs> i'm just so pissed off with the team right now well, they do. They're letting everybody walk. That's what they did. Oh. Well, no, no. This was before that. Um, I don't know if you remember the story of uh, Stan Bowman. He was the general manager when his trainers were sexually oh, assaulting yeah, 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 some yeah. of his players. And he turned, the oh, bly shit. he turned the bly eye to it. Chicago Blackhawks, right? Yeah. So he got suspended. Within a week of being re reinstated by the league... Without doing anything in the NHL lower down, like working your way back up, the Oilers hire him as a GM. That's very... What the hell is that? <laughs> and after all the, you know, being considered a tier four fan from the Oilers, because I don't go to... I can't afford to go to games, and the mer I don't plan on spending $300 on a jersey for them. Uh, I'm considered a tier four fan and I don't matter. So fine, screw you. The colors are changing. Mm. Blackhawks are here to welcome you with open arms, Mike. Yeah, um, we have sure the future are. of the league. <laughs> can, can, we have can, the future of the league. Um, may I remind you which team Stan Bowman was working for at the time when all this happened? Well, he's gone. He's gone now. We got rid of him. See, KJ has a better idea. Instead, be a tier one fan for the PWHL, except oh. for Minnesota. And I could get into that because that'd be just just bad. How long before Connor McDavid goes oh. to LA? He doesn't. Oh. 
Uh oh, now I'm paying attention again. Oh. More acutely. This, yeah. There's going to be a splat here, and I just know it. <laughs> you can feel it, huh? Oh, 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 he has Meltzer in every week. With his AEW comments, I take it with about 300 pounds of salt. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't even notice JR's on the call now. Yeah, they usually play his music. I didn't even notice that. Oh, he bladed the... F he bladed... He bladed himself really good. <laughs> he made it look like a gash instead of a thump. Yeah. That's not coming from up here. That's coming from, like, all here. Yeah, well, if you want the crowd on the top of the bleachers to see it. Yep. Wonder how much crap... Uh, what, what's a Meltzer? Dave Meltzer. Renowned uh, wrestling writer, columnist. Uh, been around for about 50 years, and lately he's just been proven that a lot of the things he said he doesn't know about. Or he, he doesn't have all the facts. Inside, uh, he lost his inside information, right? When Dunn left. My question remains, what's a Meltzer? <laughs> I will well, give you that. Maybe it's, uh, it's probably or maybe uh, or probably this or something along the lines of maybe. Exactly. Can't wait to hear Bischoff cry when AEW all last Nitro. So I, I try to do these co-streams for every PLE. Which, by the way, I completely forgot to get somebody for the next one coming up in two weeks. So I'll have to see if I can see if I can find anybody who wants to do it. But uh, besides that, I want to do a special one for the night where Dynamite outlasts Nitro. Well, right now, the big thing we need to focus on is Bischoff saying there is no deal. There'll never be a deal. And we need to spam the hell out of them when the deal happens. Oh, don't worry. I don't need. I don't need to do that. We just get some popcorn and watch everybody else do it. Oh, I'll be right in on that. <laughs> get in Bree. Bree mode. How much coffee do you think Nana's given Birdie? <laughs> Here, have some coffee. Keep your mother busy. <laughs> See, I know that, uh, I, I know Zodiac on your podcast, you actually push Bones coffee. How cool would it be yeah. to get Prince Nana coffee as a sponsor? If he wants to, if he wants to make us an affiliate of, of his coffee company, I, I'd push it. I would I ask you to join me in that affiliation. I call up, if he calls me up and he's like, hey, I need, I need a coffee company and people to push it. I'd be all about it. It'd be my favorite that, coffee company. Damn right. Oh, everyone looking away. Everybody's looking towards Bree. You notice the crowd's always facing, like the camera's always facing away from that side right now. Looking, looking, looking. Nah, somebody got booted probably. Seems about right yeah. <laughs> for a wrestling event. <laughs> oh my god! Well, uh, yeah, but you have to do the dance. You have to do the dance to get the coffee. I'm sure I can get that to happen. Sorry, Vic. <laughs> Chris. No, nah, bloody's face. I mean, Brian's face. Regal stretch. Uh oh. Yes, Lon. No, no, this is the Regal stretch. This is William yeah, Regal here. Right That's where the Backdoor Combat Club came from. 
Secretly, they booted Cena. You just can't see him. Yeah, it's just magic, isn't it? <laughs> Brody gonna make her debut in ten years, confronting Swerve. No, Swerve's daughter. Or Mother Wayne, one or the other. Oh. Hmm. Swerve doing all the flippy dips, getting up, and <laughs> Danielson just said, nope. Brady versus Nana's granddaughter? Let's book it. I'll say this has been a hell of a lot of fun here today. I've had a blast. It's it's a lot better than just sitting around just by yourself watching it. Because let's face it, half the show we haven't really, you know, I, I don't want to say we haven't paid attention, but we've had other discussions as we've gone along. And, and I like I like the feeling of just sitting around like we're at a we're at a bar or whatever, just talk about whatever and wrestling's on, right? <laughs> I get those vibes. <laughs> Except for McG, because he actually sounds sober here. <laughs> hey. Yeah, work in the morning. <laughs> yeah, and? <laughs> you got your heart. I'm doing it five. Eastern. Yeah, I got to be in bed in like five hours. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you have those weird hours. Yeah, and for me, it's hours. like right, right now it's quarter to three, so I'm just like. This is easy for me today. The only thing that sucked is having to get up a little earlier than what I would want to on the first day of my vacation. <laughs> you can make up for it the rest of the week. Yeah, but I also want to stream too, so I don't want to sleep in too much. Tomorrow I might. <laughs> I love the fact that he uses the cat emulation so easily here and that he passed it on to Wheeler as well as part of his finisher. Because the cat emulation, Vince told him not to use it. Because uh, it's it, hard to get on camera, right? Well, it's because his face was covered up during the during the submission right if you have long hair your face is getting covered up while your arms are getting held back and you can't move your face you can't get your hair out of your face he couldn't yeah. understand that people could feel pain without yeah. actually seeing a face No. That goes places. Well, it just proves that people think he thought people were stupid, which I'll give him some credit for that point because it is true to a point, but. <laughs> Felt pain when I saw his booking. Oh. Yeah. You got to remember, he also did book the good times too, so I don't want to. He did. Yeah, and he came up with the entire Roman Reigns gimmick too. Which paid off brilliantly for Cody. <laughs> the whole Roman Raids gimmick, though, shows you how dumb we are as wrestling fans. Yep. Yes. They hated it. 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 They booed him out of arenas. They hated it. They hated it. They hated it. Goes away for six months. Comes back. Oh, he's the greatest guy alive. <laughs> no, it's because we saw what we had left. <laughs> it's hmm. because as wrestling fans, we're dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I liked I liked it. Not initially, but after a few months, I liked it. And then after like the first year, I was like, "This is old." Like I'll tell you right now, I the bloodline I've lost track. I saw it's, the pop when Reigns came back, but after that, the only thing the I've seen is right now. yeah. The only thing I've seen is like Roman's come back, grabbed his lay, got beaten the crap out of lost his lay. Yeah, From what I can to... tell, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to get back into WWE because there's just it was just it got stale in its booking, even though everyone's like, oh, it's on a really high level, it's just it got stale for me. There's cattle mutilation. 
There we go. Oh. Finally. Oh. <laughs> But like I, I, I've noticed that like the only thing that's really driving it right now is Cody in and of himself, which won't last forever. Nothing does. No. And uh, CM Punk oh, and uh, and uh, Drew McIntyre. They were just talking about the that's... vertebrae crew today. God damn. I was watching this on Parts Final. I'm sorry to interrupt, but that vertebrae are there. But yeah, no, I, I'm with you. I'm with you, Zodiac. It's the book has been so off and on and it just feels like for me, the biggest one is uh, as they're bringing the doctors in to do the whole, your yeah. next toast bit. Um, how hurt you actually are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when it, the one thing that disappointed me most about the booking is the post Bailey booking of becoming a champion. They did shit with it. And then they gave it to uh, Nia Jax. Which that's a whole different question itself. I don't get that, but I also don't get a lot of WWE right now. Everything's the same. It's the exact same story over and over again. It's one of those things. If it works, don't fix it, right? That might be the approach that Triple and, H is taking it. And it's funny because there's this one thing I live by right now, and it's called emotional currency. It's a, it's a theory I live with in all my life. It, it's saying I've learned to grow and fester among myself. It's more like the best example is I can devote some time and energy into something, but it it's like the amount of energy that I have available. I could put this into this. And there's no reason for me to put any emotional currency behind half the booking that they do. Hmm. Granted, there's a few here in AEW I could say the same thing about. But you only have a finite amount of emotional currency you can give out. Now, if somebody would trade that emotional currency into financial currency, <laughs> I'd be more than, you know, willing to take that. But It's 2.51, so we still got about 10 minutes left here. Because very rarely will they go over on Triller. Right. Because if they're going to go over, if they're going to end this here with Danielson, he's going to get five minutes to get his flowers here, right? You know what we need right now is we need Jeff Jarrett, Will Ospreay, and Eddie Kingston to come down and just be like, just fucking do it. And then yeah. have Danielson come back. Yeah. Not interfere. Don't interfere. Just stand there and say, do this. Well, it should be... Having Bree at ringside should be enough for that, right? I want her to say it. Oh, this is this is great right here. <clears throat> this is actually pretty good how they're doing this. Yeah, now he's gone to mocking. It keeps the crowd involved too, right? Because they got to do the no chance for this. But when he's getting he's getting booted by Swerve, and he's just looking at Bree, he's like, "I love you so much." Takes another wow. kick. <laughs> I just peeped that, yeah. <laughs> I love Taz. He's like, he knows what's coming. He's like, no, 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 no. We we got another gear coming here. This is such a good match. For all the suspect booking that we dealt with, this is turning out to be such a great finish. It's all going to come. They didn't want to take too much emotion out of this match. That very well could be. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that was nuts. Honestly, I watching this now, 
And I know hindsight's 2020. I think Tony made the right call to make this match instead of uh instead of Hangman. My god, he took the psycho knee and just brushed it off. That just I don't know. I think think it all of it. I think <laughs> Here you go. Out of all the stars that left WWE, Swerve is probably their biggest loss. Oh, easily. Absolutely. I think there's potential like in terms of pure talent, he's easily number 1. And Ricochet might be coming in to be a 1A pretty quick here just to see what they do with him. Osprey's up there too. Well, Osprey was never with WWE. Oh, uh, WWE. Okay, gotcha, we're, we're gotcha, talking gotcha. about the WWE talent. I also argue that Danielson and Copeland might also be on the other sense of the notoriety of the fame of because the numbers did boost a little bit when Copeland showed up, and the if, fact that people if, recognize that he's there. If Keith Lee could have stayed healthy, I think it would have been great too. Absolutely. It's one guy I really wish I would see more, but I don't know if we'll ever see again. Oh, yeah, it's sad. I have no idea what's going on with him, but he, like he's he's not healthy. Which oh sucks. no! Oh, this ain't no. This ain't no. Like it was ever since COVID, and then get complications from that. So, oh fuck! Here we go. Oh, who is it? Well, we anybody? He's all of a sudden a face. He's a face now. With the no shenanigans, I think we're uh, oh. we're done with that oh, now. No, 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 nope. no, no, no. Nope. Yeah, there goes there goes the traditional book out the window. But he actually hasn't done anything yet, Let's really. Let's go show him your Kenta that, kick. That's the thing; he didn't do anything until yeah. There's the psycho knee that dropped. Oh God, could that be it? Woo! Kenta to the face. <laughs> wow. Oh. Now, just to piss the world off, hit the GTS. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm going to kick his fucking head in. Boom. Uh-oh, Nana's dropping the jacket. You know things are serious when. Hit the paradigm yeah. shift. <laughs> Thank you, Jr., for that, ob- that for that obvious comment. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for someone to hit some offense. No, we're all going to be the New Jersey Devils of 2003 and never get a shot on goal. <laughs> There's the a winner rep- will pin or submit his opponent. Oh, God, JML driver. Nope. Reverse there. Now, remember, these guys are 30 minutes into this match. So how many knees does he have to hit? Three? One more. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna hit one more. I don't know if he's going to go for the tap out. I think this will be a pin. Into the turnbuckle. Oh, oh. it is insane. Oh, he rolled into it. Oh. Uh, no, no spoilers, no spoilers. Where's the ref? Who's pulling the referee out? Oh. oh. Okay. Oh! Yeah, Shout this is it. Marty. There it is. You know how hard it is for me not to say anything there and blow it on you guys? 
His first, very nice. His very first, nice. His first world title it's since been, 2019. It's been 10 years. Since he's made it into the big one. Won the big one. No. No, because he won the big championship in playing. Right, but Mania oh, is yeah, what I'm yeah. talking about. I think both the uh, Bellas are there. Black Pool Combat Club. Oh, yeah, I would say both Bellas are probably there. You got the BCC. Co well, the remaining yeah, members of the BCC out. coming out. Wheeler, Claudio. Swear, uh, Nana's trying not, to tell up the not. entire crowd. Oh, they're coming. The Garcias are coming in. Mm hmm. Mox took those Cena pills. It's just really, you know, Look at the tears. Oh, and Birdie's just oh. loving. Birdie's soaking Pac up this moment. Pac showed up too. Well, it is his teammates, right? And I think Mox. It, I, I'm pretty sure Pac's probably gonna. Join the BCC. It only makes sense. I know they're champs right now, and it's all that, but. Confetti. So if you really—he really... looks like he looks like the creative character <laughs> in this scenario. He's just like, <laughs> yeah, he really does. <laughs> yeah, Pac is out there, Jay. Quick, they got the trios champs out there with uh, the the Garcias and. Oh, yeah, the, the trio. So the pyro outside was for Osprey and for Danielson. That's pretty cool. And he's just playing with a. <laughs> Danielson's trying to create a moment. Next Come here, kid. No, nope, I'm going for the confetti. To hell with you. Next all in Texas. Yeah, they're doing all in. And, and then they're going back to London 2026. Yeah, stuff they've already announced. But yeah, they're this going is. going to Texas for one year and then they're going back to London. Yep. Good to take a year off. And So the question is, though, how long till he. And that's how you when end When does he show defend next? London. How long until which, sorry? When does he defend next? Grand Slam. Darby Allen. Darby, and then they give it to Darby. No, no, he, no, no, no. Darby got the guaranteed title shot at the uh, the uh, Royal Rampage during Blood and Guts. He got that guaranteed title shot uh, during that Battle Royal. And what does Pac have? Pac has the international championship spot. So in two weeks, we're getting uh, Osprey and Pac. Thank you. Oh, yes. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so for that PLE, we're getting uh, we're going to be getting confirmed as Nightingale and uh, Statlander with Nightingale having the stipulation for the match. We're getting Osprey and Pac guaranteed. I don't know where else we're going to go with that right now. I'd almost think that Pac and Osprey are going to main event that show. They did the international title last year for main eventing. Probably MJF Garcia. You could do it there or you could do it at Grand Slam, which is sort of neutral ground between Buffalo and Long Island. It's in Queens. Yeah, so in Queens, yeah. So it's like I a half. Yeah, so. Right and next to my favorite baseball team stadium. We all have faults, kid. It's all good. Um, <laughs> you got Buffalo, you got Long Island. That'd be the midway point. But you know what? We've been here for, well, how long has this stream been up? Almost four or five hours. Five minute. hours and 31 minutes is what it's telling Oof. you. Well, there you go. 531. Nice. Killing it. Um, yeah, I think, I think we're petered out a little bit here. <laughs> that, that was a good way to finish. Just yeah, yeah. want to, I want you guys' thoughts on the show before we go here. <laughs> oh, I thought it was great, man. Great, great way to hype it up. And they did very well um, delivering because it could have gone so, so many terrible ways, but it didn't. They, they, 
They delivered. They got. They gave you the surprises. All the hype was there. They the matches quality was there. I got. I got my money's worth at least. I'm happy. <sighs> McGee, your thoughts on the show? And after that, I'll come back to you guys. Ask for your favorite match, and I'll let you plug. <laughs> but uh, it was definitely a good good show. It had its low points, but the high points eclipsed the low points to the point that it really doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, Zodiac, your th- your thoughts on the show? I I think overall it was a good show. I think you said it earlier. It's not like a top five AEW pay per view, but overall, I mean, all the matches were solid. There is only one really disappointing result, which is Christian Cage winning the gauntlet, <laughs> and we'll see where that goes. Right? I have no idea what they're going to go with it or, or how that's going to evolve, especially with Darby at Grand Slam. Like I even forgot about that, but. Uh, yeah, like the high points, as McGee said, the high points were good. Like Mariah May winning the title, Daniel Bryan, uh, I mean, Brian Danielson winning the title at the end of the show. Uh, they, that was fantastic uh, emotional hits, whether or not if they're heels or faces in the event. So overall, I mean, it was, it was, a, it was a great time, especially spending it with all of you and uh, oh, getting these conversations. Thank you for that. So. Oh, right. shucks. Oh. Shucks. <laughs> you too, KJ. I know that you were only here briefly, but you were here. Now, my, my feeling is... And, 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 sorry, go ahead. Canada dude. And Canada dude. Yeah, a- Andre, well, he 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 was he said he was going to be ducking it out all day, so I'm just appreciate right. that. I appreciate having all of you on here before, before I get into it here, but I, I've always said when it comes to a pay-per-view or a PLE or whatever the frick you want to call them these days... Um, your opening of your show and your closing of your show have to be your top parts. I've I've learned that on 2K GM. I've learned that watching wrestling. I've learned that booking wrestling. We opened with the car crash known as the 12 way ladder match that actually turned out to be really exciting and got everybody the home pop with Pac pulling down the title and winning the trios titles for the BCC. And we ended the show with Brian Danielson shocking the world and taking the title, setting up a few matches that are saying, not only are we going to get uh, the uh, Danielson Garcia match at Grand Slam, but we're also going to get, uh, and it makes complete sense. The reason that Danielson was able to hit those Busaiko knees was because Hangman Page came out and distracted Swerve. So, we are going to get Swerve and Hangman in two weeks in Chicago. I have no doubt in my mind, and I think it's going to be the most vicious match that we've seen in AEW in many a year. Because those two absolutely hate each other. Other than that, like like you said, I, I, I want to give TK a tiny bit of credit with the Christian Cage booking, but I'm going to have to see what he's doing with it. I reserve my right to shit on it later for the fact that I just want to see how they deal with it. Cause if they, if he manages to turn this into something decent where old timer Danielson gets a rub from old timer Christian, which will never happen. Then why the hell did we do this? If it builds into something bigger and better out of it, I'll give him a pass. And honestly, the long-term storylines of TK I would say a good 85% of them have hit a home run. The other 15% were due to injuries, AKA the devil. But uh, yeah, all in all, I think it was a really good show. It was really worth the five hour sit through. Was it worth the money to get it? Absolutely. Since I got a deal to get it. So, um, ours was free. (laughs) Ours, yours was free. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kids these days. Yeah. We got, we got, we got, uh, we got a, a link. To yeah, uh, all kinds of events. That's fine. Yeah, that's yep. not what we use today. Yeah, no. That's what I used. No comment. All right, let's <laughs> let's wrap this up here so we get moving here. Uh, I want to ask you guys what your favorite match was tonight, and then if you got anything to plug, feel free to do so. McG, I know you don't have much to plug. I know you are. Every time I talk to you, say that. So I'll let you go first. <laughs> uh, I think it's a toss-up between, obviously, the main event and I'm going to say the casino, uh, 
gauntlet match because there was a lot going on in there that you weren't expecting. Yeah, I, I, I will completely agree with you on that too here. And uh, you got anything to plug? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Go join him. Here, I'll do one for you. Become a member of the Remember the Game Patreon at, at uh, patreon.com slash remember the game. It is a, another Canadian-based retro video game podcast. Not like, you know, the Retro Hangover, which is an absolutely fantastic American retro game podcast. <laughs> I, I'm trying to separate the two as a ev- equals here, okay? When you, uh-huh. jo- when you join the Patreon over at uh, Remember the Game, you get access to the Discord, and you will be joining McG's wrestling channel as part of it, Wrestling with McG. That channel's yes. a little bit of insanity. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of opinionated people there, but there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no, not at all. And, you know, <laughs> everybody has a democratic right to be wrong. That I, and I keep telling them that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Vic, your favorite match of the night. And yeah, feel free to plug uh, HPC, uh-huh. Heels, Pops, and oh, Chair you do, Shots. You do that more than enough for me, bro. Appreciate no, no, you got, I know. I want, I want your own you plugs so tonight. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Tony Storm and um, and Mariah May definitely they they threw the they they killed it tonight. Um, delivery and then just the whole her whole of demeanor from the beginning of the bell to the end was just amazing. Uh, I love the story, the build from beginning to end, uh, and then what we got at the end tonight today I guess was was so good. Uh, of course, MJ Osprey, MJF and Osprey. Uh, I want to see. Osprey and Ricochet so bad now. I can't wait. Um, but yeah, no, great, great pay per view. A PLE, whatever you want to say. But um, yeah, no, nah, man. Uh, if you can find us, HPC Bad Guys on all plugs, all platforms, man. Catch us every Thursday night. Um, as well as we're, we're always chilling here on this stream with you, Mike. So you already know. <laughs> so I, I did link up the uh, shout out here just as he was talking here. Unfortunately, you, one, of those, one of those, one of those lovely. Uh, Twitch accounts came in just as I was about to send out the shout out. So I had to <laughs> do some clicking there. Love those two. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I haven't got them in months. Now I just started getting them yesterday. I think it's because Wisebot got rid of uh, their filter that they used to have. I used to have Wisebot and SiriBot, but Siri uh, catches these as well too. So, but uh, no, Chris, Zodiac, Retro Hangover, I could throw three four things sideways here what's your uh what's your favorite match and feel free to plug oh it was uh my favorite match was tony storm versus mariah may for that women's championship i i'm a big fan of when wrestling is storytelling and that's what it was going into it but that main event it just personifies how wrestling can be storytelling without as that like year-long build-up it just is a testament to how good you know brian danielson is and also how good swerve is and how good of that how good of a match that was and it's just i think that was phenomenal i think it was the highlight of the night and it should have been this was everything on the line theoretically for for brian danielson and it should have been and i'm i'm happy with how that ended it, it was an emotional end uh great great finish to the to the show for AEW, and that's the why it's my favorite match of the night for that one even though there's there's plenty that could have replaced that outside the ending to the casino Royale, but Hey, beggars can't be choosers. But in terms of, of pitching my own things here, uh, first of all, if you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, on backbreaker media, uh, make sure that you're here on, I know I'm doing some, some of Mike's plugs, but I'm there uh, quite often. So if you want to hear more of my insane takes, you can head over there at uh, here on, you know, Mike, the ref over on Twitch, Mick G's there as well from time to time. I'm also going to sound out if you want more wrestling content, a uh, show that myself and Mick G are on quite often is Retro Wars podcast. And uh, we do our own crazy shit over there. We praise Mick G's balls. And that's why you see praise my balls every hey. single Wednesday when he shows Love up. He, he loves praising his balls. <laughs> I don't see. Sm- yeah, exactly. I don't see. I don't know why you're not smiling right now. You love you love to always point out how. Your balls need to be praised. Uh, but for my own show. <laughs> oh, my. I love how I just infest. 
I infest other <laughs> discords. Balls infest other people. That's probably not the best pitch if you want people to praise them. But as for the Retro Hangover podcast, hey, we're a retro gaming podcast. We review games that are 10 years or older. And I do it with my friend Shane, where we talk about these video games and just just kind of like a long form review. We also have a top five show called The Flight. And if you want to find any of our stuff, you can head over to our link tree, which is linktr.ee slash retro hangover. We also Twitch every week over on our Twitch channel, which makes sense. Uh, and you can find us at twitch.tv slash retro hangover. And that's at Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to hang out with us during that time, it can get a little crazy sometimes. There's no real theme to it. We just do dumb things. And uh, I think that if you like what's going on here with uh, Mike, the refs channel and talking wrestling, there's no guarantee you'd like our stuff. I'm not even going to say that. But hey, <laughs> if you want to find out, just cut on over and and give us a give us a look, give us a listen. And I would appreciate it. So thank you very much. And uh, thank you, Mike, for having me on for the stream. Oh, no problem at all. And yeah, once again, I did send a shout out during his uh, promotion there. And uh, you can just click the retro hangover link there and. It'll send you over to his page, and uh, you can give him a follow. They're on tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern again with some Final Fantasy once again. So mm -hmm. uh, make sure you guys go check them out. And for me, uh, it, it's very tough for me to determine what my favorite match of the night was. I, I love the, I love the mentality. I know we were talking earlier about both the, uh, the match with the main event as well as the women's match. But I'm gonna. Just for the sake of contrarianism, I'm going to throw out a special shout out to Osprey and MJF. That match told such a good story. It came back full circle with uh, the return of Daniel Garcia. And that that's essentially how this became as much of a blood feud as it was. And it finished the right way. And they were able to work around the, the having to deal with streamers the whole match. So that that's some extra difficulty points there. <laughs> so uh, once again, everybody, thank you for being here. Uh, I'm going to send you guys over. Vic, you sticking around for a while?